zone, you about to get f***ed up This is a war zone, you don't even know what's up This is a war zone, you about to get fucked up Let me say it loud, say it proud I wanna scream and shout, let me put my warning out A war zone, you don't even know what it's about This is a war zone, you about to get it with no doubt This is a war zone, I'ma take famous B And fucking hang his motherfucking ass from a tree This is a war zone, you about to get fucked up This is a war zone, you about to get real grimy When I leave it all on the trail and your dick is all slimy Here I come, I'm getting grimy I'm gonna have to take my knife out and do something you won't like To your whole body, cut you up at night Put you in a body bag, you a oh uh, Can't say that, I might get cancelled I might get cancelled, but I don't give an F, so I say it anyway, you gay, yeah, what else can I say, this is a war zone, this is a war zone, a motherfucking war zone, this is a fucking war zone, yo the Yankees, fucking fucked up the Red Sox tonight, what the fuck is going on, nothing's right, I wanna get drunk tonight, inside of me this is a war zone you about to get real rape this is a war zone this one goes out to jake this is a war zone i'm buying guns and weapons and ammunition son i'm ready for a war you ready for whores your life a bore you failing falling behind under the score i'm scoring one hundred in your fucking face i'm about to spray your eyes with straight mace and slap this dick Cross your chest, I'm gonna leave you in the bathroom like all the rest This is a war zone, you about to get real shook Here I come, you a fucking B plus crook I'm an A plus goddamn genocidical, homicidical maniac Motherfucker, I'm on crack, I'm crazy and I hate your life I wanna fucking kill you so bad, I hate your wife Yeah, you smelly motherfuckers all gonna die You gonna wonder why, I'm gonna make your whole family cry I got crazy look in my eyes, I'm ready to die for life I live for this life, I live for sin In the sin bin, I win here, I come in I'm sorry What's up everybody, uh, so it looks like the stream has gone out I was trying to make sure I was live Because my stream was uh, having trouble But we're, we're online now It's uh, Beat the Clock, Saturday night We'll have the video up in a second. All you guys can do is hit that like button and stick the thumb directly up my rectum. Sorry for all the uh, just random, you know, random crap I was just saying. But I figured, you know, I wanted to make sure the stream was solid before we really started here because it was off and on. I realized the problem like an idiot. I had my foot on the modem and I was kicking the thing. A dummy. That's the pro. I don't think we ever lost it though, so we're fine. We're looking good, baby. We're looking sexy tonight. You guys are looking good in the chat. What's up with the chat, bro? Why do you guys look this sexy? Why do so many people in the chat look sexy tonight? Are you guys, do I have my drinking goggles on again? 
Do I have my drinking goggles on? What's going on, chat? How you guys doing? Maybe I have my drinking goggles on. I don't know. This is just the beginning of the show, man. You don't even know what's about to happen. How's everybody feeling? Are you guys feeling good? get it going in a second relax it's beat the clock tonight a hey, congratulations to Todd Fair because man last night Todd Fair was on fire and he won the crown the JCS king and he is the man himself Todd Fair absolutely incredible what is that what was that about? I don't know what that was about. This is a war zone. You don't know what's up. This is a war zone and your mother's a slut. And I like this beat. I like that beat though. What's going on, man? I hope everybody's been having a good Saturday night. Let's get all the graphics up. Got to get all the graphics up real quick. Let's get it up. In a few minutes, you guys, we're going to be able to see how long this show can go tonight, and we will do our best to get weird. If this show makes it to the one-hour mark, I will go into the Discord, and whoever is on the Discord will be on the show, whoever wants to be part of it. If we make it to the one-hour mark, though, we must make it at least one hour for me to dip into the Discord. So we'll see what happens if we make it that far. I don't know what episode of Beat the Clock this is. I gotta fix the episode tier list, but I do know it's uh, we're getting up there, man. You know, we did a uh, how many episodes of Throwdown happened until Throwdown was essentially canceled? I don't know. We did about a hundred and something or other, hundred and thirty, hundred and fifty. I don't know. Uh, hmm. I had a lot of fun last night. I, I really did have a lot of fun tonight. Last night's Monetize This was one of the best of the year. You know, we've had some sleepers this year. I mean, listen. We've, we've had some sleeper episodes of Monetize This this year. But last night, man, was not one of them. I'll tell you that. Last night was funny as hell. I went back and I listened to that. And I was just like, wow, man. <laughs> there is some funny shit, bro. It went down last night. Imagine that if MJF showed up on Raw. That's why they went TV 14. I know everyone's saying that sort of thing. That's crazy. Dude, that would just be insane. Like, it would just be out. Th I mean, it's already crazy enough that Cody went there. But, man, if that took place, holy hell, bro. What the hell is that? Why does that keep coming up on the screen? Stop it. I don't know what that's about. Why is that happening? Anyway, um, MJF is coming to WWE, says Eddie Chaos. He believes it. So he's a believer in MJF coming to WWE. Interesting. 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 Last night was crazy, hilarious, asser story. Yeah, I had a blast last night. We'll go over a couple of things that happened last night that I thought were pretty funny. Um, last night's montage is pretty awesome. I had a pretty good time last night. I want to see Pat McAfee call Vince McMahon a son of a bitch. It could definitely happen. That could definitely happen. We'll see if it see, does. Hilarious. Whoa, I'm hearing myself. A couple of things that happened last night that I thought were pretty Whoa, funny. Whoa, stop it. I'm hearing myself. Hit that like button, guys. What are we doing? We got 90 people watching. We're about to cross over 100 viewers. Uh, if you can, stick that thumb directly at my ass. It's beat the clock. It's Saturday night. We're going to have a lot of fun tonight, I think. You guys could potentially get me wasted. Um, $5 equals, uh, we'll just start it at three minutes. $5 equals uh, three minutes. We'll start it at two minutes. We'll start it at two minutes. We'll see what happens. But, um... I will give a bonus 
Uh, actually, we'll do the first hour. We'll, we'll, we'll do the biggest bonus in the first hour. So we'll do $5 equals four minutes. For the first time ever, you get four minutes out of $5. How about that? And we'll do that for the first uh, 30 minutes of the show. How about that? So we'll, add, uh, we'll play a little game here. So $5 equals four minutes. That is a large amount. So that's pretty crazy. We'll see what people do. Um, imagine people, ha like, who knows what can happen. I could be up. We could be up an hour, two hours, three hours. We could be up 10 hours. Who knows what the hell could happen? Uh, you never know on Beat the Clock what is going to happen. Um, I do want to shout out once again Todd Fair because that was incredible. An incredible victory last night for Todd. He must have. Uh, and like I said, he is the only person that I trust with the name Todd. I don't trust almost anybody else. But congrats to the king of monetize this last night, Todd Fair. We love hentai, says Randy Viper in the chat. Listen, I don't blame you. Um, but for everybody else, you know, there's regular things to do. Um, let me see. Let me put the link up for you. I'm sorry, I'm just getting home from work, so I'm a little bit off here as I get going. We'll talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. I do have to repeat. Uh, I will have to repeat several things tonight because I got messages from several different people asking me questions about things that were... I couldn't believe they're asking me about. It. I was like, "What are you talking about?" But um, I suppose it's uh, people once again doing things that you know result in me having to explain. So I will explain. Number one, I am uh, married to a woman. <laughs> What's up, Killer? How you doing, man? Watching Impractical Jokers right now. Well. Did you know Monday Night Raw is turning to where they can swear and whatever in USA is letting what? Allison, what's up, Allison? Yes. I mean, I did videos on it all, all week. Where, you know, did you see them? Come on, you got to be watching my channel, Allison. High School of Dead, says Eddie Chaos. What does that mean? Are you talking about the zombies movie? Because my daughter loves the zombies movie. And the third one came out. What up, Solomon? I don't know. What is that? Why does that keep coming up? Uh, beat the clock tonight. How's everybody doing? Really appreciate you guys being here. I'm having a great time. Uh, you're taking a poop on the toilet. That's a little bizarre. Well, the Red Sox uh, got their heads bashed in tonight by the Yankees. I was listening to that on the radio earlier today, and uh, I turned it off. But, I mean, it was interesting. I turned it on. was like, oh, I wonder how the, red, you know, the game's going. Well, that was not going well. Um, a little bit bizarre. The new three-digit 988 National Suicide Prevention Lifeline of, uh, number official launched uh, in the USA on Saturday with worries about uh, preparedness. So it's a three-digit 988 National Suicide Prevention Lifeline number. It's a weird, weird thing. But uh, so many people are killing themselves. That they launched this. Um, LeBron James, Red Sox co-owner, says he hates the Celtics because they're racist. Uh, the fans are racist. So, you know, uh, LeBron James... Uh, they're racist as F. He didn't just say that. So, uh, LeBron James, uh, I just want to tell you, LeBron James, you are a disgusting pile of shit pig. I hope you get the hell out of our fucking city as soon as possible. I am not kidding when I say this. I, can't, I will celebrate LeBron James not being on this planet anymore. Because you know what, bro? A bunch of kids killed a white kid right outside of your school, and you said nothing about it, but you need to scream about how Boston is racist, yet you own our team. Like, you're a fucking idiot retard. We literally had the first ever black hockey player. We have so many firsts in this fucking area because we are not fucking racist. You must be talking about fucking the South or something. You fucking scumbag. Fuck LeBron James. You fucking piece of fucking shit. You fucking 
spoiled brat baby fucking bitch loser fuckbag LeBron fucking cunt. I hope you fucking get in a car accident. Why the fuck couldn't you be Kobe? Why the fuck couldn't LeBron James be in that fucking helicopter? I want LeBron James to crash in his fucking helicopter, and I want all his kids to see him burning alive. I want him to fucking get burnt so bad he has white scar tissue, and he looks white when he comes out of the fucking hospital. You fucking mongoloid piece of shit, LeBron James. I want to fucking cut your feet off and shit in your fucking holes and your stubs, you piece of shit. Fucking fake fuck LeBron James, you motherfucker. You fucking piece of fuck. This goddamn city and this goddamn fucking area has done more than you fucking know, you piece of shit. I think you got us confused with Texas or Justin Trudeau or California or some of these other fucking actually racist places. You fuckhead LeBron James, you piece of shit. I want to go back in time and I want to put you in the fucking helicopter with fucking Kobe, you fuck. And I'll save Kobe and I'll watch you fucking explode, you piece of shit, horrible human being. Fuckhead LeBron James, you fuck. Michael Jordan, I don't care how many slave Chinese boys Michael Jordan had fucking making shoes. He'll still be 100,000 times better than your fucking spoiled piece of shit ass. I don't care if you're homeless. I don't care if you're the richest man in the world. I don't care if you inherited all the fucking money of Elon Musk and everybody else. I don't care what you inherit. I don't care if you're a billionaire, a zillionaire. I don't give a shit what you are. You will never be able to take away the fact that you are a big piece of shit. Loser. That will never end. You're spoiled brat fucking pompous fucking racist ass by the way lebron james you're a fucking racist you know because you're the one that would call like people like trump and stuff like that racist right so you're racist i know you are you gotta be you're so fixated on race over here in massachusetts you literally own one of our teams you fucking idiot you are a racist piece of shit, LeBron James. You are. You hate white people. You're a fucking little fucking crutch that you pretend to use. You know, oh, racism. Uh, meanwhile, you're a rich piece of shit. You fuck. I love Michael Jordan. I love Michael Jackson. I don't like you. You are a pile of fuck. That's a fucked up thing to say, bro. You know what's weird? What You know how stupid this is? You're saying this about fans who are all wearing black players' names on their jerseys. Fans in Boston are cheering for black men, would buy black men a drink if they saw them in a bar, are buying black men's jerseys, wearing them on their backs. Yet you're saying that we're all racist here. You're a retard idiot. Like, you are dumb. You are dumb and dangerous, to be honest. You're a dumb, dangerous, fucking brain dead, fucking moron. Is what you are. That's what you are. You're a piece of shit. That, that fucking uses slave labor to fucking make goddamn... Uh, clothing to make money. You use slave labor, you scumbag, piece of shit. And that's what it is, man. You got to hate on someone because you yourself are a bad person. That's that's exactly what it is. But while we... Uh, anyway, just someone just reminded me of what he said. And, uh, it just drives me nuts, man. I don't like when people just fucking say the dumbest shit ever. Like, and this is just so stupid. And fuck the Lakers, too, by the way. That's a different thing. I don't care where LeBron goes. Dude, if LeBron was on the Celtics, I wouldn't like it. I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, first of all, he wouldn't. I guess he couldn't go to the Celtics now after saying that. Unless he apologized and said he was talking. Oh, he's talking shit. Even if you are, though, you're a fucking idiot. Really? Give me. Oh, what, what did the Celtics fans say that was racist to you? You dumb fuck. You're an idiot. You know who the you know who the Celtics fans were racist to? Fucking uh Bill Russell probably heard racism. You know what I mean? 
by the way, just everywhere you go, there's people that say shit. You know if you know if I if I went to the basketball courts somewhere in the wrong place, and I was playing basketball, I would be heckled. I'd be called like white guy, yo know, white boy or whatever the fuck. Is that racist? I don't know. It's just weird, bro. This is just weird shit, dude. You're this big powerful guy. Meanwhile, a bunch of kids kill a white kid at your school, and you don't you don't say anything about it. Nothing. Not a not a word that I know of. You know what I mean? But it, but if five white kids killed a black kid somewhere, you'd be tweeting about it all night long. If five white kids killed a black kid in front of a school somewhere, you'd be tweeting about it all night long. Three black kids kill a white kid in front of your school and you say nothing. You're an idiot. Even if you're rich, you could be a billionaire, a zillionaire, you could be whatever you want. You're a fucking trash person. You're a trash person. You're a garbage person, and LeBron James, you're a racist. I can't wait for LeBron James to get hit by a car or to go down in a plane. I will be there to fucking help pick up the ashes and keep them, and I'll molest his ashes. I will molest LeBron James's ashes, okay? I wish to God I had a time machine. I would swap him and Kobe so quickly. Kobe is a sweetheart of a person. Kobe Bryant, well, okay, he did cheat on his wife and stuff, but Kobe Bryant, even though he had fidelity issues, was, I believe, a fairly sweetheart of a person, I think, from everything I ever heard him say and talk about. I think Kobe Bryant was a sweetheart. An overall good-hearted person who had flaws, but nowhere near the fucking evil of this person. You know? Nowhere near the evil of LeBron James. Let's, let's go to the donations. Do a little basketball dance off the concrete. I mean, I'm just so sick of you little meth head devil worshippers. I'll be honest, I'd like to take a big bite out of your face. Okay, Mr. Popo, I am looking for that vanilla curdled up horse humping marshmallow look in his slobasher. I heard he's been disrespectful to my comrades recently. That is a no-go zone. Mustafa bring that marshmallow to me on a stick I put on fire. Oh my God, General Santos is still calling Rastafa Mustafa. That's going to really piss him off. I got to be honest, bro. Man, that's going to piss him off. He's going to flip the hell out. $5 equals four minutes added to the show. We're at the 28-minute mark right now. What's up, Chad? How you guys doing? And listen, if you love LeBron James, I get it if you're a sports guy. But, man, I think he's a bad person. That's just me. Uh, if Kobe was alive, Brittany would be in America right now. Yes, I think if Trump was president, she might be in America right now, too. I mean, listen, she broke the law in Russia. She did break the law. Like, you know, it's pretty stupid to break the law in Russia. But, like, seriously, what 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 country holds a person like that, right? Like, if someone from another country is in our country and they happen to have some uh, something on them that they're not really supposed to have, you know, you grab them, but you, you go, all right, you know, you're going back to your country, fine, get out of here, whatever. You know, don't come back for like two years or, you know, give them some kind of penalty, but let them go. Right. If it's nothing that major, you would think Russia would do the same thing. Hey, listen, you had CBD oil. That's not allowed in our country, motherfucker. And then you're like, all right, you're an American though. Listen, you, you either stay here and serve the sentence as a Russian would or fine, get the hell out, but don't come back for five years. You're banned for five years or, you know, pay this fine. And then you can whatever make a, a po apology you know, and then and then you're banned from Russia for five years. Whatever, but come up with something, man. You got to have some kind of understanding for people, I would think. But I understand she did break the law. But if I was uh, if I was president, I would get her out of there. You know, if I was president, I'd get people out. Make a fucking phone call. Trump would have gotten her out by now. I agree. If the right person asked Trump to get her out, 
right? If the right person went up to Trump and said, like, this girl is, you know, whatever. But then again, she is somebody who bashes our country, right? So, I mean, oh, you know, this is somebody who doesn't even like our country. So, hey, stay over there in Russia. See how they treat lesbians over there. Enjoy Russia. You know, it's just our country is so weird, right? Like, everyone loves Ukraine, but then they don't, but like the gay people are like, we love Ukraine. Well, they don't love you. I <laughs> just so you know, uh, it doesn't make any sense. The people here hate the Republican people more than they hate the people that would cut their private parts off if they found out about what they're like sexually. So it makes no sense. Our country is fucking bizarre, bro. Like they will cut your parts off. Like, there are some cu countries over there that uh, over here, people, like half the people on the left over here support those countries more than they would support a southern uh, confederate, uh, not confederate, but oh, man, they might be, a uh, southern republican. You know, they would say a southern republican is, oh, they're racist, crazy people. But that southern republican doesn't want to chop off your private parts and kill you, but you're supporting people that do want to do that. I don't understand that. I don't get that. That's fucking bizarre to me. I don't know why. Anyway, last night, Todd Fair said Bill Maher should be president. You know, Todd Fair, I'd be down with that. I'd make I'd make Bill Maher president. He'd be a better president than, what, than anything we have. So go for it. So congratulations. I think it was Todd that said that in the chat the other night. And man, what the hell was going on last night? We watched that creepy video of Plasma Dawn. And then, uh, you know, Asher talked about his Plasma Dong. That was a lot of fun. But it's a weird day, man. Red Sox got killed by the Yankees. Uh, you know. Google Translate. No, I don't want to go to Google Translate. God damn it. If we make it to the first hour of this show, I will go to the uh, Discord in a little bit. But I got some shit to say first when I'm done. <sighs> UFC. No, I'm not going to. Probably not. Let's see. I got to turn my fan off, too. It's been on. It's been on for a while now. Um, I'm a nice right in the middle independent. Uh, Ryback is greater than. Imagine Ryback is the president. Just fucking do it. I don't care. Just kill them. Uh, sir, we can't just go in there and, and do that. We have a, a treaty. Fuck the treaty. Fuck that. Joe, our country has put their own people in jail for a little bit of weed. FYI, the vice president has put black people in jail for weed for 10 years or more. Yeah, no, Kamala Harris is awful. Kamala Kamala Harris loves to put black people in jail for, uh, for slave labor for her state. There's a Jake Paul fight with who? who who's Jake Paul fighting? Uh, we got to add time on it. Who's Jake Paul fighting? You raised a piece of shit. Raised a piece of shit. Ireland beat the All Blacks on its East soil 2 to 1. Wujo, your country, Ireland, is number one in the world now, sucking that Danny Mountja Wallaby lover. Are you serious? Ireland beat. Oh my god. Ireland, Ireland won? Holy shit, we never win that shit. Oh my god, I am blown away. Dude, we never win that shit. This is awesome! I am pumped up now. My potato eating ass is pumped up. I'm ready to unload, baby. That's awesome. I am fired up now, dude. I am ready to go. I mean, I'm not even in that country, so, you know. Um, LeBron James, I hope you die, brother. I hope you die in a, I hope, you know what? I hope you die in a campfire accident. All right. I hope you're cooking marshmallows and you fall into the fire when you, I hope you fall asleep while, well, well, roasting marshmallows. I hope you fall asleep in a, in a, in a chair and then you fall forward into the fire. Into the fire.
LeBron James is racist. You heard it here. Uh, I would. Oh, dude, I'd love to see Tyson. I would love Tyson. Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson beating the bag out of LeBron James. I wish I wish I could become friends with Mike Tyson. And then over the years, like explain to Mike Tyson how much I hate LeBron James. And then show Mike Tyson about the slave labor that LeBron James uses to make his shoes and clothes and stuff. And then also talk about how LeBron James wants a race war with people. And I want and I, and I, all the stuff that Mike Tyson went through being a kid and growing up in his hard life that he had. Well, LeBron James had everything handed to him on a silver platter. And just watch Mike Tyson get more angry and more angry. And then I would endear myself to Mike Tyson about how much I love Mike Tyson. And I loved him like forever. And I watched all his boxing matches. And I grew up loving Mike Tyson so much. And I wanted to, I literally wanted to kill Evander Holyfield for Mike Tyson for Evander Holyfield cheating and headbutting him in, ma in the fights and the referee not doing anything. And then Mike Tyson had to resort to, you know, sticking up for himself and biting him. And, um, and so I would just, and then Mike Tyson would love me. And then I would say, Mike, listen. I need you to do me a favor. I need you to punch LeBron James's head in. I want you to break LeBron James's head. Like, can you please do that for me? I want you to break his arms and legs in front of me. I would love to watch that. You want me to fuck? You want me to eat his asshole up in front of you? And I want the I, I want the old Mike Tyson. Damn it! I want the old Mike Tyson. And I would force Tyson. Oh my God! I would hire I would hire a man. I would, I would pretend to have abducted Mike Tyson's kids. I would hire a man to call Mike Tyson and say nasty things about his fucking family for like weeks that he gets angry about it. And then I would take away all Mike Tyson's weed for like one week. He can't smoke any pot. I would give him angel dusk and fucking mescaline. And I would, I would go drinking with Tyson. Every once in a while when Tyson wasn't looking, I'd slap him in the back of the head. And I'd just get him really fucking crazy. And I would, I'd wear a Don King mask every day when I saw him. Until Mike Tyson got to the point that he was like, Fuck. <laughs> that he was the old Mike Tyson. He was like, you motherfucking LeBron James, I fucking smack your fucking face off. I beat this asshole in. I rip your fucking earballs out. I'm going to pretend you a white motherfucker. I'm going to beat you so bad you're going to wish you were fucking dead, motherfucker. I'm going to rip your head open and fucking piss down your face. I'm going to beat your faggot ass up. I'm going to rip your skin off and fucking feed it to homeless people. You motherfucking rip your fucking beard off one fucking hair at a time. I'm going to rip your fucking nipples off and feed them to fucking Don King's family. I'm going to suffocate you. I'm in fucking credulous. I'm in pedulous. I'm in regulous. I'm going to fucking regicide your fucking family. And I want them to fucking just be like, Aah! and I just, Aah! and just fucking Mike Tyson just beating the shit out of you over and over again. Beating the shit out of you until you fucking... You can't fucking walk anymore, and you're on the ground, and you're going, Oh, please, Mike, I've never been in a real fight. And Mike Tyson steps on your head and steps on your face, rips your Lakers jersey off, and then ties it around your throat, you fuckhead. Sorry, uh, Sith Negan is telling me the clock should be at 27 minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Sith. Uh, but anyway... Sorry. Just can't stand. Uh, we're not happy with LeBron. We're not having a good night. Now there'll be no there'll be no racism in the chat. You're not going to be racist. Come on. Just because we don't like LeBron, I I don't like LeBron because he's a fake victim um what do you call it like a fake victim race baiter what do you call it a race baiter because i mean he's racist himself i think so he's a race baiter the hell is that what is that What is that?
What the hell? Why did that? What was that about? Someone have control of my computer? What? Oh my God! In the spot all day. Oh my God! I want ah. you to jam me. Let's start good tonight. Last night's episode was hilarious, man. Whoa. It is sure molested story and you coming in and making it worse was killing me. <laughs> oh my God, dude. I still, I actually still have not been able to listen back to that. Ghost from the coast. The ghost from the coast. Drop in a huge bomb. Ghost, thank you so much, man. Holy shit. Yeah, Asher was talking about me molested uh, for real, and then I came back and uh, dude, I didn't know that it was it was so ridiculous. I thought they were f joking with me. I come back and they're like, "Oh yeah, Joe, uh, you know Asher's talking about how he was molested. You know you shouldn't really joke about this." Like, and I'm like, "Get what? Fuck you guys!" I had no idea, man. I felt really bad because he was upset. I, you know what I mean. I didn't know, though. I didn't hear any of it. I just came back and was like, what's up? You know, I did Michael Scott. I didn't know. It's like when I made fun of, like, a long time ago, I made fun of Junebug about something, his girl or whatever. I didn't I didn't really know that was real. You know, it's like people set me up for that. But um, whatever. That guy never came back after that because of that. Um, Okay, holy shit. Uh... That's going to put us at 20 times 4. That's 80 minutes. Right? That's 80 minutes. So 60 minutes is an hour. So an hour and 20 minutes. So an hour. We're at an hour and 43 or 45, something like that. I'll just say 45 if you add the other time. Wow. So we are definitely going to get to the Discord tonight. And I will uh, change the minutes at this point now. To two minutes, uh, that was our, uh, wow, that is crazy, man. Thank you so much, Ghost. That's crazy. There was some crazy shit last night on Monetize This. I will say that is one of my favorite episodes of the year. Like, that That might be one, like, we had some good string of shows a couple weeks back or a month, whatever. Um, but last night I enjoyed, I really did. I enjoyed Monetize This last night. Thank you guys for making it fun. And Asher was hilarious. And a lot of the stuff was funny. Uh, one of the things I want to go over real quick, we have a lot of clips from last night too. A lot of very weird clips from last night. Here's one of the uh, ones I'll go over. Hey, Ghost from the Coast, thank you so much, man. I'm going to put him on the board up here because that's crazy. Man, Ghost, thank you so much for that, dude. Wow, that is a bombs away, man. Goes from the coast, one hundred dollars. It's the top dono, so let's put him up on the board. That's huge. Let's hear it. Oh, here it is. Here's one of it. Here's some. Plasma dong. Get it on with my plasma dong. Bong bong bong. Does my pedo picker? Hey. <laughs> I don't have a father, you idiot. Oh, no. I love when AJ Adams says, "I didn't have a father, you idiot." Like we didn't believe he didn't. He did. Hey. I don't have a father, you idiot. Oh. No, you. I know you had. Well, we we we, we knew we, that. We knew that. We knew that. Yeah. 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 We did. You That's didn't even have to say me. that. You you just have to look at your skin color. Oh Jesus Christ, <laughs> Wow. That was funny. Yeah, we, <laughs> that was well, funny. I mean, he's also technically white too. Mm. Yeah, I'm, well, yeah, I'm well, half white. I mean, I, you know how many fucking white dads went for cigarettes and never came back to? Oh. <laughs> yeah, they were killed by a black guy at the store. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, he just blew my fucking mind. <laughs> that was fucked up. Um, 
We also have uh, we have uh, th we have uh, Jesse here. Uh, this these are all time stamped down below on Monetize This last night. I mentioned this during the show last night, but I I had to go back and revisit it because Jesse was so you know just fighting through the pain of life, and uh, he just at one point got sick of whatever he was doing and probably was just in so much fucking pain. And he just said, fuck it. And he yeeted this uh, <laughs> grocery bag. Just like, just like, ah, rah, he just fucking threw one of the bags across the street. Oh, he's straight from Kentucky. Look at him. Watch Jesse here. No, 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 no. Hey, By the way, he's got like seven orange juices. Like, I know. Jesse looks like. He's doing. He's Jesse looks like. Atomic bong. Bro, can he's you send me? Jesse mixed together. Dude, I'm almost out of drinks. preparing for the fucking apocalypse. Here it is. Watch this. Watch I'm this. Almost, I'm almost out of drinks. Why, why? First of all, why does why did Jesse and Gargots? <laughs> why did Jesse and Gargots always get here at the end of the show? What is up with that? But I've always noticed that. Number two, fucking have to work, motherfucker. Let me ask, but the two of you at the same time. It's so weird. Now, here's the other thing. Can Jesse send me some of those groceries? Because we're running out of we're out of drinks at my house. I have I have a little bit of orange juice, water, and milk. Can you send me some? And you know what you know what's even worse is my mother went shopping today and I tried to call her a million times to be like, the real thing we need is drinks and juice. Uh, otherwise I'll go to the store and get it. But my mother was like, Hey, I'm at the store. Do you need anything? And then I called her and she wasn't answering me. And so then I called her and she was like, oh, I'm already out of the store. And I'm like, oh, man, you called and asked if I need anything. We really need drinks. And she said, oh, I didn't get you any drinks. I got you a bunch of like frozen food. I'm like, no, 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 we're out of drama. It was just funny. And then I was sitting here seeing all the orange juice. Some of those drinks. I have three kids, Jesse. Thank you. And that pencil. You like, so you like some Gatorade? He'll swap his EBT card. Because we're running out of, we're out of, all Rushes. you got to do. This is the best episode of white people get away with making drugs ever. Okay? That's what this is. Yeah. Making some Are drugs. Are you sure sexy for my disability? <laughs> All you got to do is put half. Watch, here it is. This has got to be it right here. And Gargut says that Jesse's too <laughs> I'm too busy for my disability. What? Pack it into one whole gallon. Here it comes. Watch this. The other half into another one. And it's not that tasty, but it's like just enough that it's nice. I swear to God, it's coming. You know? It's in yeah, here wait, somewhere. Those plastic bags? Oh, those are bottles. Those plastic on... bags were outlawed. No, those are bottles of his own piss. What are you talking about? Ew, he's carrying <laughs> no, 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 no. Jesse, Jesse has these, like, they look like plastic bags. I'm telling you, man, he whips them at some point. We got to we gotta find it. It's too funny. He just grabs a bag and he just goes fucking, woo, and he fucking just tosses it. So launches this this bag. Is this it? He's fucking with the walker right here. It was around when he was fucking with the walker. I swear to God it happened soon. It's like he can't the door open and the walker. Oh, here it is. Look, fucking boom! <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, my God. So 20, 20, probably 255.15 or something like that. 255.15. Oh, here it is. Here it is again. Let's get it in slow-mo. Is this slow-mo? Yes, yeah, it's a slower motion. So Jesse's just going to be like, Oh, this thing's stuck to the fucking walker. Fucking... <laughs> oh, my God. We should put sound effects over that. <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> Imagine we put a sound effect over that, like a fucking cat or something, just being waffled. Oh my god, maybe we can find something. Hold on a second, let's see if we can find something. Um, let's see. Oh no. Um, no, no. Okay, so we'll we'll get two things. We'll put two things together, right? We'll get a cat. Cat, um, we'll call it like a cat. Angry cat sound effect, right? We'll get that first, right? It was like this. <laughs> All right, so there's one, right? There's a. <laughs> so we get the cat sound effect. Amplify that up a little bit, make it a little louder, right? And then we'll, uh, We'll export that. We'll call it Cat One. We're doing live audio production right on the show. 
And then we'll go ahead and we'll get a uh, like a uh, breaking sound effect. Okay, so we got that. We like this. So there we go. We get that that smashing sound. So we'll uh, cut that, and then we'll uh, we'll call that smash something. And now we'll get uh, we'll get the both of them together, right? We'll open up a soundboard. Try not to crash the computer, which does happen when I do this sometimes. And we will uh, now we will uh, go ahead and paste them. That's right, they're nice tits. <laughs> they're Sound fucking flat. beautiful, they're fucking wicked awesome. Shut up, Leah. Um. Okay. So we'll get uh we'll go back here to Jesse. Here he is. Here he goes. There we go. <laughs> probably probably <laughs> wants to kill us. I'm I'm too to sexy for my outside meth lab. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just oh, throw it? <laughs> there it is. All that for just that. Amazing. Let's go back to the donations. Goes from the coast. Thank you for a hundred dollars, man. Shit bum. Appreciate it. Jordan is goat. LeBron is a fake. LeBron is a fake. Jordan is the goat. I agree. See, I agree. One hundred percent. Red Comet man. RCM. What's up? Thank you for the two dollars. Appreciate that, man. Much appreciate. We're gonna go to the Discord in a oh! little bit. Whoa. Uh. Thank you. Thank you, Lewis Money. Um, you raised a piece of shit. WWE is not going PG anymore. They're going Attitude Era again back in a day. At least that's what someone said in another talking show. Um, Yeah, that's what I mean. I said that two days ago. We've been talking about that all week. Allison Takwab. Thank you for the four ninety nine. You okay, Allison? If you, Shit bomb. You should be listening to the show every day, LeBron Allison. James is a mongoloid, and I want him to look white. Oh Fuck bag God. loser asshole. Well, I'm going to add some time to the to the clock because of you. Victim basher. Thank you for the $5 and becoming a $5 shit bum. Victim basher. I appreciate it. Glad you were here last night for Monetize This. Um, F bag loser. <laughs> All right. We'll add some more time to the clock. Oh one uh, thirty nine. We'll say one hour and thirty nine minutes. Back up on the clock. We'll add even more time. Victim basher. Thank you so much. Is that LeBron James? Is is LeBron James like a known uh, victim basher? Is that what you're saying? Shit bum. Boston love Kevin Garnett. Yes, we love Kevin Garnett here. How could we be racist? And we, but even even though we love Kevin Garnett, we really love we love Paul Pierce. That's the guy we really, you know what I mean? Like I love, like I really love Paul Pierce. I I I tweeted him the other day. Actually, I tweeted Paul Pierce to be like, "Hey man, I just want to say like I miss you and we love you, and uh, I'm you know I miss seeing you, you know, and watching you and stuff like that. You know, I I love Paul Pierce." So I would say I love Paul Pierce even more. I mean, I love Kevin Garnett, and that was awesome. But, you know, Paul Pierce, you know, we're talking, you know, like over 10 years or something, whatever it was of Paul Pierce here. Like, I don't know, man. Paul Pierce goes back to the, like, you know, the late 90s still, the early 2000s. You know, he really went through a shitload to be on the Celtics and tried to carry some of those teams early on. So... You know, I love Paul Pierce. Fucking love Paul Pierce. Just don't get stabbed again. Shit bomb. Hey, Joe, I know you're not religious, but can you pray for me or make sure that nothing bad happens to me because I sadly might have to take the vaccine? Retro neon. Well, I, uh, I, I mean, I can't make sure that nothing bad happens to you. But 
I hope nothing bad happens to you. Yeah, and I'll, I'll um, I, you know what? You, I bet you're gonna be fine, Retro. Thank you, Retro Neon. Why? What's going on? How old are you? Why do you have to get the vaccine? What do you? What's going on? Why now would you have to get it of all times? I mean, I had one shot, but only only one. I didn't get the second or third or anything. I just got one. So you'll be all right, I bet. I'm sure you're going to be fine. Most people were fine. You know, I wouldn't get it necessarily, but, uh, you know, most, most people were fine. We'll see in 10 years if we're all fine. <laughs> uh, some people will tell you not to get it, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I, why do you have to get it? If you have a bad feeling about it, don't get it. You know, if you have a bad feeling about something. Don't do it. You know, I mean that's that's what I think. But yeah, man, I will think I will uh, pray for you, man. I mean, I don't do that a lot, but I mean, I'll be thinking about you. The reason why I don't pray, really, I mean, I kind of do in some ways because I think I sit there and I think to like, I think to the to the light and the and like to all the the energy around us. I think and I and I do I pray. To, to like the world, you know, like, please, like, let this be whatever, you know, so I still do do that, but I don't sit down and religiously like pray, like, you know, like I, like I did when I was a kid, because the last time I prayed religiously, like, you know, my dad didn't come home. So like, that always stuck with me. So I'm, I'm actually afraid to pray. Like I, uh, I'm actually terrified to pray, like to put my hands together and to be like, I'm going to, you know, to do that it is terrifying, Tra just traumatic to me because as I was learning religion and Christian being, you know, all that stuff, uh, Christianity when I was seven or eight years old, uh, that's when my father died. And so like, but when he was gone, I would, you know, like, Oh, you know, I would put my hands together and, um, yeah. So like whenever I would do that, if I ever thought about doing that again, it would, I'd get all freaked out, but I do still pray because I, I think like, you know, oh, please let this happen and let this be person be okay and stuff like that. So I'm still throwing that energy out there. So I will do that, you know, cause I do do that. So that when, you know, that there's just, just to clear that up, to clarify what exactly I'm talking about. Um, let's see. Um, all right, let's go ahead and take a look real quickly from last night. What what was the other thing? Oh yeah, the uh, the the pedo guy, that was a big thing. The pedo guy last week. Here it is. Oh my God! Remember we knew that guy. That guy's name was uh, what was the guy that I knew? Plasma Don. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I knew a guy that sounded just like that guy. You want to? He, he sounds just like him. Listen, ready? Listen to this. He he died a few years ago actually, and he's also a pedophile apparently, allegedly. I don't know. <laughs> Listen. So oh, I've seen this guy before. Fucking skeleton. So let me. I want to tell you about this guy. I was friends with this guy for years. Do you know how? When I was about when I was six when I was seventeen years old. This. Uh -oh. I'm dead serious about this. I'm, I'm de no. This is dead serious. When I was seventeen Nessie years old. Story. Seventeen years old. I got a random A I M message from this guy. And he said, hey, man, hey, what's up? And then he just started talking to me. And he was like, you know, what, what, how old are you and where are you from? And like the age, sex, location thing. And I said it. And then he said what he was. And then I was like, oh, like it's some older guy. And I'm like, that's weird. Anyway, I'm a friendly person. Like, I'm seriously a friendly person. Like, legit. <laughs> I'm a friendly person. Like, I have to convince myself of that. I'm a friendly person. I'm really, I'm really a friendly person. 
I'm like, okay, this guy's probably a weirdo. He goes, and then we started talking about music, and then like I sort of stopped talking to him. I was like, all right, I got to go, whatever. And I, I left him on my ad list. And over the years, he would randomly message me, but he never did anything weird, that weird. Um, however, um, I, I, I never really talked to him again for a while. Then I launched my new YouTube channel in 2006, right? And I attached my YouTube link to my AIM. And in 2006, I kind of never went on AIM much anymore around that. Never around that. Like I, and and so this guy then he subbed to me on YouTube on my original YouTube channel and I subbed to him and I when I subbed to him I saw him making videos like this sort of thing but a few so a few years ago I hadn't heard from him in a while and I was like whatever happened to that guy old plasma Don or whatever Chris Hansen well there's a guy on YouTube that made a video about him and apparently he was allegedly involved in child sex stuff or something. And the guy, the guy made a video about how he was a pedophile or something. And then I guess Don left YouTube, I, I guess. And then I heard he was dead. But I also, there was like a, <laughs> there was a mysterious, so there's a mysterious thing that he, that he like tried to say he's dead be, to get away, you know what I mean, to get off the internet, like all of a sudden, <laughs> because people started like attacking him and people were making videos. I mean, dude, look at this. I've, I'm telling you guys, I've known this guy since I was six, 17 years old. I've known this guy. Mm -hmm. So think about that. But he never had any inappropriate things with me, but he was weird that he was talking to me. And I always felt weird, but like he was always nice. So I never did anything. He never did anything weird. But dude, look at this. YouTube's hidden predator. This guy, Whoa. Nick Crowley, made a video about him. 3.3 million views on this guy. It was You're lucky. Jesus. Dude, it was insane to see this about this guy because I had known this guy for so long. But I did see his videos where he like shouted out everybody who subbed his channel and I guess he would say things to people who were younger about like and get them to make videos or something. I don't know, bro. I don't know what's up. I didn't look that deep into it, but I mean like unfortunately if you when you first hear him you're like, "Oh, he sounds like he's creepy." But um I I I believe I, I think he might be dead because I've I haven't seen him make a video in forever. Mr. Crowley. Very weird. <laughs> Why'd you message Joe Cronin? But Leah used to ride my white cock. Leah's been making <laughs> Leah's been making videos about this guy for uh, 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 <laughs> Leah's been laughing at this guy for years though because she says he sounds like that guy from Family Guy. Because listen. Uh, her daughter brought her home from the Oh, hospital. no. <laughs> See? <laughs> she was wearing a little while ago to wash her hair in the bathroom. Hey there, and little boy. Hey there, Chris Griffin. Hey there, there, Chris Griffin. Uh, hey there Joe Cronin. Why don't you send me pictures of your little penis to me, little man? That is a pitchfork in that painting. The pitchfork guy. I'd like to suck your cock. I, think it was I want you to send me another message on AIM, little boy. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Dude, that's so creepy. Them. And to me, it's like I hear him, not the family guy thing. I hear this guy, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know whatever happened. No, he no, might be done. You want to have a look at my plasma dong? <laughs> 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 I've officially killed Joe. <laughs> I passed my dog. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> You're la you laughing as me <laughs> snorting. <laughs> oh my god. Come on out, you rapist. <laughs> <laughs> Come on out, you my rapist. My dong is out for you, my plush my dong, hey, Joe Chris, I, uh, I heard you had a problem there with the uh, pedophile people. Uh, Problem she had was UTI, I think. Oh. That's, uh, you know who that is? That's going to be Mikel in the future. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. no. That's what I Asher. Asher, I'm going to have a question for you. You think, you think there's like oh, her with the bird no. Coming in with the boigas. Have a with the boigas.
I think there is. You know, that oh. plasma dawn guy definitely owned an antique shop with children in the back. No. Like kid in, in cages he with did? duct tape over their mouths. No, I'm just saying he looks Fuck like the person that would. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you little cunt bastard. Fuck you little cunt bastard. Fuck you little cunt bastard. You fucking little mongoloid fuck. Oh. Wow. <laughs> All right. Relax. You know, Bullfrog, you, what's wrong with you, bro? You want me to die? I mean, what's fuck's wrong? Why would you say that? I'm glad Sith... I surely wouldn't want you to die. <laughs> I, I want him to come. <laughs> Yo, Connor, I'm going to shoot you, Joe. I'm going to fucking shoot you. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Fuck you, little cunt bastard. <laughs> you not get my fuck you, little cunt bastard. You fucking little mongoloid fuck. <laughs> mongoloid fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love What's my sister and my niece at the same time. <laughs> oh man! You, Mister Nice Guy, if you want to support me, fine. Just don't be. Yes, yeah. Did I get? Give me a trailer park. Mongoloid, I got your mongoloid ass, bitch. <laughs> well, I tried to find it. I tried to find it. I couldn't find it, guys. I, there are, so uh, well, I was the name Todd. I was playing that because for one reason, um, everybody wanted me to find. Uh, there's several people that were, I need to unban from the chat, and I spent so much time trying to find the person, and I, I cannot find it. So many of you guys, multiple of you, have asked me to like unban you, and I, I can't find it. Um, I've got so many different ones with problems. It's not, it's, it's not, and it, like, uh, it's funny because I spend all that time trying to find it. And so many of you guys have asked me to, to fix it. Like, remember Patrick Carnes the other day? I couldn't find Patrick Carnes. Patrick, I looked through your whole fucking thing. You see that? But I think my favorite name is, we did this one time, we went through the names, and I, I think one of my favorite names is, uh, where is it? Joe Cronin's Dead Children. Leah Cream. Leah Cream Pied Bullfrog. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this, bro? <laughs> like, dude, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck is, is this name, bro? Like, Naked Fuck Bag. Like, Joe Cronin's Naked Death Wish. Like, like, look at this. <laughs> like, what the fuck with these fucking names, bro? <laughs> Joe Cronin's Naked Death Wish. Um, Joe Cronin's N-Word Mother. Um, I hope Joe's family burns in in bus. <laughs> like, Joe, I hope Joe's family burns in bus. <laughs> what the fuck, guys? Did you fucking, like... Dude, what the... What the fuck is this? <laughs> You see that? I tried to show it to you guys so you can see it. <laughs> every every couple of every every three or four months, you know, I I like to. We usually do a show or like on a show, I I bring up the funniest troll names that we've ever seen, and uh, that was. Where that one? That's one of the funniest ones. I think uh, this one's good too. Here, um, um, where is it? So we're going through them all. Um, Carlos Ray spicy F word waffled microphone and pilled up garbage bags. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is goddamn is that, bro? I don't know, man. There's some fucking entertaining names. I'll tell you that. Um, oh yeah, this is a good one here. Uh, Tommy the pedo clown. <laughs> Tommy the pedo, the pedo clown touches kids. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this, dude? <laughs> what is that, dude? Where do these names come from, bro? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, bro. But you guys can see I went through it and I couldn't find uh 
I couldn't find the name, some of the names that we were looking for, but I, I had to, <laughs> I cannot believe some of those fucking names. Um, Luis Antonio Alejandro's fake dildo job. Um, Leah, the slave whore. I think one of the other funny ones was, um, where the guy makes bullfrog a black man. Bullfrog, the N word, it says. Quote the Raven, Joe Cronin's an e beggar. <laughs> oh my God, bro. That's pretty funny. Quote the Raven, Joe Cronin's an e beggar. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh my God, bro. That is way too funny. Like, don't get me wrong. Some of the names are pretty funny. Oh my God. Like the the Joe's limp pecker. I, I mean that's kind of boring, but it's still pretty funny. Joe's limp pe pe pecker. I don't know. That's that's a pretty funny one. Anyway, back to the donations. I'm sorry to get sidetracked. I tried to help a couple people. Sorry, Patrick Carnes. I still don't know what's up with your name being banned. I don't know what's up with that. I stay. Not, we'll fix it tomorrow, though. We'll we'll get it fixed, man. We'll get you fixed. We'll fix you like a fucking dog, bro. My bad, man. Shit bum. Hey, Joe, were you ever a Sting fan? The initial transition to the Crow character from 96 to 98 was awesome to watch. Him not speaking for almost two years so sick. Um, yeah, pretty crazy. That was pretty crazy. Uh, give, you yeah. I still think I got to fix whatever the problem is, but if this works, then Patrick Carnes, I might have a fix for you. But yeah, Patrick Carnes, there's several people with problems. Uh, Brian Elliott, thank you for the $5 and becoming a $5 ship bum. Really appreciate the $5 ship bum, baby. Thank you. Welcome to beat the clock. Where we beat our meat for over ten hours. Let's see what time what time are we on here? One hour and nineteen minutes left. In a few minutes we're gonna be going to Discord to hear from you guys on Discord as we approach the one hour mark. Or oh, we already passed it, really. I think we made it. Um, let's see here. Yeah, you gotta give it, man. You gotta give it up for some of the craziness. I hope you had fun last night on Monetize This, man. I had a blast last night. I still haven't re-listened to the whole thing from last night because it cracked me up so much, man. It's crazy shit. Shout out to the ghosts from the coast uh, for the $100. Big ones. Let's drop a dono. Dunkachino? Don't mind if I do. What's my name? Dunkachino. It's a whole new game. Dunkachino. You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate blend. I am the champ. Just wanted to say hello, and I will win the next 10 monetize this championships. Oh, man. Look at that. Todd Fair is claiming he's going to win the next 10 in a row monetize this championships. Todd Fair dropping $10. Todd, thank you, man. We're gonna add, we'll add five minutes to the show for that. All right. Actually, let's increase this from two minutes to three minutes. So we'll give it to you here. So we'll go six minutes on this one. Todd Fair, thank you, man. So we'll go one hour and 24 minutes. We'll add it. We'll give you a little extra. One hour and 24 minutes back on the clock, courtesy of Todd Fair, keeping the show rolling. Amazing shit, Todd Fair. Todd Fair is full of shit? What the hell? Oh, I figured out what the problem is now. So, uh, listen, if you're out there, Patrick Carnes and several other people, if, you having, if you're banned in the chat because of a glitch and you can't speak in the chat and you're having problems, 
please just let me know and I will try to add your name and fix it. I can fix it now, but I just need your YouTube channel link. It's, uh, so c congratulations. We finally figured that out. Uh oh, what the hell is this about? What is this about? Why does it keep happening? You raised a piece of shit. Hey, what's up, Joe? What's up? I know you have a pretty busy life, but I was wondering if you have been able to see either one of these two movies yet. One, Spider-Man No Way Home. Or two, The Batman. Would love to know what you think. So, uh, Debe's Scarf Collection. Thank you for the donation. I have not seen them. I haven't seen either one yet. I just have not been able to. Yeah, I haven't been able to see it. I didn't watch Spider-Man because Leah decided to watch it with all her boyfriends on uh, WoW or something like that, whatever they do. Um, so she probably saw it with JB and uh, all her other, uh, all the people that used to be on the show, uh, whatever. And um, Batman, no. Leah, Leah all of a sudden was like, I don't want to see it. And I was like, what? You love Batman. What the fuck? But uh, yeah, so I haven't seen Batman yet. I can't believe it. But you know what I have seen is Doctor Strange. I finally saw Doctor Strange the other day. Me and Leah watched that. So, um, you know, I didn't love... I thought Doctor Strange was okay. But it. I've heard everything... Um, what's the What's the movie that's out with uh, the lady who's in Star Trek Discovery? Michelle Yeoh or whatever. Um, everything, everywhere, all at once. I've heard that that is the better version of that Doctor Strange movie. Um, so I may have to go see that because I heard that was really good. Um, but yeah, Dr. Strange was all right. I thought it was all right. Leah, Leah was a little disappointed. She liked it, she said, but she thought there was a lot of stuff that was just stupid or whatever. So, and Leah loved the first Dr. Strange. So I think Leah is starting to witness the destruction of Marvel. Like I told her was going to happen because I've told everybody I'm almost done with Marvel. It's all going to become woke and stupid and fucking ridiculous. So I was like, all right, you know, I'm pretty much out on this, but I will watch the second Doctor Strange. And that's about it. I don't think there's almost anything else I want to see from Marvel now. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not going to see Thor because if they, you know, there's such a double standard that these movies. So Thor looks like it's going to be dumb. So I'll probably watch the Batman soon because that looks like it's probably pretty good. And I've actually, I can't believe that I haven't seen it the second it came out. But it's just like, I'm, you know, I'm, that shows how Batmaned out we all are, right? How Batmaned out do you have to be to have not seen that? But I, and also it's three hours long, you know? There's that on top of everything. So it's like, you know, you got three hours to watch Batman because that's going to be a hell of a thing. The Ghost from the Coast. The top donation of the stream so far on Beat the Clock tonight. Shit bum. Love you, Joe. What's the craziest conspiracy theory you think is true? Man, the craziest conspiracy... Well, you know, I was talking to someone earlier about the moon landing. And uh, that might be... Uh, but I, I don't think 100% that that's true. The craziest conspiracy theory I think is true? I mean... Most of the craziest conspiracy theories, I think, are true, or to me, are true. So, like, I don't know. Um, Triple H HBK twenty one. Thanks for the five dollars ship bum. That's a rough one because, I mean, Bob Lazar is a bit of an uh, his whole thing is a conspiracy type of thing. I feel like he's telling the truth a little bit. So I feel like that's true. But they're already admitting to all this stuff. So. You know, like the like the craziest conspiracy theory that possibly could be true is maybe more. Like I would say, um we'd have to name some. I have to I, you guys have to name some because all I can think about right now are things like Planet X. Like Planet X and Nibiru and that shit. But everything else is like it's it is true. So I, I really don't... I'm trying to think of something... Like, I would say Flat Earth, but I don't think Flat Earth is true. I don't believe that's retarded. So I don't think that's true. So that's that's not one. It's one of the craziest fucking things, I think. Or dumbest of anything. Um, 
you know, uh, there's a lot of things. I mean, yeah, okay, 9-11. But, oh, my God. Is that... Is that in the chat? Oh, my God. Holy shit. I would say 9-11 is probably. Oh, my God. Holy fuck. It's him. Oh my god, he's in the chat! It's... Oh my god, it's Devious Day Rose in the chat! Oh my god! We are going to get a Pantera tour, although it's not really Pantera. But I am excited about the idea that, I mean, at least Rex and Phil are going to get back together. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Phil and Rex. Phil and Rex back together. And, you know, with the people that are like Zach Wilde, I mean, if you can't have Dime, you'll never have. It's never going to be right without Dimebag. There's no doubt about it. I mean, it's never going to be right. Without without Vinny and without Dimebag, it will never be right. But at least it will be like an homage, an homage, whatever. We can all celebrate that. So that'll be fun. So we'll see what happens with that. But yes, uh, going back to Dave's comment, I would say 9-11. That's a great point. The, the, the craziest conspiracy theory, theory that's probably true is probably 9-11. That's a great point. That's a great point. I didn't think about that. It's kind of like the who for heavy metal. No doubt about it. Yeah, dude. Uh, Dime, when Dimebag died, bro, that was that when that guy killed Dimebag, dude. That was that made everybody sick, bro. That was fucked up. That was absolutely fucked up. I remember, dude. We were we were just lost at that point. So let's go over to Discord now because we've been live for over an hour. So now we're gonna go to the Discord, join everybody, have a good time tonight. It's gonna be a fun time, I think, tonight. Uh, what it's about still is. got an hour and 14 minutes left in the show, too. Hey, peepee heads. Well, look who decided to undeafen. Oh, what? Daddy, how, how are you today, Daddy? Oh, my God. That's terrifying. How are you guys? No, I'm okay. I'm just here. Oh, my God. Are you doing that? Tom Shut up, Elmo. Are you doing the Tommy NC impression when he, <laughs> co when he cornered that big fat moose in the store and terrified her and her kid? Remember that? Oh, his mom? Uh, No. Yeah, Tom, Tommy like cornered some woman in a store, and was like doing a creepy. Yeah, he was he was doing um a creepy like Elmo pedo voice to her. I thought he was yeah. only into little girls. I was a Navy <laughs> Seal. I was into little girls. I was only into little girls until I tasted a boy. Yeah, uh, the boy was uh, Ricky Martin's nephew. I'm here oh. to date your six-year-old. That's right. Ricky Martin is on fire. He could be going to jail for 50 fucking years. Ricky Martin. Yes. 
Good. Banging my nephew's he deserves it. Out. I'm banging my nephew's brain out. You want it again? We'll do it again, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Please. Not again. Ricky Martin's going to jail for having sex with his nephew, everybody. I'm in superstitions because I don't bang the first time. But if he's my nephew, his asshole looks mighty fine. I want to eat his anus. Yeah, it looks kind of nice to me. Bend over, you little prince there. I want to insert my pee into your little sphincter. You're underage and my nephew. I'll make you take your clothes off and lick you in your taint. I'll play a game with your anus that makes you claim like a cum shot to your brain. Upside, inside out, I'm banging my nephew's brains out. In and out, around, I'm banging my nephew's brains out. There we go. Banging my nephew's brains out by Ricky Martin. No, I'm going to be honest great. with you. I, yeah. I, like, lately I've been thinking about the uh, the Alex Jones one where it's like, oh, what do you call it? I can say, put water in the fucking thing and turn the fucking frogs gay. That shit's fucking funny, man. Yeah. I mean, you're only yeah. five years late, but, you know. That's okay. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the freaking frogs gay. <laughs> I yeah. now now we luckily the good news for Ricky Martin at least the so the there's good news there's good news and bad news and bad news the bad news good is news. Bad the, news. the bad news is he unwillingly he he uh, penetrated someone against their will so that's bad the other bad news is this person is related to him biologically so but the the good news is they were of age so that is the one good thing because even Leah my wife I, she said to me she's like. Oh well, that's not as bad as I thought. So that it wasn't a kid or anything. I'm like, yeah, but it was he. But he raped him. It's she goes, yeah, but it's not that bad because, well, you, you said he was 21, right? And I was like, wait a minute. If a guy rapes any woman, it's always horrific. You're and she's like, oh yeah, well, like but I'm like, oh my god, like no, but like, yeah, he wasn't a kid, great, but he still raped somebody, and there exactly. is family, so he's a fucking he's it's incest and rape of your family member. Allegedly. I think Leah might be just a pair bit retarded. Well, I don't think she I don't think she meant it like that, but she was just kinda like, Jesus Oh, well at least he's not a kid, you know? And I'm like, Well but wait a minute. Like <laughs> that's like saying like when Brock Turner like like stick fucked that girl. It's like, Well, at least she wasn't a kid, you know. It's like Or like what? uh what's his name? The president, uh Bill Clinton. I do not have sexual relations with that woman. I do not have sexual relations with that woman. A lot of people said this, though. A lot of people said, like, oh, it's but, not, he's, mean, not, he's not even underage. Okay. And it was like, well, wait a he's minute. He's gay. Wait, wait, what if this happened during Pride Month? That Clinton sounded like fucking a Spicoli or some kind of stoner. What the hell was that? <laughs> yeah, so I, like, totally took off her bra, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, man, what's up, baby? Hey, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just that blew me away that Clinton, I, with air quotes. That was pretty good. You know what? You know what blew? Well, you know what blew it, me it away? Really bad. Oof. Could you give me a distance on that shopping bag you chucked last night? Like how long? How far do you think it went? Uh, dude, I, if anyone could have broken a window with a fucking thing of bagels, it's me. <laughs> he threw them tomatoes on the I mean, desert. you have to throw with s such fucking energy that it's not even about the bagels anymore. That cracked you know? me up, it's dude. It's about when you release that shit and how much you're, how pissed you are. 33 years packed into a throw would go, uh, go pretty good. Yep. I've, I've gotten that mad before. I've been trying to get oh, shit I in the house. I remember one time I asked everybody for help and nobody came out to help and I was trying to get everything in the house and I'm oh, falling God, over. Yes. Yeah, I almost fucking just whoop shit like... Oh yeah! Imagine that times thirty-three years—you'll be fucking ready to kill. 
It's good uh, stuff. Well, you can like build a whole shopping mall like with that anger. Well, you but are. I wouldn't build that because I was gonna like have gas fill the fucking vents and kill all the dummies. Right. Can you kill me? Yeah. Which is mainly kids because nobody likes. Did you hear when mall. I put sound effects to you throwing the bag earlier? Uh, no. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it, this isn't a dog. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like his I'm not outfit, and I wasn't down. a big fan of his promo either, the Mr. Gentleman promo right, type. He, Allow me oh. to introduce myself. Are you going to fuck the guy? Or- yeah, that never gets fucked. I wish we had that other comedy he made when he was on your show, like, was it, I don't think it was Dixie Car. Maybe it was. Like, you could take eight inches of my cock. Man, he hated her. He was so mad at Dixie Carter. Remember how mad Conan was at oh, her? Well, oh, yeah, because back then she was still a place people might look at as a place to go work and do some good stuff. Yeah. There was still a little time left, and it was just like, ah, fuck that. That ain't never happening now. Dumb bitch. Nah, I love Dumb Conan. bitch. What he's, the just, fuck? he's one of the guys who imagine he like managed to stay a real dude, you know? It's like through wrestling, of all places. No, I, right. I, you know what my opinion is on Conan? He's just another old head that wants to have a big name here. Mm-hmm. It's like, dude, let's sit down, you know? I love old head, dude. Fucking not too old. All right. <laughs> you know what? Old I'm, head I'm, grandma. <laughs> I'm pissed off that Conan isn't in AEW right now because I was enjoying him there. Oh, as a makes man. Me <laughs> hey, uh, Jesse, I have a question. Would you get head from a grandma? Whoa. Dude, I have. They're oh, only you have to be. They only have to be fifty or forty-five. <laughs> what the, without the dentures, man? <laughs> Dude, no, no. The, the oldest I've been with is fifty-five. But so what? But okay, would you go with someone older, like seventy? <sighs> you know that one. That would have to like be just too good to pass up. Or even you guys would be like, uh. How- all right, like I guess let's, let's, like, let's say she takes out the dentures right, it just slides in and out. Like no, it's know. more about like <laughs> no, no, I yeah. know. You'd have to kind of, you'd have to love them, and also you'd have to be like, all right, I give you the best times of your life. You leave me some damn good money. Sound good? All right. You want a little smack, son? <laughs> and if they have a fucking like awesome fucking daughter, looks awesome and shit, and that it is awesome, even if they're married, they, fuck, they have. I think last. <laughs> they have an awesome daughter. What the fuck? Yeah, dude. Well, they have to be awesome. If they're just hot, like I just probably will try and cut them out of the world because they're just stupid hot. Yeah, people. like let, let's but say too easy. too easy. Like she's cool, girl. You know, she goes to Harvard. She's like one of those chicks. But yeah, you like know, basically, deep... when such guys, I I want to be able to do the same thing with their daughter. Yeah, but like but, you know, deep down, like she football. sucked off the whole football team in high school and shit. Well, let's better be but, good at it then, huh? Yeah. Then if not, yeah, I'll punch her right in the face. Yeah. So that, you with know, the that, door. You know what? Abortion, you want to know right. you get, when you do an abortion, you got to get a hammer. Okay? You um, I, get, no, you... actually, I just, uh, dude, I have great luck. I fucking pick people that can't get pregnant. And if they did, it almost killed them, and it barely happened anyway. Like, I, I love that shit. I've never had to use it. Jeez. Well, Jesse, never you, had Jesse you just use a pillow like you use on those dogs. All right, or practice your soccer they skills and kick the stomach. way too much really nice rope and shit for that. I don't even need a pillow. They can scream all they want, la, la, la. No one's going to hear you. And if they do, they they think something else is happening anyway. They don't realize that's happening and you're going to die. Well, Jesse, based on that question I had, I said 9-11 was the craziest conspiracy theory I think that could have happened. What do you think the craziest conspiracy theory is that it probably is true? Uh, fucking the fact that people think 28 years of school makes them even worth a plate of piss. <laughs> Are you talking about doctors? <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? I'm talking to anybody. No, everybody. Well, but, but I yeah, mean, who, but, who the fuck goes well, to school for 28 years? Anybody, you fucking did something because you were told to or because you thought you were going to get money, good money out of it, which they don't make great money. Or if you thought anything and then you don't have any integrity in what you do. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, you don't, you do fucking, there's people in remedial schools and kindergartners that are smarter than you. So fuck off with your schooling. So that's the big, that's one of the bigger ones. If they actually taught kids outside of a 30 to 1 ratio, then there'd be like five teachers to fuck classroom. But anyway, there'd be like, uh, people would actually get something when there's only two that can do it at the speed that everything's taught. It's, or you need to give credits to kids that are really smart and can do their work early and then they then go around and 
individually help kids where they can actually do it in a way that kid might understand and they get credits for it. Like have it be a way that they get ahead of the game if they're going to be that good at it. Yeah, but and before that, you, they got to learn the, they got to learn the, you know, the stuff first, like obviously. They already know it. That's my point. They know it so well that they can go and be five more teachers All to right. actually get to more students. So in a way, because sometimes you need four hours to learn fucking one little aspect that someone else gets in four seconds or four minutes. That's not yeah. the way that they should run school. Well, okay, what if, if the kid's slow? Kid what, what if he's slow? They're all slow. Nobody goes at the speed it's taught because we're not told why. And how many times, the only time I've ever needed math in my life, I needed, what I needed was financial management. Now I manage other people's finances, but it took 20 fucking five years of, Really, it's just ridiculous fuckery in that You're regard. Really, so trash at your bitch ass. <laughs> no, it's just silly, dude. It's like all right, so what that's one of the biggest. The the hell is that? There you go. School, school is garbage. You learn life oh and God. life, or you don't mean <laughs> shit. You're learning indoctrination, and then you're gonna do a job you hate for a family that you used to love, and those are gonna be your excuses to mm -hmm. just what hate everything. Fuck off. It just leads to, it's like fucking what they thought weed was. Fucking, Ooh. it leads to other crap. You know, well, like, it does. It does, you, you know, yeah. Don't worry about school. Do what you fucking love, and you'll fucking learn, like, so fast. You don't need a lot of time to learn something you love. Yeah, and you learn as you go. Because, look, yeah, if, if you're Bingo. really driven, if, if you're really committed to this thing, you're going to learn all this stuff in one day. One. It's an, if, yeah, I, mean, I had to learn. I had to learn how to be. This, a, but he did, That's not what helped. That's not why you were one of the best. I had, I had to learn how to be a dad. I, I used the first kid to learn how to be a dad, and then so. There you go. Good <laughs> shit. Yeah. Good luck yeah. to him. No wonder he's so, so quiet. Just shoot man. the fucking yeah. library someday. Like I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's the one he's that would flip up. No. Uh, uh, Gavin's. Uh, he goes nah, around yelling at the other kids. He, yeah, right oh, now. I'm not a great father of some people. So. No, shut up. You work hard and you fucking, you wouldn't be doing it for yourself half as hard as you do if you weren't, weren't doing it for your family. Yeah. But you're doing it, you know, you actually do do it for your family. Other people use that as an excuse. But that's, yeah, you but... do it and you try and make sure you're happy doing what you love. Even if you need another job or two on the side, you, you make sure to get all of that. You take care of yourself so that you're better for your family. Don't bullshit yeah. me. I know. A good parent learns all these things through the yes, failures yeah, and experience, one. No, experiences no. they went through as a child. Yes, sir. No. Yeah, you don't just tell kids, like, oh, don't do that. It's not good for you. That doesn't, that just makes them go do it. You fucking yes, give them some that, of your experience. That's what I'm saying, daddy, daddy. Your experience. Teach them in a way that they actually learn. Fuck it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's common sense. You got, you, when you have a child, you got to say, hey. You know, to the world. So so let, me teach, let me teach you something, okay? Blah, blah, blah. Right? Even though I'd be good at teaching him shit, I'm just Dude, not I'd be do. an amazing father. Can you, will you no, be, well, be, then will you be actually, my dad? I just can, help other kids learn what their parents failed to teach them. Can you, can you be my five father? Minutes and I'm will, you, done. will you be my dad? What is he even going on? Oh, oh my god, we're gonna be each other's dad. You know, like, I'll call you daddy. I'll be my new dad. My dad's, maybe you are my dad. just happened. Like that one couple in what's that one show? Modern Family, the gay guys. Yes, maybe. You, maybe oh, hell, oh, dude, I love that show. About maybe, maybe you're shit. you're my father. Come back to life again. You know what I mean? To raise me the right way. And you but imagine? You, but yeah. in, but instead, you just molest me. Like that would be. Uh, Ooh, I, I, shit, I don't want to make a, I don't make a don't joke. Don't forget there. your you friends. Homeless of us aren't turncoats. Have a good stream, my man. Thank you, six zero three Madden. Good to hear from you, man. Don't forget your friends. Some of us aren't turncoats. Have a good day. Thank you, 603 Madden. This podcast is a dumb you, bro. Hey, Joe, I got some big what? news. Why does that who guy is, keep is yelling? Somebody kick that shit? troll. Yeah, who, kick who that guy out of the thing. I don't know what he... I don't, we, nobody even knows what he's troll. saying. He just keeps... Oh, I can't... I, I can you see know what it is? is so I'm like, I don't even... I, I know I what it is. Like, Sith Negan oh. put out the Discord link, so just some guy that's coming in. Just, oh, shit. I love it. People think they're like, I got it, I got it, here. Yeah, just... Before just, the invite wears off, hurry. Just ban him. Or, <laughs> I, I don't know, I'd time him out if I could, but... Uh, who's uh, who was that uh, that donated? Uh, 603 Madden, that's five bucks. That'll put some, that'll put some time on the clock, uh, baby. Yeah. 
Thank you. Put three minutes on the clock. Anyways, I got some big news, Joe. You're gay? Ooh. I'm going to SummerSlam. Really? Woo! Yeah, we got the tickets earlier. Whose credit card did you use? (laughs) (laughs) Who else's? Stolen one. But no, we're going, me and my grandma are going to SummerSlam. Oh my God. No way. Wait, the... The grandma, wow. yeah, the grandma. Yeah, the grandma, yeah. She, Wait, she hey, pulled for, through and bought, bought me tickets. Man, <laughs> look at this. I can't believe it. You go, Asher's going to SummerSlam that with his so grandma. Cool, dude. Like, I hope it's the same credit card you used to use. That'd be amazing. Like, she gets all these <laughs> yes, points. Yes. From- yeah, I love it. Full oh my circle. God. You bet. Dude, that's awesome. Where is SummerSlam? I don't even fucking dude, know. Nashville, anything. so it's about three hours. Oh wow! So, uh, I'm going uh, to the Summer Slam. Thank you, Rostafa. <laughs> and I'm going to oh my God, was... rest in your colon. Oh my God! Colon <laughs> clans. The undergayer. The underminer. Uh, what was that? You're going to join the clan? The underminer. <laughs> the underminer. <laughs> The underminer? That could be two different things. Oh, no. That's horrifying. Wow. Well, underminer? What, um, what Rastafa, the do you want the... Rastafa, oh. do you want my tickets for the... Do you want my tickets for SummerSlam? Rastafa? Oh. Remind the underminer is... to be at in oh. Boston? Joe, you should, you should, like, say screw it and fly out to Nashville and come to SummerSlam. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, it's well, in Nashville. It's, not that far. it's further to get here than yeah. it is where he's at. You may, have to be ri- you may have to risk being strung up, but you could go down to SummerSlam. Wait, how many, uh, how many places does that place hold? Like, it's not places. How many people does that place hold? Mm-hmm. 70,000. Damn. R- Whoa, nice. They're not, no way that, do you think that's going to sell out? But, but when, I was, no looking, when I was looking it's, at the ticket on the map graph, you know, uh, one side of the stadium is completely it's sold out. grayed out. Like, you can't buy yeah, tickets. Yeah, but here's the thing, though, too. That's scalpers. That's why I'm probably okay. going to look for a second maiden ticket and pay a grand and get front row for one of the nights. But I'm going to do it at huge cost because that's what they do. They go out and they sell them. No, they go out and buy them all, so it looks like it's sold out, and then they're the only we ones got a, from. We got a good deal for it. Like, we're sitting in good. section. If God you want to pull right. up the Nissan uh, Stadium mapping graph or whatever we're sitting yes, in sir. section 214 and the tickets oh, in that area like are second, 300 but we yeah. got our tickets for 175 a piece so that's what two two section one section above the first section next to the floor right yeah yeah that's like that's like what i middle. thought yeah cool that's good dude that's never bad that's like right yeah oh uh, that's like my summer slam oh we're coming full circle nine years I motherfucker. Think, i think paul three said he's gonna be there Oh Holy boy! Shit. Have he fun with just that. Take signs that talk shit about everyone in the arena. It'd be phenomenal. <laughs> the day that Asher and Paul three meet is going to be a disaster. Well, that's the problem. Oh, the problem. Be best friends. Now, listen. You really want to? Have you seen how Paul three looks and dresses and whatever with his like dirty t shirts? <laughs> Can you imagine how bad sure. he smells? Oh, He'll shower that day. I'm sure. Imagine he stinks. He smells like, like install. Good ones. He just smells like a dirty bathroom. You have a mask on. Oh, and that's just in a book by its very dirty cover. What do you mean? But I'm really excited to see. You mean? What do you mean? uh, What do I mean? He looks looks in the shower like twice a day. If you nobody knows. Man, he is. Oh God, he looks a mess though. I gotta tell you, man. I think Paul Three stinks. I think he stinks. Come on out, you rapist! Jesus. Dirty. So, um, Rustafa, what cons- what conspiracy theory theory do you have, or do you think is true? Like, uh, of all, like that's probably true. That's cr- the craziest, yeah, or one that you you know learned over life. Something. What any yeah. type any type of conspiracy. The Loch Ness oh, monster. Jesus Christ! Talk about giving the easy answer. Come on! <laughs> come on! No, 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 no. I'm sorry. No, I'm actually asking a question. No, 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 no. Oh, he was asking. Okay. So, what? um, I would say that, you know, because everybody says the moon landing. I actually kind of believe that we mm. actually did because the fact is that we have an American flag on the moon. Okay. Well, that's been one of the things, though, to point out the conspiracy part, isn't it? Because of the way that it moves or doesn't move, whatever. 
with the gravity there and everything. But then, so, but then, but then you ask out. yourself, how did it get there? I mean, yeah, you could bring oh, a rock. No, and I do. Think, it. I think we went too. I think we're like splitting hairs on that, but that doesn't mean they're not full of shit on a lot of stuff. It's like people focus on the wrong thing. It's like maybe we should just pay attention more, and that actually could be real. You know, I believe oh, it is oh, too. Oh, but the but here's I mean, we all believe that there have been UFO sightings, let alone UFO yeah uh, contact. Whether or not all the aspects of the actual uh, species, or mm. God only knows if there are other species out there. Like again, I definitely <laughs> feel that there are things that we can't explain oh, yeah. that are out there. Dude, yeah. You'll see the elves. I'm telling you, take a little DMT. They're right there. They trip out too. They look at you like you can fucking see us, right? And then, then they party like, and they try and scare the shit well, out of you. So no, this is what I think. This is what I think. Yes, sir. That there are people. There, there, there are species that know that we exist, and they're smarter than us in the sense that it's like okay. Until they stop beating over the, you know themselves over the head with whatever, then you know we'll, we'll yeah. communicate with them. And, yeah, they're like, and, we wish we could talk to them. They're just too stupid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, what I mean, if, again, okay, and depend, okay, it, sorry to interrupt. Okay, continue. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, <laughs> I was going <laughs> to say, okay, what if there's a planet, right? A planet has species there's that a few different of them. than ours. Uh-huh. There's a planet that has species different than ours, okay? However, they're, they have different caste systems, right? For example, you have elites, then you have people. It's so cute that like you now? think there's money on them. <laughs> yeah, that people is that so are funny. people that are like lower no. peasants and stuff, and then you know there's people. Yeah, I'll tell the you middle, what, we're right? the only planet that uses a cash system. They like, use an energy system. So do who, we, but like, we don't who's to say that there's like an alien out there in a different planet that's doing the same podcast right now? It's like he's doing his us. taxes. Like, that's, yeah, that, that's imagine that. Yeah, imagine that's, that's, there's some alien out there who's doing like a well, podcast or like he's dude, in no, a no, park right like, now. That really is happening, dude. You're yeah. existing in multiple different places right the now. This podcast. isn't. You can't even call this the present because you don't actually know. Which one is more present and which one's more future? Which one's more, like this is what your consciousness is focusing on, but is it really the only present? Yes. No, oh, yes. no, no, it's not. It's the only one that your little mind on earth, our little minds on earth, can fucking Here's a little handle. question for Jesse. Actually, this is it. This is it. You, you actually brought up something or triggered something in my mind. Is Good. the timeline mm-hmm. the timeline? So, in other words, after the you know, again, the creation of, you know, the universe and all that stuff, is yeah. that timeline still expanding as we speak after billions oh. upon billions yeah. of years? Oh, yeah, actually, I, oh, my God, dude, bro, stop your trip, because I was just literally for an hour and a half before I called, I was thinking about this, this exact thing. So, like, con- all right, people like to think, talk about the Big Bang, and like, well, well let's sort of, go- you know, people, a lot of people think some fucking guy in the sky just fucking decided one day, we'll create this. Anyway, what happens is it's consciousness, right? But it's the consciousness that wants to experience every everything that could ever possibly be experienced, all the way to everything, all the way to, all the way back down to nothing, and it wants to feel every fucking molecule between one part to the other, and that's why, like, it you know, it's so your exact question. Oh, is it still? Yeah. Is and it still like, well? No, no, no. Because you're bringing up consciousness. Back. I'm talking about more or less the actual mathematics of the timeline okay. of when that initial spark happened. No matter how, what you oh, want to call it. Oh, we're not gonna know exactly. I mean, I don't know if we actually can know when that actually happened. But so, I know like, what. Like Joe, like Joe. For example, if I took a balloon and I like every, I like put like a little dot on it, like a marker <laughs> dot. I kept blowing it up, and then I kept expanding the dot hmm. all across the balloon every time I took a puff of the balloon. That's mm-hmm. the universe. Versus expanding, right? Yeah. But the idea oh, that stars die, dude. Okay, parts die so that other parts can begin, and we we don't need, we're not even privy to how much of that goes on. Oh so, yeah. Like I, I get the balloon thing. That's actually really cool. I was grabbing it. Um, I had to grab the vodka. Uh, let's so, go. Okay, wait. I one thing I wanted clarification on on your question was: Are you just talking about us here or the entire thing? Because no, the entire the entire universe. Well, the entire thing goes in Joe. places I couldn't even. I mean, as many places as I had like have spent my life learning. It's like, like, like I don't what's know what's, what's the what's the um what comes after light years in terms of measurement? 
Uh, see, I, I, I see that's the shit I don't even focus on because right. here's the thing. We're only going to see what we have an openness to see. And even the most open minds of alive in any fucking part of this world can are still limited, almost like they know nothing, like a child. But all you have to, so like, I don't really know how to answer that other than it will never stop. Light, uh, energy does, you can't destroy energy. You can't destroy, you can't create it, right. <laughs> It's it's only going to be created even if it decides what like consciousness wants to do everything. It's a little selfish, so it goes. I want to know what nothing is again. I've I've been doing everything for a long time. I want to go back and I want to feel everything that goes all the way back to nothing. It can do that, and then it's going to get this itch. It's going to want to do it again. Hey, you want to know and what nothing is? You know what you want to know what nothing is? Watching the sure. never ending story. That's nothing. Oh, that first one though. Come on. <laughs> I like I like Falcor. I love Falcor's never ending cool. story. Oh. Did they Falcor's get those cool, bullies more? But only in the Hell first yeah. one. The third the third one they made him look like an absolute dumbass. Yeah. I don't even care. <laughs> Nobody even movie. knows about the third but, one. That's probably they probably had no budget. You're well, right. Yeah, you, know, you wonder who started as the, the antagonist it was Jack Black. <laughs> what he was what? in the third one. I never one? even saw <laughs> that. You never seen it? Oh my god! Watch the trailer. It is hilarious. All right, oh, wow. Let's watch the trailer. Come on, guys. Woo. All right, let's go watch the trailer. Let's it's Jack White. Oh, wow. It's got to be Jack White. He's a lot of dick. Great. What coming your way? Jack Look at what you see. I love Jesus. never ending love story, it. bro. <laughs> that sounds like that should be in the scar uh, scar Scarface uh, video game. Scarface. Yeah. <laughs> Scar guts. <laughs> Let's see. Never ending story know. trailer. Hey, yeah, I'm not whispering. Yeah. Uh, is there I really a I three? Thought. Is Never Ending Story three? That's real. Yeah, and there's also an, the number two is like okay, but it's like not great. Um, by the way, the guy that played um, Bastion in number two, uh, he committed suicide later on in life. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Because he because he never got to bang the princess in real life. Oh God! No, no. Number one is a classic. Number three is just absolute garbage. And by the way, I think there's like one of the worst ratings for a movie that he got. Uh, it definitely beat out a number of other different films that were horrible. But yeah, right. it was bad. We're gonna take a look at Never Ending Story three, the trailer. It's coming up. It's gonna be great. I want it. kids. I want it. kids. Dude, I'll be back. I gotta take a major monster shit right now, dude. I feel it in my stomach. TMI. Take pictures. Send them to Joe. Wow. Yeah, send me your poopy pics. <laughs> yes, man. Yeah. Uh, I'll see you later. Be, be right back, guys. All right. TKY. <laughs> TKY. TKO. <laughs> TKO. Okay. But Thank you. I appreciate dude, that. Rastafa, you, me, and Joe should do that goddamn Final Frontier again. I think you'd be, you oh, might be man, the, I would the, love to do the best that. one yet to dive in. That. I no. think I'm getting a live feed from Creeper Hostage's bathroom right now. Hold on. I... Oh. I just know he had like five behinds that can actually do that. Well. <laughs> anyways, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it, post, post it up on Discord. So you can actually see it. I've seen this in a long time. I got the video up. You see me, right? Can you read that? Little, little bit. My video is like, on. It, it's, it's on the YouTube screen, but it's just not not on Discord. That's no, why. it's on Discord. I should be showing you my screen. You don't see my screen? I see it. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, that's right. No, I have it on sideways now. You're good. You're good. Uh, it looks like a night. Family Realms presents Jason James Richter, the star of Free Willy, in the never-ending story. The star of Free Willy. They had to use the Free Willy fame to get on. <laughs> Escape from Fantasia. Oh shit! I love Free Willy. Every other one they want they want to go to Fantasia. And this one, um, oh, it's uh, Escape Fantasia. Based on the best-selling book by Michael Ende, the adventure continues for everyone who loves the series. The never-ending story. All your favorite characters are back in an all-new movie about a young man Bastion. whose destiny is controlled by a magical storybook. How can something that's happening right now be in this book? Oh, Everyone my God. Make is part of your story. Jack Black's like a... 
punk high school guy or something? <laughs> like he's gonna get into Neverland. Oh, oh, Joe, Joe, do you know what it, oh, the name no. of his group is called? No, the Nazis. The Nasties. <laughs> oh my God, that was so cool. Wow, I was that wicked is... close. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you should have said the Nazis. Then, but I don't even in know. The, in the Jeez. second movie, in the second movie, the the the, the antagonist is called uh, the Empty. The oh, I thought empty? you were going to say the N word because just for this. Is yeah, heavy. that's where we're going right <laughs> down the rabbit hole. Yeah, the, the clan. They should be called the fucking I love it. clan. Oh my god, bro! I can't believe. Put that. it back on them. What is going? You, on? That still doesn't sure. fucking even come close to fucking. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, dude, yeah, that was no, hilarious. What do you mean? Oh! <laughs> I just said. I've fallen into the wrong <laughs> hole. Maybe we could make a few things happen. Oh my god, his unibrow. <laughs> they just. They're like. Uh, things happen. Go bad. The nasties must have the never ending. What year was this? The nasties, dude. This is. 95 or 96, something like 1995. that. 1995. The nasty boys? The nasty boys have the never ending storybook. That's her oh, bastard child right I, I there. Didn't see, I was just saying, yes, I didn't know. Cool. These must have the never-ending story. Oh. They're the ones making all this stuff happen. Help me! Oh. This evil force comes from the human world. This is my story, and I'm not going to let it happen. No, he'll risk everything. How is he going to get the Pope away from these thugs? To save two worlds. Hurry up, let's go. <gasps> the CGI looks so you bad! You can own the never-ending adventure. It's still here, it looks worse now. <laughs> Years ago. Your whole what the hell, what? dude? <laughs> oh my god, what? dude. Oh my I totally god. forgot about that. We will that. enjoy. Dude, the MGA scarf, or MGF, MJF scarf. Haha. <laughs> journey beyond your imagination. Um, the never ending story three Escape from oh, Fantasia. Shit. Oh boy. <laughs> I love it's that guy's voice you did those so zooms back then, dude. It's nothing like it. Did you enjoy that? Oh my that? god, I could... That was the best thing about the trailer, was the narrator's voice. For real, dude. Yeah. Was, I mean, I I wish I didn't use to fast forward through a lot of times, because it's like, nowadays, you don't even get to experience that unless you're in the theater. If they still do it. I'm or assuming just they do. Look it up on YouTube, which, I mean, nobody oh, really yeah, oh, comes that's, to your yeah, mind. I want to oh do my gosh. It was there, a lot worse know. than I thought. The star rating on IMDb has it at 3.1 out of 10 stars. Mm. That's actually no, that's better about, than right? That's better than I would think actually to be honest. What's the no, second one? Really? What's this the Rotten Tomato score? Oh god, now I got to look that up too. 14%. 11%, something like that. No, I'm looking that up right now. If it's worse than that, oh boy. <laughs> I need to know this now. <laughs> No, God, yes. Oh, gosh. Yeah, but the problem is the Rotten Tomatoes score is only, like, people reviewing it nowadays. It's, like, it yeah, would have been way worse, you know, what back is then. This shit? The CGI is terrible. It's 1986. I know. See? Here, you want me to take it, Rostoff? I got it here. The CGI okay, is terrible. Up? So, it, oh. it's apparently it doesn't even have a regular thermometer score, but it has a 26% audience, audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, well, Jesus Christ, really? It can't yeah, run. it's pretty low. Fuck Rotten Tomatoes. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> I don't like them, dude. They're so biased. I'll see it, a you know, high score on a, the worst shit ever a lot of times. That's why I just acknowledge my... who just jumped in here. Wow. Wait, okay, I mean, so... All right, I'll start looking, dude, with the whatever I got left of this vision. Because I'm sick of this crap. I can't even hey, see Hey, wait it. a minute. How is your vision doing? Is your eye coming together? Is it coming... No, dude, I was supposed to get the oil taken out of him in December. He keeps on saying oh, we should do anything because if anything goes wrong, it's your only eye and it's already... He just keeps telling me you have great vision. I'm like, you're fucking... I, like, next time he says that to me, I might, you guys might be having to bail me out. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on a second. we have a very me. special guest. Hang on a second. Can we, can we get the drum roll? Hang on a second. Hold on a second. I heard. Oh, I heard. God. I heard there was going to be some kind no, of a, a magic act going on here. I, I. I don't know if it's going to happen. Hell yeah. I don't know if it's going to happen. Dude, let's happen. do it. He heard Final oh. Frontier. He's like, um, wait one. Oh more. my gosh. Oh yeah, my he God. said, I don't think Look Mustafa can cover for what I did. I, this will not happen. You don't think he can recover from what you did? No, I think Mustafa should do it anyway with us. But I mean, I. I that'd be funny. Ladies if that's and why. gentlemen. 
Yeah. Really? Let's do it. We have a champion in our midst. We have a hey, Rostov, special me? JCS champion right here. Oh, Joe, I have won that belt. But that doesn't matter. Right that now. Woo! Oh, oh my God. Shield ever to grace your presence. <laughs> I Is am Devious Dave Rose. Hell yeah. You hate me. I love myself. Fine. And I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you hate I will say this. this. Wait, wait, wait. Wow. One night only? Or, or... You look like Plasmaster oh, Dawn fine. right now. No, this is unbelievable. <laughs> I no. Flash my dong. no, I don't believe no, this. Dude, oh, no. Oh, no. Dave is. Oh, yeah. What is he doing? What is. Oh, oh my God. He's in his what? Oh, He's my in his God. <laughs> Nowhere. I thought he didn't have any. Oh underwear. my That's god! Oh my god! Oh, I just saw Devious <laughs> Dave Rose's asshole. I'm waiting for a ball to speak out. Okay, he, first of all, he first told me all, he told me he was doing crack cocaine today and every drug under the sun. And I said, "Why would you do that?" And he said, "Baby, everyone." Oh my first god! Of all, nah, we just the fact that you look better than Don Callis and probably are the now quote unquote. Son, if Tommy Versetti and Don Callis had a kid, this is what Dave Rose looks like, dude. And I still look better in underwear than they do. That's hey, hey, I'll, I'll give you run for money. And How about that? Can you see now, Jesse? Can you believe what you're seeing right now, Jesse? Dude. Oh, dude, hell yeah! Man, I this is a shocker. I even I'm having like flashbacks. Wow, I oh, can't fuck believe it. Back. He now it's the present. The Let's belt collector this. is here. He's here to collect another belt. I think. He wants yeah, the one title. Belt. Let's fucking collect some decent fucking shows now. <laughs> <laughs> he wants the one title that? now. Oh, that was funny, Jesse. Exactly. That was good. No, man, this is unbelievable. Now, there's this guy. Don't fuck around. For the people that don't know, he'll hurt somebody. Mm. Oh no! Like Dave, for the don't people fuck that around. Don't know. Get to start knowing. In you other words, know. you don't care about. I got a reputation feeling. that precedes me, but the bottom line is, where I go, controversy follows. But more importantly, intelligence is provided to you. Either way, entertainment. Me and Joe have been talking. It seems to be that the people, because after all, I do listen to the people. Oh God, don't let them be the reason. That's fucking. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Relax there. Relax there. Oh, the fact thank is, you. what have the people been crying for? Oh. Needing, desiring the past final frontier news. Now nobody, yes, nobody does it better than Dave Rose, and who else to better facilitate that than the man with the infrastructure already installed, Mister? So, 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 so wait. So, does this mean that you signed your name on the dotted line, sir? I didn't sell out. I don't do shit I here. There, you don't do that shit. Oh, there we go. Uh, people are going to absolutely cream pie. Hey, hey you know, I if do we do a, a final frontier, fucking, like you just mentioned this the two of you, this is final frontier news. What the fuck? Am I just, you know, I think asshole? this deserves a title change. I think that, that you should add that to the title oh, of the geez, stream. If you bring that fucking belt up, I will kill you. Jesse, no, you know, really I'll tell you what it is, Jesse, is, is you saw this coming earlier. You had a feeling. That's why you brought it up earlier. You didn't even oh, know. I've only been waiting for it to fucking happen for two, three years almost. But you didn't even he's know. Been, he's been sticking crystals up his ass for all that time, hoping that his brain will get this working. <laughs> yeah, you think quarters or something? Fuck you, tell me I can shove a whole goddamn crystal up. JB said it, said it properly. Well, Space yoga and moon rocks. Canadian but no, just fucking no. Honestly, me and Dave fucking we figured out like one day. You probably remember Dave. We had like thirty things. You had them all on the list, and we both went over them. I don't think we got to one of those motherfucking things. <laughs> because it's just, but that's that's the beauty of it. Like, you know, you got the feel wait, over wait, here, wait, you wait. got the fucking facts over there, and Joe's got the entertainment, you got a goddamn quality show. And now this we're is, you can bring him This is the qu this is the question that I think I've been meaning to ask this different, this this modern man that we know as dave rose first and foremost my brother who's your tailor what was the question who's your tailor oh my god who's your tailor who's, right who's my tailor um the cheapest one that i can find but uh, unfortunately okay. yeah, that's uh, fair so a down syndrome kid down the street 
Well, I wish because, um, you know, they'd hey. probably do a better job than some of the women I've had cut my hair. I mean, shit. Ooh. Don't, don't dude, trust you women men's hair. Men's haircuts. It's you really just, can't trust hard. women to cut the hair. They don't know what's going on. It's like, it's trust weird. Trust women with a bladed object, period. Just don't. Right. You can't trust them about anything almost. Well, well, actually, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. In fact, yes, that's that's correct. I, I will say this: there is there there is a one or two women that I have actually even allowed to trim my fro, and I'm not gonna lie, they actually put it in better shape than most of the, <laughs> the older. Yeah, but I'm sure the trepidation that you had to see what would happen, oh, God, you yes. know, made you shit your fucking <laughs> dri- your britches. Oh, it you know? was high. <laughs> it was high, bro. Yeah, he's like, I'm already wear- ready to wear like, a hat. What am I going to look month. like once I look in the mirror? Oh, boy. Do I have to wear a bag over my head for the next month? Yeah, literally. I would have been, I would have been worse than the guy from ba- the little kid <laughs> from Barbershop. Would have been, <laughs> <laughs> been like patches uh, yeah. over here. Hey, listen, you'll look, well, you'll look just fine. Dave's got nice sunglasses. He's always had great hair. Ooh, you know what I mean? Dave has always had good That's, hair. I, I do like to say I do miss that the long hair. Was I feel awesome. like yeah, I feel like he's about to do a public service announcement saying weed is good. Everything he does is a public service. <laughs> no, I, no, no, no. What I'm about to say is come down to Dave's used car lot. I'll sell you a car, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you look like uh, uh-huh. like remember uh, Kurt Russell in what the hell's the movie where he's a car salesman? You know, Death Proof. Yeah, you no. look like you're about to give whoa, me an whoa. absolutely oh, terrible no, no. deal. It's it's, it's, it's uh, fucking True Lies, and it's not Kurt Russell. It's uh, um, yeah. uh, uh, no, what's his name? He was in Terminator. Yeah. Um, oh, sure. Bill 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 Paxton. Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton. Not Bill Pullman. Yeah, and, oh, and he pisses yeah. himself while he's hold- yeah. being held on the. I got Game a little, over, I got a little dick. Over. I got a little yeah, dick. He goes, that's the best part is when he says, I got a little dick and pisses on himself. <laughs> <laughs> and Arnold, Arnold looks uh, at I got to say like, one thing. After cutting my hair, my head's like 20 pounds lighter. So, you know. Yeah. Sell me a car. Unfortunately, now I've got to wear a hat during winter. Before, I just I could go out into the wilderness of Canada and uh, fight Wolverines without having to wear a toque, which is what you guys call a beanie, you damn Americans. It feels like the, the way, feels like the band the is back together. Works for you. Yeah, that looks pretty good. What kind of beer is that? Uh, shitty beer called Old Milwaukee. There you go. Well, you uh-huh. gotta love Dave's terrible shitty shitty suit, shitty beer. I like it. I listen. I'm the See, same the suit's way. The suit's fucking custom. The suit's custom. Okay. The suit. The suit is custom. And the have... suit will be custom too. It will oh, be. Hey, when you, some devil right there. When you lift about fifty more pounds, like and get those muscles going. <laughs> Let's get, like, you gotta get, like, let's get going, Justin Dave. Dave. The band is back together. It's Jesse, da- Jesse, Dave, and Joe on the same call. This is like jerking Sir, off on Christmas. JJD. On our worst day, we could. It's fucking great. Chemistry. I'll be. Sounds I'll be like the, a money we, grab we, to me. Now we need JB. I'll be the. Hey, I'll be the yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's upstairs. Some with, of those first episodes of uh, Final Frontier News was just basically me, Jesse, and uh, Joe. Anyways. Ooh. Yep. You yeah, hey, hey, you have to, you're going to have to ask Leah about JB. They're probably playing WoW right now or something. We don't need anybody forced into it. When he's ready, he'll That's come right. back. If he isn't, well, no, 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 no. I was just going to say this. I was just going to say this. If he does, in fact, sign the name on the dotted line. Oh, my God. That you, doesn't happen. I was just going to say that if, if, if it doesn't mind by the three of you, I wouldn't mind inserting myself to become... The fourth, if you will, of the four horsemen of apocalypse on this frontier hey, news. Wait, you, we don't need you don't need approval. Just do it. Yeah. I All right. Told you in. In. You're on. I didn't know Dave was going to be back, but you were already in. Yeah. Yeah. Asher's, I, Asher's the fifth, the sixth guy. Come on, you guys got this. <laughs> hey, no, Dave Rhodes, do you remember me? I'll bring the black perspective of the alien race. No. <laughs> We're not gonna do like Listen, this I, I was going to say that if he's not allowed in, then he's just going to call the NACP or what, NAACP and he's going to get himself inserted <laughs> okay. as the token. So about coming coming back, you know what, Rastafa? I, just, I gotta be honest, bro. Unless you're on food. So you let me know. That's okay. Shut up. Look at Appalachia. You got a bunch of hillbillies on fucking. Does that mean that LeBron isn't black either? Yeah, or Uncle Phil. No, he's, he's just not. not anything anymore. So Poor guy. Wait, speaking about up. coming back, I just came back from taking a, a deuce in my stomach. Yeah, hurts. I ripped my underwear and what? Oh, you know, you're supposed would to you, take them off first. Would you like <laughs> to tell? You're disgusting, Dave Rose. Right now, what is wrong with you? He, you know, Dave doesn't, do doesn't take much. Right. 
Well, so, you, listen, oh, I'm sorry, you, man. I got to tell Dave, this is a guy who jerks off on his wall and doesn't clean it and it crusts over and he doesn't bother cleaning. Dude, it. Yeah. He doesn't do that anymore. He's like Keith, but without, you know, I anyone else around. So, I, I guess he's a liberal and that's his art uh, display there. He's yeah. conservative. Yeah. He has a little gallery in his yeah. house. He's so far above no. his knowing what it is. He's so introspective and ahead of his age. He can't, like, take, he hasn't learned how to take the stupidity of the world, which I'm sure you can understand that and so he just jerks off because the only yeah, thing feels a cactus uh, it's no, fucking I'm, I'm a conservative i just i was too young and dumb oh, you just fucked up i just tried to put you over and fuck you fuck that's you all right that. <laughs> hey, what time oh, jesse me. what time jesse you can fuck me whenever what? i don't know but how dare you use a thing like conservative or any of that crap you bastard well, let me let me ask you well, me. well we got dave here let me ask him a really important question uh, are you sir. pregnant? Rick, Fla are you pregnant? Rick Flair are, is coming back. We all have chosen. It, we were really arguing Jerry Lawler or Sting. What do you think of Rick Flair having a last match? Do you like this or hate this? Or wings, 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 baby. Let's just have wings. Um, Let's just have wings. Rick, I can't fault the guy. The fact is, he is the man, and. He, this is built into him. This is what he is, and he's done it for the last, what, 40, 50 years? 50. So you can't take it away from him. And you know that even with uh, people who are well off, that uh, are healthy and have been able to pass the time when it comes to uh, potential injuries in, in wrestling, they always come back. Even uh, look at Edge. Edge, you know, was basically out. It was like almost guaranteed he would never wrestle again. Yep. Not only he got better, he's like, I can't stay away. I can't. It's built into these people. And I can't deny Ric Flair this match. Do I want to see him like I want to see him like get out of it well? I don't want to see him hurt at all. I find it very dangerous that he is choosing to do this. Yeah. But nobody's gonna t nobody's gonna talk this guy out of this. This is no. if he dies doing it, he's gonna die happy because There's it's no what he death wants. Man yeah. Uh, it'll, be a better, it'll be a better and, ending to the wrestler movie. I'll tell you that much. Well, let now. me ask you something. Yeah. This yeah. is a little bit not related, but is is your background, Dave? Is that the mall you're going to shoot up? Uh, no. <laughs> it's just, uh, just the, the one on the library. Nice library. <laughs> you wouldn't want to. <laughs> no, but yeah, that's what I've been saying. That <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Hey, well, you should invest well, in a green away. screen. Uh, oh, sure. yeah. Should invest in talent. Boo. I'm kidding. Discord I'm does it for me. I don't have to, uh, don't have okay, to spend everybody, money. Let's let him talk. Okay. Well, oh, cool. Jesse's running around his house on crack like he usually is. So. Oh no! I'm just trying to get my feet used to fucking. Oh my god! So, 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 so Dave, Dave, take another Dave, dose. So Dave, we, we've yeah. noticed this about Jesse, and this is not a knock on Jesse, but as of late, sometimes he'll bring his camera around. Right? Oh, god and damn it! Stop talking over him. That's a rate. That's a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> so Dave, so Dave, he he he'll post his camera somewhere, right? And last night in particular was very interesting. He saw what we thought was a gas canister with like this, like, but it was like a yellow, uh, some type of tube. Or I think whatever, it was pens oil. Like pens oil. Yeah, it looked like oil or whatever, like that. But then there's all these bags, and we're thinking he's about to blow up a block. We don't know what's happening here. Do you have any comment on the quote unquote uh, miscellaneous? items that were in the video <laughs> he was well, just well the particular three-letter agency that i work for uh didn't inform me of uh you know whatever he's doing he must work for another agency altogether but hey you know with all the uh shootings these days and the uh well i won't say the word because this uh you know might get the channel struck July, people. <laughs> it starts with uh you know two f's but let's just call it strange coincidences which is what i always do <laughs> as opposed to uh you know uh an incorrect which is the first where it starts with an F, and then a piece of material that represents um, a country that also starts with an F. So, you know what so I'm, maybe maybe I'm, plutonium for uh, uh, I don't know for somewhere in the east. Yeah, we'll try to we'll try to book them in. Yeah, what is even going on anymore? <laughs> I don't know, but I. No, we're trying to make sure that Joe's channel doesn't get uh, because I said those words. I said those words on my channel and literally got struck. Yeah, you get a censor. You get a bow to the to the to the masters now. Uh, Allison Tuckwab, what's going on, Allison? Thank you for the super chat. Tuckwab. Tuckwab. 
Tuck wild. You got to use ice and duct tape to tuck it right. Otherwise, you still look like a guy. Listen, I, I think Allison has a beautiful soul. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you for the $19. <laughs> that's that your was actual last name. I apologize. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do uh, 12. That's 12 minutes. So I'm going to add 12 minutes to the clock. That's going to make it, uh, well, let's give it 30 seconds. Ricky Martin thinks this nephew has a beautiful bunghole. Thank you, Allison. Thank yeah. You know who yeah, else thought that Allison. someone had a beautiful bunghole? All the prisoners are going to rape Ricky Martin <laughs> once he gets into jail. Yeah, he's going to be living Levito fucking fested AIDS fucking San Francisco. Oh, so gonna I got to get Dave Rose's comments about that. What What are your thoughts on that, bro? What's uh, Ricky Martin? Oh, I thought you were going to say the butt pumping in San Francisco. That's a different thing. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, it That's sounds the like only good thing about yeah. that. I mean, it sounds like a vacation for Ricky Martin. But, uh, yeah. well, we do remember that this guy did get married to a man, and uh, he adopted several children. And oh. uh, if he's willing to have sex with his, you know, nephew, They're not legal anyway. I don't know what he would be doing with his kids. So very questionable behavior. Are we in Michael Jackson territory, or we're even deeper? Well, no, this is beyond that. This is way, way beyond yeah. that. That's a, yeah, yeah, Michael Jackson had unfair scrutiny, even though he was a weird fucker. I don't know that that was ever true with him. Ricky Martin. Now, I have a question. If this came out during Pride Month, would there be a, di a difference of opinion or no? No, they no. have an actual parade for it. You know, they'd have a float for it in the parade. Yeah, you know what? It's gay. And it's like, yay, it's gay. Well, so. somewhere there's an LGBTQ lawyer who wants to actually go oh. the, sue the the twenty one year old nephew for enticing Ricky and then being homophobic against him? Oh my God, that's going to be so one Joe, of the letters. Being gay, homophobic, yeah, or being gay. Exactly. Apparently, it wasn't rape. It was an actual romantic relationship. Is the accusation? Well, is so there was no rape. Snuggle. That's what it was. A snuggle. Is, it was a snuggle. Is really? It doesn't Sorry. matter. It's his nephew. Oh. I, but that, 50 okay, yeah, that's years? What I about that. Oh, but what Christ. age? I thought you, that's, when you say adopted, I thought maybe it was an adopted kid. I was like, okay, if he's 17, I guess whatever. I don't know. Remember, it's they Cuba. It's Cuba, too, <laughs> that it's technically happening in Cuba. They have probably different laws. Well, oh. they have different laws. Is I don't know what they Cuba, are. not maybe Costa Rica? No, yeah. not Costa Rica. Is it Dominican know. Republic that he's from? Um, that's let me Cuba. Cuba. He's okay. No, he's, they killed Puerto they killed Rico. in Cuba. Puerto Rico. We have the whole Puerto world. Rico. There you go. Uh, I would think Puerto Rico, but why am I saying yeah, Cuba? I've been saying Cuba the last couple of days, though. I don't know why. Plot twist. The it, it, it is, you know, it's Puerto if Rico. He, I, what the fuck's wrong with it? He should have just went to like Cambodia or like Puerto Rico. Thailand or some shit. Yeah, you can grab a kid off the streets there and just do whatever. Yeah. And uh, they won't do anything about it. It is San Juan, Puerto Rico. So there you go. Man, He's I love it. Pitbull right now. I would love to go to San Juan. Remember, yeah, you're my microphone is being recorded. I'd like to go to Juan, uh, Juan too. You know, it's yeah. uh, it's because of that. Remember, remember in Captain Ron, they go to all those great little islands, and uh, it just makes me. I, I love the islands. I went down there a long time ago in 1998. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, I dude, I I loved it, and then I went to Bermuda in '04. I love that too, man. Being in the cave, there's nothing like being in those caves, man. And it's warm, and the water looks beautiful, and and this and those like those little caves and glaciers inside the cave, and you're swimming yeah. in this hot, you know, there's it's no just, glaciers there. No, the uh, no stalactites under the ground. Okay. Huh. If I went to Puerto Rico, I'd what I say glaciers? End up like uh, yes, I'd probably end up like Bruiser Brody. I'm retarded. Yeah, no, no. I mean, like the this is like a warm. There's these warm springs under there. It's beautiful. And then all the. I'm not gonna lie. Yep. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually marking out. Dave Rose is actually here. Wow. This is a good. Are day. you gonna be okay? You fucking weirdo. Are you gonna hit him up on Discord too, like everybody else? I guess that's not my new manager. I'm gonna be completely honest. I forgot that Woo! he existed up until like a few weeks ago. Wow. Oh, so I was I was a myth wow. and a legend, eh? It's like the Batman. So like, oh, he's just an urban myth. He doesn't exist. No, I, <laughs> well, I mean it's because you weren't. I mean, when I started watching Joe in like 2015, I didn't know much about you. I mean, I knew that you you were on the show, you know, when I watched, but for some reason, I only knew of you, but I couldn't like tell your voice and put it to a name. So I, you probably don't. You probably don't even know who I am. Honestly, I do not. Well, you should have been there. Dave I don't Rose know has like the most recognizable voice ever. Did like, you ever? Yes. Dave Rose. With uh, is that annoying? 
Did no, it's you, amazing. Asher, did you ever hear when I prank called Tommy C with a Dave Rose soundboard? Yes, I wasn't Honestly, pleased, pleased with And that. Tommy C, that's another one. Like, I know the name, but I can't put it to a face. Watch this. Like, there's been so many co-hosts, I can't remember it. Watch this. I called Tommy. I'll say one thing. At least you connect you my voice to my face, and it's a lot fucking prettier than Tommy C's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but, uh, but, yeah. Dave, I'm also very stupid, so. He's a Jew from New York, no, right? A long oh, 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 no. <laughs> uh, here it is. No, here. Honestly, like I told you, Dave, a lot of people have asked me, like, the old the past to come yeah. back all these people and i'm like they don't even know what you're saying you i've know, never like, up, and i'm glad to see you man yeah i can agree yeah with get that. a better microphone <laughs> <laughs> and, it, I, you know, and remember guys I'm just, uh not only was i ridiculed for saying that cannabis cures cancer back in the day but um, I also made a point um, by being over exaggerated by saying that yes you could kill someone with a fish but um, yeah, you know Leah still you, dials. Yeah. Leah dials so that one. Dude. Leah still I dials. The fucking thing of bagels that could have killed anybody. Leah still dials that one up all the time. Like she's always like, what the like fish ra thing? yeah, randomly we'll be like, I don't know, it'll be like anything. Like we'll be doing something and something's happening, and so I'll be like, you can get, you can get killed by that or whatever. And Leah would be like, you can get killed by a fish. Like, what do you think we want to have tonight, fish? I'm not feeling like murder. Yeah. Well, uh, homicide rates uh, basically are defined by uh, blunt force trauma. So it could be a bat, it could be fist, yeah, yeah. Untucked, I mean, it could be a fish, yeah. or it could be being blunt force trauma. Wait, 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 if anyone's yeah. ever had food, like if you have a frozen fish, dude, that can't not kill somebody. Like that is, that's a, that's a wrap. Yeah. Or they're going to lose, they're going to fucking be like, the rest of yeah, frozen bass. Yeah, you'll um, knock somebody Any out. Frozen bass, frozen bass right up really the wonderful. frozen ass. Frozen ass. Yeah, not a fillet, but a fish. He's talking about 60 fucking, it's up to fucking 40, 50 pounds of fish. And that's Speaking unfrozen. Of 60, Speaking of 60, probably the highlight of, if you want Episode to call it, 60. the career span of <laughs> Dave Rose was the time where he mm. got plastered off that. his rear end and Joe put on the mask and became Grandpa Joe and basically says, Dave Rose, your hair goes all the way down to hell where Mustafa's afro goes all the way up to heaven. I was like, oh, I died. Yeah. <laughs> I've never so tried. I, I've never had plum brandy ever again after that day. <laughs> I felt that hangover for days afterwards. Was that wait? That was the plum wine night or different yeah, plum brandy? Yeah, plum that brandy. Oh, plum brandy. That's yeah, I went you were way off my rocker on that one, <laughs> Dave. You were lit that night, that dude. Condom. Do you guys don't even know how fucking crazy no, he was? I, like, yeah, that, I'd never, I hadn't done that since like I was in my early twenties, dude. Like, you this, were showing this was, your. You were showing your stash on li on the live stream, and I'm thinking, I hope this guy doesn't get arrested. For being well, sad. that was the year or two before it actually became legal here, and I was certainly wasn't giving a fuck because I was promoting cannabis as a cure for cancer, and then we had That's you know right. Joe and everyone else laughing at me. But hey, it's 22, 22. Yeah, it's twenty twenty two now. Jeez. Are you yeah. and, uh, <laughs> twenty two? Who's, who's right here? Who's that, right? This guy is that monetized this thirty. Was that monetized, monetized this 35? 60. 60. 60. Really? It was 60. Yeah. That's just one of them, but that's one of the big ones. You know? Yeah, that I think really I had the condom. Condom. Didn't I have the condom hat on for that one? Yes, sir. Yes. Joe, Joe, that was the week. I'm going to put you uh, right after the here. The despise me. You saying it was 60 then? <laughs> it was 60. Yeah, yeah. I, that, oh, my yeah, God. That, almost, was the, that might be the best. People give the Scott one a lot of crap. Like, that God. one's supposed to be the best. No, no. 60. 60. Yes, everyone says episode sixty is like literally That's the, the best. one. I'll Top never five. forget that shit, dude. Yeah, putting five. a gun. In the it was so yeah, you had the condom fun. hat on. There it is. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah you're flipping out right here. You're flipping out right here. You have to make sure that that animal is what the fuck? dead when you Love are me. done here <laughs> with the the culling. Look who's back. What the, the fuck, old Joe? What old the Joe fuck are you faggots talking about? about? <laughs> he is dead on the because. It's Grandpa Joe. Watch your language, you motherfucking honky bitch. <laughs> what the fuck? That's a kid's belt, you homo. <laughs> he still has that belt. <laughs> he just no, had that earlier. That's a kid's time. belt. At least if you're going to put a belt behind you, have a real belt hanging up like a real man would. Instead, all you've got is junk. WCW junk. Canadian flag junk. Empty Coca-Cola bottles junk. Where do you live? A homeless man's fucking throwaway. You still got it. You still got it. Taking the next step. 
the next what? flight to fucking Boston so I can kill you, old Joe Cronin. Why are you talking with a different voice now? You've given, <laughs> given more people AIDS tonight than AIDS has given for the last 10 years. <laughs> That mouth looks like a vagina. It Look at that condom hat. Look how young Dave looks like a, like a spring chicken there. He does. Okay, so now I can put the voice to the face now. There oh, you go. Oh, I thought different. you were out of your fucking mind for a minute. Well, well, I mean, I haven't, like, seen him in years. No, I know. I, it, we're like 11, bro. Dave's been course, bashing me I mean, for the last two years. Now he's back. Who cares? <laughs> so almost all of your co-hosts. They'll bash you for a few years and come back for two more. Just be honest, Chad, not continuously. Not Joe, yet. Please I'm continue the video. Good. It's so good. Please sure? continue. What oh. was that, Rostov? Please continue the video. It's so funny. Are you, are you going to be okay? Wow. What the fuck is wrong? Well, with you? <laughs> really, you're living that nostalgia. Rostov yes. loves this. <laughs> you made the Don. Wow. You made the Don kill himself. Chupame la pija, hijo de puta. What the <laughs> fuck did you just say to me? Racist motherfucker! <laughs> you hate Latinos! Are you talking black? <laughs> Joe hates Latinos. Hashtag fact. I'm half Latino. <laughs> yeah. What? Like Gargas. You're a fucking asshole, you know that? Everybody hates you now. Oh, I'm a hundred percent asshole. You know no, you're never gonna get anybody yeah. to give you anything again. You're gonna come on the Joe Cronin show one day and be like, I need gas money to get somewhere, and everyone's gonna say, fuck you! Help me! That, my that's actually here. Right. here. What no? Was, what you gas did, money? did you ever get gas Got money? You, brother. you first saw the truth! I know. See, look at that. That is weird. That's no, like, I swear he no, is a time show. traveler. That is so Six weird. Six years ago. <laughs> he does. He starts getting really wow. wasted, though, at some point. Oh, no. Serious fucking Facts shit. Facts and reason are just so difficult. <laughs> and it's just so well, give us some. Just you say you, you, say you pay us all. You say you pay us all. Shit, Bob. Bros, you have not yeah. given us yeah. one yeah. fact this entire oh. night. Negative You're five right. votes fucking for moron days. Moronic. You can't right. fucking read into the fucking <laughs> details, motherfucker. Wow. <laughs> Dave is such a big man, he won't let any Anybody talk. The weeds. No, like the uh, basically, I'm just being Justin Bailey on State of the WWE, interrupting Dave Rose. Hey, I when I interrupt you, I stop. If you're fucking talking, so don't give me that. And another thing is too on State of the WWE, when you say retarded shit, <laughs> I'm gonna cut you off because it makes us look like fucking idiots. Retar retarded shit. You mean facts based on reason? Oh, here we go yeah. again. Oh. Jesus Christ. It's retarded, ain't it? It's Dave Rose. Wow. And you, it's hard, Dude, it's hard to judge when you're not giving any fucking facts. Don't you love this episode? Now, Dave just... Now, this is only... No, I just love this, man. You can't this, beat the chemistry. This, you can take any one of us, it'll be great. If you get us all together, hold the fuck on. That was only an hour and 30 minutes in. Like, I mean, like... Yeah, it, there's, there's another yeah, when three you're hours. Crazy, really fast. The whole thing. Man, there's no clips. You, you were loaded. It. Where's this ah, clip? Hold on, I got it. I think. Quite um, Sometimes crazy here's words. Here's the thing. You can say anything about oh, yeah. me. No problem. I'll deal with you. Okay. Don't say a goddamn word about my family. No. Eh? Wow. Eh? Well, I remember this. Yeah, That's real. all I'm going to say. Oh, yeah. about it. Oh, wait, wait, no, I, I, you know what? About my fucking family. Oh. Is, he, is he related to you? Your family sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you're blood or not. Family is I family. Love. You know what though? I should. And if I, you fuck with my family, I will fuck with you. You know what though? I said that, and it made no sense. And and I, nothing I has changed. I said that, so I do apologize because that made no goddamn hey, sense. Hey Dave, Dave, this is what you I think about your family. family. Usually, but, <laughs> family's the worst. It's blood related. <laughs> oh, Dave, I am sorry though. Uncle Bill sounds amazing. I don't know why I said that. He was a fucking mercenary. Oh. He wouldn't rape you. He wouldn't rape. He would rape other people. Dude, I love my uncle fucking Bill, man. He sounds great. He, I, I, mean, I love my. Sounds like a badass. I gotta tell you. <laughs> you can really hear me, my friend. Fly, I love my uncle Bill. I, really, I, love, <laughs> I love my uncle Bill. He, I know. I love him. He You're loves. So, so tender, right there, Dave. You were. It's very beautiful. God dang it, Billy! Don't fuck with his uncle Bill. Don't fuck with Dave's uncle Bill, man. He'll kill you with a fish. If you do that, what do I get? This, what do I get this sense? Yeah, he's like he's like an unofficial member of Crime Time. He's bringing the fish to you, <laughs> dude. When it's funny, it's man. fresh with a pH. 
Oh, man. All right, let me play a don't know. I'm getting behind. My bad. Here we go. Who is this? Do a little basketball sure. dance off the concrete. I mean, I'm oh. just so sick of you little meth head <laughs> devil worshippers. I'll be honest. I'd like to take a big bite out of your face. Time to get Mustafa on the call. I want to hear his SummerSlam predictions. Yo, Mustafa, where do I hit you up on social media? <laughs> Are you on Bebo? Mustafa. MySpace? We can just email. Um, my emperor is here. Yes, yes, yes. Devious Dave Rose, I salute you. Wow. That was General Santos. You know, what? I've, Thank al you. I've always said Dave looks like Don Callis. Back when he had the long, long hair, I thought that. Yeah, dude. He really does look like John, Don Callis. Yeah, I thought that. But back hold on. Then. Don Callis actually had long hair? Yeah. yeah. Remember, yeah. Back the day? ECW, remember? When he was the virus? <laughs> Cyrus the virus? I guess. Um, okay. Okay. Shit, that was him. That was the yeah, TV it's the same guy. Gimmick. Okay, yeah. I guess I'm retarded. Yeah, you knew that. I swear you knew that because we talked about it Come one on, time. Come on, he smelled like poutine. You can, of course, you recognize his Look brother. at that oh, hair. You look like poutine. I am, you know, doing things. So. Oh yeah, that's right. He kind of looks like the dude from System of a Down with the long hair. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I know you're talking about that. Fuck that. But guy. yeah, no, dude. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, it, Colonel Santos. First and foremost, all due respect, brother. Love you, man. But. R O S T A F A. I don't know if you got spell check on that, but it's no it, roast off. He's, he's, no, he's been doing this for a while. Yeah, he's been trying to shit on oh, you, oh, I think, oh, is what it is. Oh, he's, oh, he's trying to trigger me? <laughs> yes. Or or oh, okay, or he well. called it something else you without a T. Oh. Uh, watch what he's gonna like do it again. Just <laughs> around, but it's all good. No worries. <laughs> yeah, Dave Dave Rose looks like Max Dupree. Where's Dave or Dave Rose's maximum male models? Oh, God. oh my God! No, where his maximum male models? <laughs> yeah, they'd be the cheapest what? ones downtown. Oh, Dave, <laughs> when are you gonna have us go it's on the like swimwear show? What's that? <laughs> when are you gonna have us go on to the tennis wear show or the swimwear show, Dave? Ugh. I gotta book the, the, the venue first. <laughs> but make sure I'm, it's I'm safe not like Mark I don't. I don't have um, arrogance as a uh, as a uh, cologne. <laughs> Wait, why do I feel like you have the, the gasoline from that from my anchor man? Where he's like, fifty percent of the time works every time. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's about yes. he's about to put Black Panther on or whatever it was called. The Sex Panther, I think. Sex that's what Panther, it was yeah, Black Panther. Yeah, Sex Panther. It's like pure gasoline. All of a sudden, you light a match. Sixty percent of the time, what? it works a hundred percent of the time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, I was thinking of that movie the other day. That part, I just started fucking losing it when they get in the news reporter fight when he hits him with the trident. Killed the guy with the Yo. trident. <laughs> yeah, you got to stay I, low for a bit, man. Like I love... You might be yes. wanted for murder. I love... <laughs> love Heart Lamp. Man. I love Lamp. So, Joe, you were movie. talking about uh, what movies your, your daughter should be watching. <laughs> And yeah. um, dude, there's a there's a ton of them out there. I mean, like, has she seen ET, for example? No. Is that oh too my dated? God, yeah. I, but no, I, I think we should watch ET. I think like Short Circuit, ET, like no, those Goonies. Oh, we saw Goonies. We watched Goonies. Which is funny because at the beginning of Goonies, they like swear a bunch. They say bitch and shit. Uh, they stick a penis on a statue. And I and it's PG. Yeah, that's and it, the other thing too. P yeah, that's what was so great about my era, guys, is that that stuff was considered PG. Exactly. You could swear, you could show dicks, you could fucking make all these jokes, <laughs> and uh, it was still PG. Well, now if you did it now, though, we'd we'd all call it grooming or something, probably. So to be fair, and D Dave, you know what I just watched recently for the first time out of all the years I've been on this planet, I finally was able to watch the Godfather trilogy. And I thought it was. Yeah, I heard you on Ken show the other day talking. Yeah, about yeah, it. Uh, yeah. I, thought, I mean, like, I mean, there's a bunch of movies I still haven't seen. I, you know, and I mean, shit, I could go into a list of them, but like, it's not a surprise that you've never been able to get around to it because a lot of people haven't. You know, Dave, I've never seen I mean, it. It's, I've, I've never watched it's Godfather. Fantastic. Never watch it. Like Godfather one and two are by far some of the best script writing that I've ever seen visualized on the screen. It's so good. Well, if you want, if you want, see, I'm not, not really big on the mafia movies and stuff. And Joe, you said you never watched it. Like again, to me, it's just like there's certain things, certain types of genres that don't interest me. But you know, I'm willing to partake in certain things. Like I'm not big on horror, but there's certain horror movies that I think are spectacular, like uh, uh, In the Mouth of Madness or Event Horizon. But for example, if you want a good movie, a good 
I guess, mafia style move, if you want to call it that, Carlito's way. Plain and simple. I think. Yes. Oh I think, God. Yeah. I think it's better than Scarface. Now people are like, "Oh, no, Dave, no, no, no." Look at the writing of Brian De Palma in and the directing um, that he did with Carlito's Way. This was a tragedy. It's like Shakespearean almost, and yeah. you know, it it was so well written. The acting was incredible, and everything that was in it, just uh, you know, from from the sets to. Uh, to the cinematography just really made it amazing. It's it's an underrated gem. Out of curiosity, do you think that Carlito's Way is a lot gorier than, let's say, Scarface or The Godfather? No. No. I mean, shit, that fucking final scene and, um, you know, um, Scarface, that, that's, that's bloody as hell. I mean, like yeah. getting shot in the stomach uh, there on the train ramp at the end. That's or not even really... the chainsaw deal because I because that actually that yes. was the scene that really frightened me when I first saw the film because that was like years ago when I first saw it. But um, when I when I like the the last bit of the film where he get, end up getting shot in the back, that wasn't necessarily the one that really thought, "Oh my god, this is crazy." No, but that does that. But what you said is good is the fact that that established the ruthlessness of the movie is that once you got to that chainsaw scene, you knew that this guy had gotten in over his head and everything that was going to come was going to be extreme. So I think it really set a good precedent as to what to expect later on. Because then you knew what kind of people Tony was going to be dealing with. Yeah, and again, I'm all about character. Like, for example, like characters for me, again, you can have a great story, but if the characters are not relatable, then the story is just going to be forgettable. Um, that's why, like, when I, I love, um, there's one mafia film that I really do like just because I love the real life story, even though that it was Hollywooded out. It's, uh, Donnie Brasco. Donnie yeah. Brasco. Not a bad movie. Not yeah. a bad movie. But, yeah, I see what you're saying. There's certain, certain things that were done that just take away from it. I like, it does, I like yeah. Casino. Yeah, I like that one. Tell. I've seen that. Like, I, I don't know why I haven't seen Godfather, but I've seen Casino. I like that. Good. Yeah, like like for example, like my favorite f moment in the film, and it's so simple, it's not much, but uh, actually there's two. One of them when he talks about what's the meaning of forget about it, like breaking that down in various different sections, and then of course the other part is when him and um, uh, Al Pacino's character uh, Lefty comes and they actually meet each other, and he's trying to exchange for the diamond, and he's just like, "You don't walk out on me, and I walk out on you. Who the do you think you are? I'm known." I'm known. I'm like, bro, you're on the bottom rung of the mafia. You're not really that known worldwide, you liar. <laughs> but again, um, that's, that's what a tough guy would say, basically. Crazy Blood uh, Blade in the chat says, Casino or Blood In, Blood Out? Now, Blood, a Blood In, Blood Out, another underrated movie. Absolutely incredible. Quite long. But everything about that movie is just spectacular. And the change in character. And again, it's another type of almost Shakespearean tragedy, but based in, you know, the ghettos of Hispanic, uh, LA. Hispanic, Have yeah. you seen that movie? Oh yeah. What? Oh, you seen yeah. that? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's again, the writing, the, the direction, it's just, it's a really good movie in my opinion. I would, I would probably say the cinematography is way better than most of the, uh, sort of kind of like you want to call it gang movies or gang warfare movies because LA I mean, a lot of people, like, you know, they shoot out in, like, different areas of the country, but just, they did it all, I believe, all in California exclusively, and just the shots of the light and how the light is used, especially to tell the story in a lot of ways, is, for me, very, very eye-catching, and I stick with the film the entire way through. What about American Me? Oh, that's a good one right there. See, that, mm -hmm. actually, some of these actors died because of the, like, they... They touch too close to the truth. So right. some gang people, you know, basically hunted them down and killed them. And like uh, Olmus, like Edward Olmus, I believe he was in uh, yeah. the battle. Yeah. 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 He he had to face off against gang people and shit who were like, yo, you're, you shouldn't be doing this. Like, and he had to, you know, deal with that sort of thing. But like, yeah, that, that movie really upset a lot of people in, who were involved with that sort of thing, even though the intention was really to show it in its, uh, in its natural in its natural <laughs> state you know yeah well you know the funny thing with godfather and i just found this out recently that um somebody who i know indirectly who was a family member i guess of one of the cinematographers you know working the camera said that they had to basically meet up with a mob boss 
<laughs> in person so that this film could actually be made without it. Because, again, if uh, apparently there was this organization in New York. I can't remember what it's called, but it was an Italian organization that was mainly a civil rights organization. The that fucking idiots. Saying, That's, That's what they were called, Gustavo. The fucking idiots. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> well, basically, their whole MO was, hey, stop stereotyping Italians as being as these evil people that have all, you know, there's just all mobsters. Well, the problem was the head of that organization was a top mob boss. So the idea of power and manipulation was already in place. And by the way, most mob people, once that movie came out, wanted to see it. So allegedly, they couldn't be allowed to go to the actual screening with all the famous people. So they had their own screening in New York with all the mob people coming in. And then, of course, the police laughed at them, basically saying, look, you're trying to intimidate us when you put on The Godfather, but nine times out of ten, you're already proving our point. You're part of the mob. So, like, you know, who gets the last laugh? But I also yeah. heard that they had to hire people from the mob to work on the on the movie. Yeah. They're like, okay, well, do uh, you hear about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. to be in the film, that first scene, the wedding scene, there's actual families <laughs> in that cinema, cinematography yeah. scene of mob families, which, again, I can only imagine who actually lasted and who got killed right after the fact. Well, that's my, oh, well, my question is like, yeah, uh, we don't want you using actors to represent the mafia. We want to represent ourselves. Next thing you know, they're, they're disappeared in some federal jail. Like, <laughs> like, like there's, this one, there, there's this one actor. Well, he's not even an actor. He was just a guy that barely knew how to act. I think you know who I'm talking about. It's in the beginning of the movie of, of Godfather 1. Yes, yeah, he's a big guy, looks like a wrestler. Yeah, he and used to be a wrestler. He, yeah, yeah, he used to be a wrestler. And he goes into, and he's like, Mr. Colleone, it must be a real honor. And I hope your child, your mother, your daughter's child is a masculine child. I'm like, wow, bro. You couldn't ask for any type of lesson whatsoever. Okay, acting lessons might have been $50 back at the time, but it would have been worth the investment to at least get that part right, bro. But now we can laugh at it, and now it's, it's a comedic scene. It's probably the funniest scene in the entire movie alone, <laughs> just from a bad performance. It's, it's actually a lot. It reminds me a little bit of The Room. That's how bad it is. Mm. Yeah, so I, I haven't seen the, I, I haven't seen The Room, to be honest. Should I see that movie? Oh, dude, Tommy was so hilarious. Really? Oh, my God. He tries so hard. It's like, I can't see it, and I don't. I hate you. Oh, hi, Charlie. Oh, How are you? yeah, that movie. Yeah, and oh, hello. What was it? Hello, Bill, or hello, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, oh hi, hi Mark. Mark. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. You know what's funny is Dave <laughs> mentioned earlier Event Horizon. I remember seeing that, and I I thought I was going. I thought I was going to see. Well, I thought I was going to see a sci-fi movie, like I really, and it is, but it's like you know, like you know what That's I mean. That's what I thought. Yeah, you're <laughs> like, oh, this is going to be like a very fun space like type of thing. And by the end of it, I'm like, I don't fucking think I'll sleep tonight. What the fuck yeah, did I just I saw, see? I saw that in theaters, and it's like, oh, a yeah. sci-fi movie. That that looks kind of cool. And they've got, uh, uh, was it uh, what was that band back in the '90s? Um... <laughs> oh, uh, I know. I think I know alternative band. No, no, they, they, they sort of EDM type stuff. Yeah, no, no, they're in uh, like. Uh, hold on. Yeah, so they had they had a big portion when it came to the soundtrack, and um, was it like rock, rock and beats? Yeah, can't remember. The yeah. yeah, so basically they um, they had a they, they had a portion in regards to the songs that were played and stuff, and uh, I, I remember seeing that in theater and stuff, and uh, yeah, it was like, like Joe said, it's just like you left it saying like, "Am I going to sleep tonight?" Yeah, like, <laughs> like, dude, that was a fucked up movie. Like, it was like, it's like Sphere, the movie Sphere, with her, but like, that, it's like a, a sort of like a, I get irritated by some sci-fi movies like that, because I like sci-fi, but you know what I mean, where you're like, you're left with more questions by the end of it, but not only that, it was like a terrifying fucking nightmare. Like, it was like, this is, like, it became Hellraiser. It was, it was sci-fi, and then it was Hellraiser. That's a movie I've never watched. I've never watched the Hellraiser series. I really only saw the first one and didn't care that much. I mean, I think Lawnmower Man was scarier, and I don't even care about either one. Lawnmower Man was a joke with the yeah uh, with the graphics. And stuff. Also, it's the Prodigy that was the band. Ah, Prodigy. You know yeah. what would you, you know what would be a great series for Dave Rose to just bury and bury like probably twelve feet under would probably be the Fast the and Furious. Three years of the administration. <laughs> well, I mean, that's one, but we're talking Sorry, about, you know, in a fantasy uh, way. I would say mostly the Fast and the Furious movies. You would bury those quite a long way. 
You know I would, and I don't want to because I, I don't want to him. spend all that time watching. I've only watched one in three, I think, or maybe parts of a, maybe another one that came out. No, after. honestly, like the ones with the like five was the first that. time I watched where I was like, this is actually a good movie. I don't know about after that, but when The Rock got edited, in, it actually, that one's a really good action movie. But I can't speak for the rest of them. No, well, put it this way. I've never watched past number six. I've watched six. That was the last one with Paul Walker. After that, I was done. Then they started yeah, going to the moon. Watch four. Okay. Uh, I don't Five, like any. Uh, like, when nice. I see them, I think cars cars go fast. People act like douchebags. No, well, that you're right. But, dude, that's why I would just save you the time and say just watch five and nothing else. If you don't like that one, you really just whatever. But, like, that one is even – that's one. That's the only one worth the watch. I don't think it's I not like or, or do the machete cut. I don't like any movie. of them. I haven't seen it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was about to say, or do the machete cut where you watch like a certain number, like maybe like two or three, or maybe start with four, go back, watch the rest of them in that in that sort of kind of like order. Oh, dude, they're just no. waste their time on the first three, though. That's I'd rather just kill myself than watch fucking yeah. uh, Fast and the Furious. If you're not called to watch it, don't waste your time then. Yeah. Well, I want to begin the just ratings. Think of the views. I'll dunk my head in acid. As opposed to doing hey, that. Hey, Dave, let me ask Which you. One? I, I have a good question for Dave. I haven't talked to you in a while okay. about anything. Something like good acid? Yes. Dump, dump, <laughs> dump. Well, well, actually, maybe I, with that type of acid, then uh, I'd have a fun time. I would probably get through it. <laughs> but where the fuck do I get a bucket full of LSD? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Hunter you Biden. Know a guy who knows a guy. Hunter Biden. Yeah, but I, oh. I can't just do that myself. I got to share that with people. You get, you get more oh, LSD yeah. than you need. You got to give that to the people. It's always been. You never been to a festival. You never fucking. You weren't hip. Oh, no. that, square. Dude, that's anyone. I know that, Jesse's like I was fucking giving that to even like underage kids. They got oh. no, no, but honestly, dude, when every anytime I've ever done mushrooms or any of it, I come across at least every time at least once where I th start realizing. God, thank God for people that do like all of us that are a part of this because this is why they keep it illegal. Nobody would fall for their shit if we were all thinking for ourselves. Dave, look at the poll. I don't, know, I don't you... know what the fuck that's supposed to mean, but okay. Wait, wait, wait. Have you never, wait, don't you get something out of them whenever you've done a psychedelic? Of course, but what I'm saying is that when you have more than you need and you're oh, at a festival no, I'm or not going against you that. Give... I'm just saying, like, I'm just so happy they fucking, like, it's, it's fucking awesome. Like, Hunter yeah. Biden's getting that presidential level shit. You know, that's probably the only real asset left. No, nah, I, I think the CIA still has the better stuff. Uh, yeah, I saw that actually. I saw the results. I actually voted for Final Frontier News. To be quite honest, I'm, I think it's uh, I agree. it's a little cheap and easy for me to go for the race debate. So, well, we'll see what happens. It's very close, though. I will say the poll is very close. Well, I'll never forget. Do people would straight up say they listened literally like to calm their ass down from all the bullshit in life? Like they didn't even look at it. Like, oh, this is cool. They're just like. Everything that we did on that show was like so many people could get into it. Whether you love science, whether you love spirituality, whether you just want to hear. Some people just even said our voices alone was were like calming. I'm like, dude, we really got something special here. And mm -hmm. it had nothing to do with the wrestling community. In fact, it, they probably wouldn't like it because it makes them think too much. Remember how many people we had commenting on Final Frontier, the YouTube channel that weren't from rest. The, they just found us on that channel. Yep. That's right. Oh, yeah. That was That's pretty awesome. cool, man. That was the coolest thing. I mean, probably was only a total of 50 people or less, but like Well, we didn't we stopped really early, man, and anything that's been done I don't even know if anything that's been done on there since is like really Final Frontier news, you know. I haven't done anything really on there. No, usually I, the only time I see it is when there is like a huge nude story and it's like aliens or something. You'll you'll say a couple things, but it's not the same show as what we we had something really cool there but hey yeah last time dave know. last yeah. time dave did anything with me on there was uh fucking three years ago wow well there's Pretty nothing crazy. but possibility now so so dave dave let me ask you this because i know you probably hate new star trek like me um but what what do you think i don't know if you've gotten a chance to see this yet but leah 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 was disgusted by picard and also by Discovery. Um, <laughs> but do you like this? Have you seen Strange New Worlds yet? Uh, no, I okay. have not. And I don't plan to because I saw the first episode of season two of Discovery, saw their iteration of Pike, 
and so, and their bastardization of a perfectly workable enterprise to say, oh, let's sweep back the uh, the na uh, nacelles, uh, although Canon says they're straight. And uh, no, at that point, I was like, I'm not going to cover it. I'm not going to watch it and stuff. Now, I watched all... I was bored one day and uh, feeling a little uh, masochistic, so I decided to watch the entire uh, season of Picard episode, or er, season two. Uh, but, you know, I went through it through several days, and it was hard. It was extremely hard to watch. Uh, what a fucking garbage <laughs> dump. Did you, I, mean, I about when his, when his mom is hanging, I was like, what the fuck are we watching? Yeah, the the whole trauma and going back and yes, you know, the, it, even with the, the because now they've altered it so, and I don't want to you know fucking bore all these people because literally people you you'd rather kill yourself than watch the show but basically now there's a new board continuum it's the one from this alternate universe that merged and so forth so now there's two in this universe that they've come back to so there's the the one with uh, cheeky blondie and uh with the nice tits and um mm -hmm. you know now there's also the other continuum and stuff so who knows because Ugh. i don't know My, i'll put it's it this just... way leah can't watch it she's like what the fuck is this and she couldn't watch it she stopped watching picard in the middle of it but i, I will it's say that possible isn't she super woke she loves the lesbians and all that it stuff. doesn't I mean, make you any got sense. the two main characters sick well, okay what happened to chakotay did um you know did uh, seven of nine like consume him like a you know, exactly. a, a weeping widow or whatever. That's that's, like. what, that's what Leah's problem is. She's like, where's Chakotay? Why does... And, and then she goes, oh, they made her... They did all this just so she could be into women. I mean, that's what Leah said. I go, well, Leah, you're a, you might be a conservative or whatever. So my wife is not... She hates, <laughs> she hates all that stuff. It's weird. It's you like, raised a piece of shit. Oh. Hey, what's up? Hey. I just laughed so hard when Jesse said he is so good he can do other people's financial work. Imagine you show someone last night's video of Jesse outside and be like, okay, this is the guy who is going to work on your taxes. Ha ha ha. <laughs> well, hey, just because he throws fruit around is in pain doesn't mean he can't do numbers. You know what I mean? He could do them. Yeah. You know? You know, Jesse's the type of guy to make a lesbian straight. Oh, shit. Oh, look who it is. Well, it's more like me, but. Oh, no, that. I can tell you stories. It's our friend. It's uh, Joel Yates, baby. Yeah, oh, Sorry. Hey, Joel Yates. I'll fuck your whole family. Hey, Dave. With the Dave, say, call me a white. I hate my own race, Dave. Go ahead and say it. Say I hate You're a white traitor, Joe Cronin. I hate you hate white race. people. I hate my own fucking race. All right, I'm sorry. I'm gonna hang see, see, Dave, that's the thing. You would do that, be in the club, and still wear the beanie just for the sake of it, just to say, hey, guys, I'm the douche of the club right now tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. I don't wear hats inside. No, That's he wouldn't. A, he would look. A very why would he do that when he has that yeah. hair? Look at the hair he has. Why would he do that? Even when I had the long flowing locks, I'd never wear a hat ever. Exactly. Thirteen minutes. Thirteen minutes back on the clock. Thanks to Joel Yates. Thank you, sir. Hey, unless it's a condom hat, do <laughs> Well, at least I'm, I'm safe and protected. Right. That's right. You know, there's that monkey pox going around these days, Audio supposedly. If you wanted to fuck that whore, Ashley, you'd put that hat on so she doesn't get pregnant because you have to fuck yeah, her with her head. Say, yeah, I, I, never, I never said I wanted to fuck that whore. It's Crystal, the thin one. Oh, well, no. Oh. I, yes. Who doesn't want to do that? Hell. Why do I get the feeling her last name is Meth? <laughs> no, her last name is. Well, you got a good score then. And I'm, uh, I'm down. Listen to that. <sighs> Oh, baby. oh, she's actually the fucking cool one. I got you. Yeah, she's the good one. <laughs> yeah, she's the one with the tattoos in her thigh you could rub. <laughs> Let's just have warning. He's the one who can see her feet when she looks down. Yeah. Didn't he try and favor her on me? She's the one who doesn't have, have a stomach. Uh, uh, uh. 
She's got a big fat stomach, Ashley. That girl. You mean a gunt? It's ah. called a gunt. Oh my god, a gunt! <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Canadian oh! term? That's a universal oh! term, gentlemen. Oh! I'm surprised you don't know it. You fucking monster. look it up. And you talking to me, MJF? Where do you think where do you think MJF's gonna go, Dave? Is he gonna go to WWE or are they holding him off still for this work shoot thing? It's the work shoot shoot work whatever yeah, you want to call it. Um, yes. Thanks, Dave. Um, Jesus. Yeah, Jesse, you just talk Wait, over. It. I'll ask Dave a question. No, 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 Jesse, no, no, you no, talk you over. Guys told me to watch it. I was just saying I watched it. I agree. Sorry. Jesse hasn't changed, Dave. He still talks like that. Uh, <laughs> fuck all you idiots who think that Tony Khan is just some stupid mark. The man is a fucking jewel and a genius, and I want a hug from him as well. Okay, he Thank gives hugs to everybody. Cal, very cool. <laughs> And I want a hug from him, too. The fact is, he knows what he's doing. And yeah, may MJF be upset with certain situations? Well, he knows that things are now going his way because a deal's been made, obviously. Okay, this isn't the Sasha thing where she walks away and literally she's done. He's going to continue on with his contract. When that's done, let's see what happens in two years with AEW. Are we going to just assume that they're going to uh, languish and not build? Are we going to assume that WWE is always going to hold the upper hand? Yeah, two years. Maybe he says, money's better at WWE. I can do something with The Miz or somebody else. Okay, but what happens if he gets an enticing offer or says, shit, I like the way AEW is going right now. I like the way that I'm being focused on. I like the way that things are you know, going, growing, and so forth, and decides, okay, I'll stay with AEW. So... All I can say is let's just wait. Let's just have some patience. Let's just have some wings. Let's just have wings. Oh, we need wings. patience. Let's just have wings. Uh, guys, uh, you know, Sith Negan brought up a great idea. He said, you know, why don't you let the people figure it out? You know, so I put the poll up. There it is. Uh, should me and Dave do Final Frontier news or the race debate? Or maybe we should do both, it looks like. I don't know, man. We'll put it. We'll have to put up a goal. Uh, yeah, so, so, yeah. So what it'll be like? Basically, I'll debate for one alien race, and you'll debate for another alien race. And uh -huh. um, you know, so you, you get the reptilians, and I'll get the Aryans or the Nordics, whatever you want to call them. Oh, no. And we'll debate their accomplishments and determine which alien on Earth right now is the better one. There you also, go. What about, the one. what about the Mexican? <laughs> well, you should just be thrown out, most of you probably oh no where's garguts is he oh he's here he's here we'll throw him right, right here i'm here. fucking barely getting home bro yeah you're barely getting home like to mexico he's using a yep. bar stool for a walker you fuck Ice is coming oh, after God, him. i'm fucking sweating my bitch ass back out here yeah the true way, oh man. you tell me you gotta yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's he's getting getting <laughs> he's I'm barely, I'm barely walking up Please, everyone what know say, what kind of despicable piece of shit Dave R is. Oh, he's said man, that George Floyd that. and Trayvon Martin deserve to die. Oh, he's repeatedly yelled the hard R N word at a black caller. He's said Multiple all BLM times. protesters should be killed. Total scum person. Uh -oh. Yep. Well, uh, not the last part, but yes, um, everything that you said is uh, factually correct, and I stand by it. Well, their name is facts, well, name so. Is facts. No, he, he said joggers. There's a difference. Thank you, Pacharo, for that donation. Really appreciate it. You raised a piece of shit. Uh, Matt or MTA? Dude, MTA. Mark. You fucking Ooh. Mark. You fucking Mark. MTA uh, with the six dollars. Thank you. Actually, that's gonna add time to the clock. Let me put uh, some time on the clock. Um, yes, we will definitely meet up. We will have to have some kind of Final Frontier reunion uh, situation. Uh, we'll we'll talk about that, and uh, the the idea was brought up that we should have a goal. If we hit a certain goal, that we would uh, have the racial debate that Dave has uh, also dreamed of. I'm over it. Really? Yeah, it's uh, it's just pointless at this point. Real? Okay. He's a new man. That's right. Well, and look at this beautiful hair. Well, I was just asking because Sith asked, so I was you know. Well, if Sith, if Sith wants to pay for it, then I guess we can, you know, you force, you know. Well, well, I Sith, mean, I'd rather talk about the Galeons. Well, if you will. Sith is the saying, Galeons. Sith has a good idea. He's saying, well, we'll put up a goal, and if it hits the if it hits the goal, if people want it, we'll do that. Yeah, but yeah. It, all right, I'm fine with that. 
But it look because it looks let like people speak. yo, let the people yo, uh people uh speak. The, right now the the poll is winning on that one, but Final Frontier is close. I mean they're neck and neck, so I mean it's we'll do both. I'll tell you what, we hit the goal, we'll do both. That's what we'll do. All right, so good idea. Good ideas all around. Um but that speaking of ideas, um Jesse, I think it's time, man. I think we should uh I think we should go ahead and just uh, get you the cyanide, brother. So you, no, I'm just kidding. What's with all the cleaning supplies? What's with all the stuff all over the kitchen, man? Can you clean your fucking oven I told off? You he's cooking meth. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> what is that? What kind of kitchen is this? The fuck is going on? I don't care. There's no excuse for this. I don't care what kind of pain you're in. Hey, my name. Have you ever heard of the term Breaking <laughs> Bad? Well, dude, I'm right. the thing is, is I literally just finished Breaking Bad today. I just what finished it. This? Are you sure he's just not Jesse from Breaking Bad? Asher, you've I been mean, watching better. Like, what's the unidentified? So did El Camino. What's that blue liquid in the spray bottle that's unidentified on the far, far right area? Like, I use that on fluid, the most I, No, he sprays that on the weed that he sells to the local kids. <laughs> Then there's this red cup of whatever that is. Looks like like putty or something. Then there's a Coke bottle. Then there's Skippy peanut butter. Then there's a green liquid substance spray right there. If he was smart, he would fill that uh, bottle, the, those spray bottles, with um, water, LSD, and just some food coloring, and then and some sugar. And then basically some kids come by, they give you five bucks, and you just squirt it in their mouth. And mm -hmm. then, you know, you just, like, get the entire neighborhood high that way and... Uh, in their mouth. We're, we're just gonna. Can we just clip Dave saying kids come by, squirt in the mouth thing? Can we get that? Yeah. Somebody. Cut he has that. no morals, anyways. He'll he'll you know well, rape an adult or a child. We you, know that. Well, you want to hear what I said last night? If you take it out of context, listen to this. You might have heard that. I, mean, I am down for anybody who rapes children and molests people like this to just put it on live TV where we nail them to a TV. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Oh, you got Jesse here, so I guess that works. He'll suffocate me with a pillow. No, I was trying to say Even that I want... with context, it still makes it terrible. Well, I was trying to say that I want to see pedophiles killed live on TV, but it came out sounding like I wanted to see the act go down live on TV, which is not what I meant. Love you are bring nasty. Up. I am down for anybody who rapes children and molests people like this to just put it on live TV where we nail them with <laughs> TV. I would <laughs> you, you need to go to confession, son. Dude, I don't know what plasma that is. Plasma dong. Get it on with my plasma dong. Bong, bong, bong. That's my pedo picker. <laughs> my pedo picker. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, well, something very similar. Pedo Peter. Do you guys know that that's the name of a folder on Hunter Biden's laptop that refers yes. to his brother, Bo? Yes. Whoa. Pedo and in that folder, Peter. you have a lot of different things that reveal what that entire family's been up to. Let's just say, if you think that Virginia hillbillies or rednecks from Texas are uh, or Alabama are inbreds, you guys go no know nothing about the Biden family. Do they all go? You know, do they all go after first cousins? Every no, last they, one of them. By Hunter fucked his mother. Biden fucked his daughter and his granddaughter. Uh, you had Hunter fuck his niece. Uh, that whole family is incestuous. Wow. This, this definitely reminds me of Godfather 3. And you hear that, Bullfrog? What's no. that? I don't know what that means because I never saw the movie. Well, that's what I'm saying. Well, pretty this way. The, uh, the cousins... Uh, they are incestuous with each other, and then eventually the daughter gets shot uh, at the end of the movie. Sorry for the spoiler, but it, you don't need to see it. The third movie's garbage. You it's know they make out, and yeah. Well, what, what more than once? Bullfrog is really into his niece, so that's fine. This Jesus is, Christ! He's learned about this through those movies. If and Ricky Martin's into his nephew. Yep. No, Ricky Marty is in his nephew. Oh yeah, he's in Dude. his nephew, not in. <laughs> I feel like Dave Rose would be like the the lawyer in the courtroom, is like Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen, um, my client here. Uh, he, uh, yeah, he was he was touched here, here, but I just want to be for the record, he was not on him, he was in him. I rest my case. Out of a ditchy. Okay. As unfortunate as it sounds, there's been an actual. There's been many cases where somebody has claimed because of supposed infidelity that they 
fell onto somebody's cock. I swear to you. The <laughs> dog, dude, 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 he's right. I, I saw this video of this girl getting slapped by her mom, and she was like, why, why am I slapping you? Because I accidentally sucked dick. She slapped her again. How the fuck you accidentally suck dick? <laughs> no, but this goes even further. They said that, you know, the, the, you know, the claim uh, for injury or divorce, whatever the, the paperly, paper filing was, I yeah. accidentally fell on his penis. <laughs> I've oh. seen that, yeah. <laughs> you fell on his you fell Can no. we please make this into a movie? Because this is comedy gold. It is. It's on it's on Pornhub. No, I don't do that. So. It's, no, yeah, it's the, mo like, the movie's called The Clintons. There's multiple, there's multiple instances of this. And again, people went straight out to court because obviously the, the, the spouse finds them in bed or on the floor or something. And then they want to, because they don't want to face the, the legal ramifications, they say, oh, well, I accidentally fell onto his dick. You know, they, they, ignore the fact that he already had his clothes off and stuff. But they've used this. They've used this actual argument in court, or at least, you know, a few people have. Loophole. It's a loophole, then. A loophole? No, it's just fucking people who are desperate to grasp at anything. Unfortunately, lawyers are more than willing to use whatever stupid argument they can to try to get their client off. But that one's a little too yeah, far, you know. A little desperation there from those people, you know. Uh, there's one minute and forty seconds left. Keep the show going. Keep the show going. And we do not want to keep Don't the show going with I me. Do. Come on, guys. I know. Dave What's Rose. We plan. It's a whole new game. Don't get Chino. You are oh, a friend. I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate blend. Uh, Allison, what up, Allison? Thank you for the 19. She donated a $19 again. So that is going to put another um, uh, 12 minutes on the board. 14, we'll go to 14 with the seconds left there. So 14 minutes back on the show, courtesy of Allison. Um, tuck it where the sun oh, don't shine. Like, okay. All right. I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you one thing. It is a little hot wearing this, but um, as long as I'm still on, I'll I'll continue. Yeah, you go, you're not that. even wearing pants. Well, no, but still, it's fucking. I've got a hot, beautiful chest, and yeah. Uh, it gets it gets heated, and this stuff is fucking it's wool, and well, oh, so yeah. it's yeah. called sure you know, uh, Your pits will be sweating by now. Oh no, this no. is actually I'm because the silk good. actually breathes, but uh, the, it's the it's the wool from this that's actually keeping the heat in. So yeah. although I can still, you know, again, no pants, Open so it, it goes up. down, but um, even still, it's uh, it's a little bit uh, warm with even with my fan on. So uh, if you want to continue to have Dave Rose. Uh, tortured um i guess we'll just have to donate yeah i mean dave might be sweating through his suit by the end of the night this is crazy oh, he's, got, he's got a beer too what, what kind of goal should we put up all right so let's see what's reasonable for the race debate goal i mean let's make it something weird i don't know we'll see what it is 500 I don't know. 1488 what was that 1488 1488 that's a good Interesting number. Yeah, dude, that was the price of a black person like 200 years ago. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Hey, hey, they've gone up. And you, down. you get a discount if their legs broken or something. So <laughs> now, now I know it's it's official. Now Dave Rose is literally a serial murderer. It is official. Okay. You know what? I, he what? murders ignorance. <laughs> yeah. How well, could I be a serial killer? He's too sweet. No, 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 no. I met Jesse. I met Jesse. Oh. Oh, well, no one, oh, no one knew what Okay, the fuck. Yeah, I, I see where you come from. Yeah. Sorry about you. that. I, I literally I, am, I met, like, in and out of consciousness right now. Yeah, you really are. Um, You just... Oh, you, hey, you late, uh, in the head. Waiter, I'll, I'll have what he's smoking. I, it's actually, crack. actually, I had, I had a very nice uh cocktail, to be quite oh, honest. Oh, there you go. That's <laughs> why. It's very nice. Oh, you had a very nice cock? Oh, nice. I have you're a very nice jokes now that uh, you're, you're just hearing out. what you want to hear. Yes, I am. Which, by the way, the concoction is Di Sirono, cranberry, orange, pineapple with a lime, as well as a little tiny, uh, little tiny bit of uh, clear Perfect. water, if you will. And uh, Jesus, it's really good. Nice. nice. Just really good. Yo, did you only have one, or did you have more? Yeah. Is that a no, no, no. I had like, I had like, I had like one and a half. It's fine. Half? Ah, you finished that? You finished that other half? No, no, bro, bro. Put it this way. Put it this way. 
It was actually the clear water that I got is from a friend of mine up north, and dude, just having a little bit of that will put you out. Just a okay, little, uh, like, bro, like I'm, I'm keeping it real, real 100 with you, man. I'm trying to take it easy tonight. Yeah, you sound, you sound like uh, um, Joe. Uh, Big G says 1863. And uh, that is basically the date of the uh, enactment of the uh, Emancipation hmm. Proclamation. So, I guess in that case, that would uh, that would work. That's pretty. That's <laughs> that's hilarious. All right, eight, this one price went up. That's steep, though. That's you know. That that's is why a I lot said, of money. Know, 1488, but that's a lot of money. But you know what? I, I I'm sort of banking on it's not going to happen. So it makes sense. So it's fine. It's it's a silly well, thing. What kind of cut am I getting on this shit? Half. Dude, I've been uh, that's, that's that's definitely fair. Absolutely. It doesn't happen without you, so I'd have to give you half. No, nah, well, you could always make a, a fake effigy of me with boxes and fuck me. Oh <laughs> <laughs> <Hell> yeah. Dude, <laughs> he shoved so much in that box. I mean, you can start with that. Well, much to say now, do you, Dave Rose? Slap, slap. Eat the <laughs> fucking cookie, you fat fuck. Slap with, oh, my slap God. with the backhand. You skinny fuck, I mean. Oh my god, dude! I talked to him about uh, that. I was on. I talk, I did a, a podcast with him a couple months ago, and I talked to him about that. Dude, now that box is bigger than he is now. It's great. Like, no, see, my Gabriel's favorite part box is bigger. My my favorite part about that was me giving it chest compressions. That was my favorite thing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. When I started it did doing flatline for a bit, <laughs> I started doing CPR on it. It was crazy. And then Tommy C put dicks on my mouth. And I hit it with a golf club and then Tommy C put dicks on my children's pictures. Oh But was there golf clubs in his deal? It was my golf clubs. I that was I thought it was really kind of funny, to be honest. I I didn't think it was that malicious. No, honestly, dude, I think they were mad about other shit, or Tommy was at least. I don't think that was I think he probably laughed at that once he was got over the other shit. That wasn't bad. The box thing was just whatever. It was funny. I think it, it must have been. I think it was the way that that the day the other day felt. You know, like more than what I. Oh did. yeah, no, yeah. He didn't want you hurting his friend, but honestly, I think if that wasn't there, he would have laughed his ass off because it wasn't even that bad. It was funny. As I hell. think they did laugh. I think they reacted to it and laughed about it. So no, I think most likely, yeah. Once, yeah. No, it's I know. I really they they laughed about it. Um, they they watched it. I think it when we it. all talked, right? When we all finally, I think got they got together. pissed off, and then they started. To get, that's after that. That's when the dicks got on your kid's face, and then they escalated, and um, then you guys had your talk. You know, your little powwow. Mm -hmm. But that's what raised it. You know, you did that. He put dicks on your kid's face. Yeah, yep, sure that happened. was that was a weird yep. move. I always will say that that was a weird move. Well, I guess to him, hey guys, I'm like going to bed. Level it hurt him when you went after Dave, because you know, Good night, Tommy, Asher. Like, if you would have did it, Tommy, he would have cared. You later. You hurt Dave. Good night, Asher. So, Take care. Later, Asher. Later. Love you, brother. Love you, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Get hard. Oh, oh damn, oh. Jesse! What the fuck? <laughs> You're gonna oh, go no, out? No, go no, out with Asher. Uh, it's it's too soon though. Cups, man, it fell over. If it doesn't oh. watch it, I'm gonna break my mom's favorite cup on purpose. Don't do that. If it doesn't watch it, don't you do that? We like it. Hey, if you're going to break her, you put it on TV. I mean, you put it on here. Oh, I'll just be happy she's gone. I'm going to make sure she gets buried when she dies in where they put John Doe's and Jane Jesus. Doe's. She doesn't Whoa. deserve a fucking plaque. Dude, hey, no, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. You either earn respect or you never get it. Wow. Okay. Period. Well, come pretty close. I've seen Jesse yell at his mom, and he goes, and if you ever fucking oh, talk to any of your mothers like that, I'll kill right. every one of y'all. I was Target, like, Target. you're the last person that even knows me. You still don't know me, so don't act like you do. I mean, he, he's been, he, I believe him. I believe him. I believe him. There's wow. Jesse has that, that, really shit, that shit is scary. Is and you guys are friends? Dave knows me because he was here before that. Other people know. Most don't, though, dude. What are you going to do? I mean, the I fact that you were in an Iron Maiden t-shirt and you're literally spitting out truth, there's really no reason why I should not believe you, bro. Hey, Wanu, uh, let me, uh, let me show, oh, I want to show Dave something. Hey, dude, thank you. Appreciate it. I want to show Dave something. Take, oh, a, take a look at this, Dave. What do you think, what do you think about this? Okay. okay. Um, Tommy, is Crystal single? Yes. Oh, man. You want to give her my number? No, fuck you. Oh, what <laughs> the fuck? Why? Why are you blocking me, dude? 
Yeah, don't be a cockball. Dave's not shit when I want to date a Canadian scumbag like you. Whoa! How do you know? Well, because, well, for one, got a big brain. Yeah, because you're a two-faced piece of shit. And I got a big dick. Wow! Wow, what did Dave ever do to you, <laughs> Tommy? Throwing some shade my way, and I sent you that Canadian care package. All oh, that thank Canadian you, I appreciate candy, it. man. Don't throw <laughs> Why does everybody on YouTube throw stuff in people's faces because they Look did the camera. something to them? Look at my the God, it's Focus. so ridiculous. Look at me. There we go. Wait. You, you he sent you, he you gifts, and now you're shitting on him, and he's like, dude, I've sent you gifts. a long time ago. Thank you. I appreciate that. Was that before or after you called him a Canadian scum? But now he's back to ungrateful, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, maybe Gio will come back now that Dave is. We can get some fucking brain cells on this piece of fuck. <laughs> yeah, the sexual tension or something that we didn't we didn't realize was going on. Oh no, we need uh who we yeah, we need like JB for that or something. I don't know. Well he's having his own tension with her on some game right now, probably. Oh that you guys again, just swing we, with each other. We, you we, you were just wife, playing wife, What Dave? Well you were just what you were just playing, where uh, I was telling him, look into the camera. Yes. And that that whole little sequence there was just hilarious. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just yelling. You're like, look in the camera. camera. Okay, don't look in the camera. Go ahead. Look yeah, in exactly. Look, don't please be afraid. Continue. Look at me. Now you're talking. Now yell at me. <laughs> please continue. Oh, my God. That was one of the funniest fucking lines tonight. I always we... had this feel, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've always had this feeling. Tommy had, like, one eye looking one way and the other eye looking the other way. Well, he's eye. looking for attention. So no. Oh, like, no. Yeah, he's looking for attention. Wait no, a minute, no. You guys know it's true. Just I, don't hate me. And again, I'm, not trying to th I'm not trying to throw shade at Tommy. I'm just saying, like, I, I, I don't know. It's true. That's an autistic thing. It's hard. It's that's an autism thing. You raised a piece of shit. Oh, um, Did you get my nineteen dollars to keep the show going? Yes, yes, Allison. And now you've kept the show going even more, Allison. Uh, three six. We wow. love Allison. I love Dude, you. Dude, an army of one. What's wrong with the rest of you? Don't make it all on one person. We're family here, fuckheads. Cheers to you. Cheers. Look at Dave's <laughs> drinking. What is he? Oh, that's a beautiful Cheers, mug dude. right there. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Wait. I gotta go grab my. Soak. I gotta go grab my glass too. I haven't even poured it yet. I'm gonna have coffee and vodka. And it's one forty. Yeah, I'm a weird yeah. person. I, I can't Rose. see great, but I missed your mug, man. What's what's that mug look like? I didn't get to see it. Hey, Dave Rose, we have an old saying back where I'm from: "Like Probably a boss." Was that a thirty-two ounce or a twenty-four? Ounce? Hey, Rostov, I have a saying where I'm from: "You're oh, gay." God. It's frozen. <laughs> Sorry, I'm. Well, if, happy, if the illegal spick didn't talk over you or stuff, I would have actually heard what you said. So if you would not, you know, if you would mind uh, indulging me again, please. Yes, sir. Was Rewind. Beep, 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 beep. We have an old saying back where I'm from: "Like a boss." Just saying. Just let let it float you, out there. My God, there is no. no you really wanted to. Uh, it's a good thing oh I talked over you the first time. <laughs> <Cheers>. <laughs> There we go. I'm not even doing it. Come on out, you rapist! <laughs> At any rate. <laughs> so, so, Dave, so I want to get your uh, opinion on this. So, basically, there is a... There's something going on in Hollywood right now where basically all the... Uh, the pretty much the movies are going to be mainly in Texas, as it's been saying for the last like number of years. In terms of the way how, like, like films are going to be made, do you feel that Hollywood should be based in Texas or should they stay in California? That's not the reason. So, um, so w w who's what saying this? What, what exactly are they reporting that they're going to move uh, production uh, to Texas? That, yeah, like this is that's going in case on. COVID shuts us down. They're not even going to look like Texas. It's like it's because of filming rights. Like they're not going to be able to even make movies soon in other states. It's that simple. Duly noted. Like, thank you. I appreciate that, Rostafa. Uh, your point again? No, no. My point. My point is mainly like you know, what would you think if like that entire empire? Because there's always this debate of like if they move to another state. Like for example, Texas, as you know, is the second largest state in the union of the United States. Um, as well as again, there may be certain rights that you wouldn't be able to do in California because. Obviously, state rights changes all the time, as well as many uh, Hollywood top execs and producers have been moving around in various other places, not just Texas, but like Colorado, 
uh, maybe in different parts of Arizona and places like that in order to establish um, offhand, I guess, production companies that have to not have to deal with the state uh, uh, conflictions of what California goes through. So what would that look like if it was in another state, particularly Texas? I don't believe it will. And I'll tell you why. Uh, you have a very similar sentiment in Texas as you do with Florida. You see a lot more being done in Florida. There's a lot of influence on Texas to keep that border open. But with with Florida, they've got a lot more controls over the stuff. And with the tax incentives that they do offer, they've still cut Disney off at the knees. Right. Even if they were to like California into, or I should say Hollywood, into Florida, they'd make it too difficult. The people themselves are politically active. They have the support of the governor uh, and as such, the will of the people to enforce it, uh -huh. to disallow uh, these sorts of establishments from being established. Uh, with Georgia, for example, all they yeah. had to do was say, we don't approve of gay marriage, and now nobody wants to film in Georgia, at least from Hollywood. Uh -huh. uh, with Texas, uh, you know, again, they're going to institute something that's going to well, make it... Doesn't I mean, I, I don't it don't it down here. It's already instituted. Abortion, right? For example, abortion laws. There you go. Gotcha. Wait, don't they have more sovereignty than Florida? I'm just, I don't know. I'm not, I mean, it seems that way, though. They what have sovereignty. But... Okay, go ahead. No, I said, what are your thoughts on that, bro? I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, they, they you, it depends on what, how you can describe that. Uh, they have their own sovereignty. Um, bottom line is, though, that people are now deciding that they don't want to live in places like, they, they've been flocking from California to Texas. Yeah. I mean, Right. But that's the thing. Now that Texas is changing, you know, they've got their heartbeat law. Florida has something similar. They just did a survey recently. They're finding a lot of people that said that they were moving or had moved are now planning to move back because huh. of their decisions for the abortion laws. Yeah. So it actually fixed itself. I'm confused. Yeah, are we talking about are we talking about Hollywood or like just fucking fucktards that are coming dude, over here? They're not going to because it's all one and the same. Because because yeah. I mean, they already filmed shows Jeez, down here they already God. film movies down here they already yeah, film it, they've been doing it in louisiana forever because no no of, no no but i mean uh, like they're like laws. move their entire operations like they do it, all the i mean all the studios more than filming now so no, so they you they, have what they you they having what you're having now is actors that are fucking making their own studios you have key and peel that has their atlanta studios where they filmed all the fucking mm -hmm. marvel stuff you know because they don't want to deal with hollywood you're gonna have stuff like that more than uh, Hollywood coming down here. I think same it's thing with the music industry. Out. Same thing with the music industry. When the people build their own labels, they're going to do the same thing as far as building their own production and filming companies. Yeah. yeah, but that's different because you can you can move that. We're talking about infrastructure. Imagine this. Okay, California, Texas, and Florida, because they made deals back in the early times. Yeah, they are the ones that run the the days. space um, industry. So they've already established launch sites, uh, pipelines, uh, barge uh, loading areas, all this stuff that has been established, hundreds of billions of dollars worth of investment um, and established infrastructure. They can't just move that to another state. Nope. No, you, you can't. That's why I think so they're that's the same thing with there. Hollywood, with all the, the studios that they've invested in, that they've built and all that. You just can't get that to grow legs and walk over to Texas. Yeah. Uh, I think they're <laughs> and gonna, who are you going to sell it to? Who are you going to sell they, it to if you leave they California? They can branch I, off and make Chinese. I, would say they, I wouldn't even say branch off. I'd say like somebody's going to start their own industry down here and have their own, no, their own it, kind of infrastructure to I mean, do their own thing. Because Hollywood, Hollywood is not just one entity. There's different studios. Yeah. we got Paramount, you know, Columbia. You know, etc. Yes, all operating out of California is becoming extremely difficult. Meanwhile, uh, for example, uh, Toronto just uh, announced at Pinewood Studios where they're going to have uh, an additional four hundred thousand square foot um, sound studio. Well, studio, which is going to include three hundred thousand square feet of sound studios. Um, they're building a lot of that in Toronto. You've got not only great. Uh, 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 studios here in canada uh but you have great varied land you can save so much money which is why they're filming star trek discovery here in in 
well, in Ontario and various locations, but you know, the main studio is Toronto. Um, Dave, do you know uh, what the Handmaid's Tale? You know that stupid shit show, Handmaid's Tale. Like all these other shows are all filming here in Ontario. Have and you heard of the volume? Have you heard of the volume? It's like a it's like a three yeah. D screen, a three D uh, LED screen, and it's and it, uh, they film like the Mandalorian and everything. Well, I'm hearing that they're building three of those across the world, and I think one I of think them is in Texas. Just, no, didn't they film Mandalorian in London though? Yeah, that was the where the first volume's at. And that's what they call it. And it's just a it's a three D fucking LED screen, and it's got it's it's run by the Unreal Engine. It's it's pretty unique. But now that they're gonna build them across three more across the world, I'm thinking like you know that could be the new studio right there. You don't have to be outside or in. You just be inside, and it looks like outside. Other than that, I don't think I don't think Texas is gonna I don't think Texas is gonna have anything different. T- tell me again, um, I think it was 1986 or 87 in Montreal where uh, Metallica and GNR opened up for you at Gargets. Oh, dude, oh, 90. Yeah, dude. Oh, dude, dude, I did so yeah, much cocaine. <laughs> they opened up for you, right? I did so much cocaine, bro. Hey, actually, actually, no. Are you, I'm excited for fucking Pantera to come back. Oh, my oh, fucking yeah. God. Oh. Now they fucking found out it's going to be it's Charlie from there, Anthrax. Gargets. Good job. Oh, by the way, Dave, let's actually talk about that real quick because he brought up G and R and Metallica, dude. His deflection of my joke that he, you know, claims yeah. all these things that aren't true or something else. No, 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 no. I no, wish, no. I, wish, I, I, I want to know where that fucking came from, but forty three seconds left. I can tell you very you much. Piece but, of uh, shit. Cool. For you. Show us your manky yellow teeth are more unattractive than Bullfrog wow. and Tommy combined for seven one seven Claire Drive. Columbus, oh no, Ohio. my. Three minutes back. No, but, uh, this, oh, Dave, no, I don't think that though. made the air. I wish that made the air, what you said. No, oh, let's just no. give them three minutes. Oh, oh, no. I know, but I wish that Dave's thing made the air because that was fucking funny, Dave. Oh, my God. Yeah, I love oh, my Dave. quips are made at uh, the final second. <laughs> like, okay, I, I was laughing, and then I went, oh, no, I didn't make it. That's too bad. I would have I said that's what she said, but it would have been redundant. But yeah. at any rate... You were asking a question, regardless, before yeah, you got interrupted like four times by Gargutz. It's okay. Well, that's what Gargutz does. Uh, hey, don't interrupt nobody. That's my gimmick. Yeah. Yeah, dr- yeah drink. No, you just talk over. I can tell you the reason Jesse Shut does it. I got something to say. I know the fuck. reason. Instead of saying the same shit again for the next. And and, 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 and Rasafa already fucking laid down his fucking ten minute rant. You lay down your ten minute rant. What do you want? Twenty more minutes? Goddamn. Yeah, we only have you know, two minutes left. Gargutz Get to the point. Right. Gargutz is right. You you know. Je- the reason why Jesse does because he doesn't have headphones on. He doesn't. That's what it is. You, if you don't, he's a very smart man. He talks about the same shit every night. Come on, what does he have to say this tonight? Same shit. But, uh, how's same Star shit. Wars? Wow, Garguts, what did you do? Why? What did you do to Jesse? He's just destroying you tonight, dude. Dude, dude. Uh, I've, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been leaving, I've been, I've been leaving the show early to go have sex. Oh, yeah, no, so. no, no. It's nothing. All right, oh, wow. Get tired. And, like being the only say hello to your flashlight for me i just like i think what up girl dave wants a piece of you you guys got to work get this out or off or the air with yourselves like you got to work this no, out no i don't i've already told him dude it's the same shit all the time i don't know i don't know what you either grow and you don't you don't yeah. you get good choice or and then every day and good then every wise. day and then every day he fucking comes over there and he's just like, fuck this shit. Ah! Yeah, but even then it's. And I'm just like, oh, what happened to the conversation? Me? The conversation. Gargut, you wouldn't, I wouldn't have even been here long enough for you to meet me if I actually got. Yeah, it was well, living. You know what I noticed, guys? What, are, what is going on tonight with you guys? I don't know. It's no, no. I do it. Honestly, it's just me. <laughs> like All right. Or nostalgia. I'm trying to do real yeah, things. Calm okay. down. Austin Powers, okay. man. I'm telling you. I mean, and, and, and unlike other people, I don't fucking look for help everywhere I fucking go. <laughs> Dave. Wow. Jesse, riddle me this. Why was it just so enjoyable, uh, you, me, and Joe reminiscing and talking? It was effortless. 
uh, gay old time. And then uh, Gargut starts speaking up, and you're literally like, eh, uh, eh, 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 while you're trying to speak. Well, well, this guy's like, ah, ah, ah. Honestly, dude, I went through two and a half years of the hardest time this show's ever had. Not, and I, I, I am proud of it that time. Drew was here. I'm proud of him, proud of us. But it has not been fucking any chemistry until this night. And what I miss it. About? We we did. Were you here last night? Real chemistry, dude. For real. We like, had a good time last night. Where were you? Where were you? Oh my god! A few moments. Where's don't magic, me, baby. Shit. We used to end shows at four hours. Eddie, Why? Because that was when it stopped being good. We had four hours every night of good shit, we, and we didn't go eight hours just because. We did we seven hours last night. I had a black. I, I don't know what. I, I feel like you're on crack tonight. Oh like, fuck we, off! You're the one who has the least fun of everybody. I, I I had a blast last night. We were on seven hours last night. What do you oh, forget oh, yesterday? Hilarious. I'm not going any further because I probably won't be allowed back. Then. Garguts, Ever? what the fuck? Did you do to Jesse, man? What are you? What is do going anything. on? You know I what? Just like the truth. I'm and blaming there's none of that here. Gargots, what's wrong with him? Dave's here. He wants me to what it is. is look, I'll tell you the truth. He wants oh me to God. fucking step truth. up. He wants me to fucking step up. And I'm like, bro, I'm fucking working. What do you mean, step up? Okay, dude, all right. I love Gargots, but when, like, okay, for instance, and I'll end it here. If he thinks he's got to wait for you to not go live, Joe, before he can start, I'm going to kick him in his fucking What nuts. the fuck does that matter, though? Why? Why? Who I cares? Live. Jesse. I was Jesse. live the other what day the while Joe was live. Oh, my God. Wait. Okay, I, I, think, I think I know what it is. It's because All right. Gargus it's you're here. Don't go. I'm going to mute yeah, him for a second. Jesse what is the fuck is going on? Like, oh, yeah. I, I'm serious. Like, what is going on? Dave comes on the show tonight and Jesse loses his mind. Dude. I, don't know. I was cool with you and Jesse. We were all having good time. You know, we're stopping here. Everyone else, uh, all that stuff. Then Gargutz comes along and then. Well, I don't think it was Gar. I don't think Gargutz is doing anything wrong. I don't, what did Gargutz do? You raised a piece of shit. Allison, thank you. Well, you can ask Jesse what. Uh, you know, he thinks about that. I could certainly uh, talk your ear off, but um, right, I'll mute him again. I, I want to ask him ask a more important question, Mustafa. Do you think I could pull off the white Sammy Davis Jr. look? Maybe okay. sing the candy man can. Put a trumpet up your ass. Yeah, that's right, baby. Don't mind if no. I do. Allison What's my really name? wants the Don show to continue. It's a whole new game. Don Cacino. You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate blend. Hey, man. Allison is keeping this fucking thing afloat by herself here. Good bless Damn. you, man. Oh, I got to fucking pick that shit up. <clears throat> no, no. Gargut's actually hit it on the head. All right, I'll end it here. I just want to see everybody at their best, and I always see the best in people, and it's really just fucking hurts me when i don't it doesn't happen it was great know, last night you know, I like, April of bad history. but what do you but I yeah i'm just i'm just trying to tell you it was great last night it. last night was great was he not oh at my his god best? so what it was great every night when it, the chemistry is effortless and it's not effortless now but it doesn't mean there's not more that's done Ooh. i'll leave it at maybe that tonight, you know, maybe tonight's just a little problems. bit better god he damn. knows he's got it oh i i, I get what jesse's saying you know of course you do, you fucking introspective genius. Yeah, look, I, I think what, he, what he's trying to say is this. Says the space you hippie. Know, Last night, Gargus Jesse just stuff. ran around throwing stuff like while we were doing a show, and now you're complaining about what I we did yesterday. I threw stuff for about three seconds. The fact that's all you remember tells you like, how good it was. Great show, huh? You're, you're, no, like, you I don't understand what you're saying. Like, we were, we did a seven hour show yesterday, and like the first half of it, you weren't even here for. When the donation stops, so does the show, but it never has chemistry. Amateurs. We did seven hours yesterday, Jesse. Yes, the donations were good, but the chemistry doesn't have to be. What are you talking we'll talk about? You weren't even here. To 12. You weren't even here for the first fucking, fucking three hours. Standard that we, that's all, why are you keeping it going? I said that's it, Gargas. Oh, come on! I, don't know. I, I had a fucking right. blast it's last no because deal. no because I've because two last because because two weeks ago the fucking we, the dramatic. show was shit like and nobody was here and last night I actually had a good night now you're telling me that wasn't you weren't even here like, that's, no but I'm not I'm not saying that no I'm not saying that not last night wasn't I'm saying I'm trying to get it to where every night is enjoyable lucrative and fucking just badass I want it to be to the point where people don't even remember the past for a minute. Because we're we're in the best times ever. That's of just like, that's all I want to see. Well, so the, I mean, it, of course, I want everybody to be at their best, and that doesn't mean it's going to happen every night. But I'm going to always fight for it. Because that's what I've done here for a decade. Don't mind right. if I do. 
What's my she name? Again. Yeah. And then she Chino. goes again. Oh, Dookie. shit. Don Cacino. You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend. Dave, you like Say this white skin? You like this? Ha! Ah! Oh, she didn't say anything. I was expecting talking. Uh, Allison, fucking truck wob. <laughs> I can love there that. There she goes. There, there she, she goes, goes again. <laughs> oh man, I'd love to see Al Pacino fuck a fucking goddamn like, like Britney Spears. Al Pacino, Britney Spears sex tape leaks. Wow, got degenerates. What Don't worry, I'll, I've got a special spot in the camps ready for you once uh, oh. shit is the <laughs> Look at that, Jesse. You made Gargus go kill himself. Good job. Oh, dude. <laughs> Gargus go yeah, Gargus See, but, no, Jesse, I get what you're oh, saying, though. Not just good. That's great. Nothing can kill Gargus, dude. Except me. Yeah. I'll fucking do it, too, if you don't fucking get it. How, how much, Jesse? What is it that you want Gargus to do? Be better on the show? Is that nothing, what you're saying? Nothing, no. nothing. It was a joke. Calm down. Oh, I didn't know. I'm just you asking. Like, you, you want to do... told me. Go rewind the tape. Don't tease me with a good time, Jesse. Don't don't be offering a possibility that's not uh, purchasable. Now, Dave, since you are Argentinian, you're an Argentine Argentinian. Does that mean that you maybe are you know derived from those uh, you know nazos? He's legal. He's more legal than Gargans. I know. I was about to say how many how many times <laughs> from the other country. From who? From who are you speaking of? You know the Nazis. Uh, you know you don't have any relation to them, do you? Oh, fuck um, well, uh, not to my knowledge. However, strangely enough, there's a big portion of a you know part of my family that actually resided in quite some time at the um, basically the town called Bariloche, uh, which is basically where most of the Nazis went to establish. And it literally is. It, it's like. You go to a, a theme resort or something, and they've got a, a street, and it's all German buildings. Well, that's the uh, entire thing. It's all German. And it's everyone speaks German, and but they also speak Spanish now. But when it was established, it was quite clear. These people aren't native. I know that German people hate it. It's like nothing. You know, I, I do have a good profile. You know, my nose is definitely not um, large. And, um, you know, I do have a nice prominent um, European uh, look. So yeah. perhaps I might be descended from somebody who came over to Argentina and some UFO. We'll cover yeah. it on Final Frontier News. Yeah, we'll talk about it. In. The history. Where did the Nazis go? Episode whatever. Well, actually, we're going to have to talk about Adolf Hitler going to... Argentina, because that is really where he went. It might sound crazy to people, but there are literal mainstream media um, documentaries, uh, one featuring Tim Kennedy, and they've got the FBI documents. They found him. Did you know that when you made that joke, or were you just... No, he knew that. Out? He knew that. No, I mean you, when you made the joke. Oh yeah, no, I did because that's I've seen documentaries. There's like, oh, okay. like, well, like, like Dave said. I mean, for years there were talks about this sort of thing, but and you could read about it, and unless you read about it, you wouldn't really believe it. But you, yeah. but seeing is believing because when you see the documentaries from, there's only been a few of them, but when they do it, it's like, dude, these people are they all their homes are filled with like World War Two stuff, and like their great grandfathers were generals and Nazis and. All these sort of things. Cause there was one of the places that they went. Um, and it makes sense yeah. geographically in, in the world. Where would you go if you wanted to allow these people to continue to live their lives, but they couldn't really go anywhere else without being killed or found or whatever? And these are the perfect places. So it all makes 100% sense. It's not a debate that, that, that like former Nazis went there. That's not a debate. What the, the debate is which of those Nazis went there, like what high profile ones were or weren't there. That's the debate. And it was filtered out from there because that was an mm. entry port to potentially be sent to other countries. They would uh, maybe four years ago, six years ago, they found off, you know, like in the jungles in Argentina, but just off the coast, they found a base that was actually set up uh, for Nazis. And um, it had um, all these, uh, you know, items and stuff that were labeled, you know, with the Plastica and German Reich and all that sort of thing. And they found it deep in the jungle overgrown, but it was found as of late. And there's so many of these bases that still have yet to be uncovered. But this is definitely one of them that uh, they utilized after they came over from uh, 
uh, from Germany. I mean, a bunch of the uh, subs were found scuttled off the uh, coast of Argentina and, and Uruguay, uh, Brazil, America. But they've also found ships that were surrendering to the authorities there and their cargo. You know, their manifesto said they were going to be loaded X amount of uh, weight, but that weight wasn't found on that. So what happened to the cargo that they had? Most so probably they went to Antarctica first, dropped it off, and then decided to surrender and try to uh, get these people a, a normal life again. So yeah. I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i got so much information on this. Oh, and hold sorry. on. Did you, did you know that a lot of them actually came to – I mean, you know that a lot of – of course you do, that they all came down here. So, like, you know, my my ancestors, you know, they my part of my family is part of them too. So, like, I've hear story. I look at my my grandma. She's got blue eyes. She's got you know blonde hair. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ! I thought it was illegal. Oh, damn. Well, um, you know, uh, Argentina basically is the whitest uh, country in South America. But you have Uruguay. But then again, you had a lot of Germans that established themselves there too. Um, in a place in Brazil, for example, Joe, you must know about this. Um, I believe it was. Mengele, uh, Dr. Mengele, that established a city where it's all twins, or yeah. at least up to a point. It was all twins that were being born, and they were obviously running some sort of Nazi type uh, genetic engineering there. Yeah, it was some kind and of it, experimentation. And again, once again, a place they could get away with it long enough before anyone picked up on it. Exactly. In the middle of nowhere in a country, a third world country where no one would ever you know, think about even investigating them. Right. These are clones. Damn, that's crazy. And now you just now it's called China. <laughs> you can just do anything <laughs> there you want. Um yeah, dude, this whole and speaking of China, I believe Dave, you know, you left the show right before right around Corona, like before right before that happened, right? Is that am I right about that? I haven't really Uh maybe it I'm was wrong. Gary. November twenty twenty. I believe. Okay, so you were here for the first. It was the election night, I guess, or a little day after. Oh, or you're right, because you're right. I was I was doing political streams on Corrupted. Uh, that's right. Yeah, we were covering the election stuff. You got in a big fight with Bullfrog, I think it was, on the show or something. Um, yeah, that yeah. was... I don't think so. I just didn't want to come on with all these people. And Jesse even was like, oh, come on, Dave. I'm like, no, you, gotta, you got too many people on there, you know? Because, you know... You you know what no, happens when you get to yeah. yeah well you get last time you get tonight no you know what you don't have you get people uh, tonight tonight's good no I'm just joking though I'm joking no, everybody hey, everybody wants time... to talk to Dave because he's here what's up go ahead last, last time I last time I did talk to Dave though we we're trying to find UFO evidence and he was on the inaugural stream that I did right like oh early yeah early. Yeah. yeah what what proof yeah. what it was the UFO nine eleven. That's what it was. Oh, that one. Yeah, I remember. Um, you asked me for the proof, and I found the the orb that you were no, looking no, we, for. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what. It, but we then we found out that we had to pay like twenty one dollars for the fucking full fucking documentary. Oh, I was like, fuck that. Yeah, really I was like, fuck that. that. <laughs> Cause it, it used to be free on YouTube, and then right? they took it down. <sighs> and then you you uh, came on to do the inaugural with me and finish that off, and we're fucking saying that everybody was a reptilian <laughs> so long story short like, everybody's a lizard fucking hey yeah. we know that's a true wings <laughs> he, oh god I'm, i hope he is okay after that match bastard 19 or 18 more days 17 more days now really? why would you better be able to top john michaels and his retirement with that match is just too amazing to do anything less than that, and I hope he doesn't get hurt, and I hope it's not a stinker. But wish him luck. Uh, yeah, I, I yeah. hope that he. I hope that he actually does like a. He's gonna do the same eight moves, ten moves, but I hope oh, he does a, something. He, I hope he does something that he's never done. What if he does like a fucking yeah? Like oh, was say, what was he does a sharpshooter? What if he oh, does God. like a. Yeah, that would be um, great. Hard will be in his the fucking he's a black row. The top I've been it. seeing him working. He's been working out though, and uh, dude, for oh, being yeah. as old as he is, dude, he's got more muscle than I could fucking build on right now. 
He's the only fuck. I'll be honest. With you, I mean, I don't care if anyone gets it, but like in astrology, he's the only Pisces in wrestling, pretty much, other than Iron Sheik. And look how Iron Sheik, Sheik looked out. Like how bro, he's, fuck. He can't even walk. You don't find that in wrestling. This guy could make it. When Ric Flair says, "I still got one more in me," that means he has two more compared to everyone else. He's a beast. I mean, he's. This is what he's gonna do. He's gonna bleed, fucking yeah. hard for his match. Yes, he's gonna fucking go into this fucking wrestling business. He's gonna he's gonna leave the wrestling business like he got into it, green and color. Dude, watch. We all thought it's gonna be, it's gonna be a yeah. it's gonna be a really good stiff match. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, 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 that's what the that's flight cool. attendant said. So, who's gonna be his opponent then, Sting? Oh God, oh, Jesus Christ! Because it was supposed to be Steamboat, but Sting can't do what Flair can, and I don't care what anyone says. He's nothing like Flair even now, so I hope not. But it could be Sting because it oh, would it make could. more sense because it was last his first match, match in WCW, WCW, last match in WCW. Yeah, and it was horrible. <laughs> well, the I last was... one was horrible because they were crying everywhere. I don't mind that. The match sucked. Shawn Michaels' match with him was honestly, even somebody retiring at 35 would be honored to have that kind of match. And look at it like, you got to be able to at least keep up with that. Ric Flair will. I don't know about his opponent. I want to see Ric Flair in a movie. Like, or maybe have a movie about his life. And then he's like, you know, the best part, I know. The, the best part is where he's doing helicopters in front of the stewardess. Hey, you want to see my baby arm? You want some peanuts? And ladies and gentlemen, this is the greatest showcaser as to the difference between monetize this when I was on there and monetize this with Garguts on there. Oh, you're and just a fun sucker. Not monetize this, you're yeah, just you're a fun sucker. God damn it, you look like Miami Lice right now with that shit. <laughs> what happened to your fucking hair? God Miami damn it. Lice. Yeah, Miami Lice. Don't hate God damn it. Wait, how is oh, the Miami well, Lice? Lice. Yeah. Why, because I have hair? hair? Well, I should shave my head? I should be de-loused? de No, you cut your hair. That's what I'm saying. This motherfucker said Miami Lice. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you just killed Josie, I know. <laughs> is this how you provide that great excitement there? I'm you know, today, I, it hasn't been a lot. You know, uh, <laughs> one time I found a, a penny on the ground. <laughs> we'll say that I'm proud. And of what, bitch? I got more pennies than you, right? Here. <laughs> I know all the same celebrities you know. No, my Metallica opened for me in '84. <laughs> Oh, man, man, I wish I knew where that came from, but that's one. Jesse's like, "Oh, the show's so boring. I'm gonna walk no, around for two hours." Right. I'm proud of it, mm -hmm. though. The time Drew was here and everything, I'm proud as fuck that we kept this thing alive because now here we are today. Right. But it doesn't mean it was fun. It doesn't mean it had chemistry. It was a lot of work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like bringing, but like bringing in the groceries. I'm but very you know proud. Uh, Dude, you fucking he, popped the shit out of those fucking bottles of Pepsi yesterday. What? That wasn't Pepsi. That was okay. Oh, what's it? Oh, Fuck your okay. baking soda and your tomatoes. You threw tomatoes across oh, the street when homeless people no, need food. I did after I realized that uh, those aren't going to work. So I gave him the coyotes. <laughs> dude, you, you fucking whoo, like the way you threw them. It's so funny, dude. It's awesome, actually. I yeah, showed that to Leah. <laughs> Fuck these tomatoes. Dude, I, I showed that clip to Leah like seven times. I was like, watch him throw this bag. Fucking <laughs> woo. <laughs> he fucking just throws it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Leah was dying, man. I was like, look at the watch. Oh, this. Okay. Woo. <laughs> oh! Yeah, she couldn't believe it. She's like, oh, my God. Tomatoes are like $8 right now. <laughs> the fuck is he doing? Is that any sense? <laughs> that's the best anger management cheapest you'll ever find right there thanks biden i like the what, tomatoes no three dollars a tomato uh, who said that roast uh, the other the cola jesus yeah. christ Dude. okay yes for you yes you can't you just of course have you played any videos of that cunt uh the secretary uh white house secretary and how she just every time she's asked oh. a, well i can't really answer that or i can't really there's a Dude. compilation of it well, you know what I find funny about her well, is her. the 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 woman that was in there before, although she also was a liar and everything, 
She the was Phoenix Ginger, the yeah, one that looked like she needed fucking uh, iron Sucky. pearls. Yes, she she was despicable, but she at least like is somewhat smart. Do you know what I'm saying? Like she was despicable, but she was qualified, even though that like somewhat. No. This person. Oh, oh, let's just circle back there later. Let's just circle back. Oh yeah. shit. Yeah. Okay. None maybe. Maybe not. Qualified. It's not that she's qualified, but it's that she handles the. <laughs> She handles being a bullshitter better. The other girl just falls apart. Like it's just dead on. Okay, like yeah, okay, you're I'll an accept idiot. that. Yes. Yeah. Like she, can she was the, the lies better. Yes. Like yeah. like you know like it's okay. You're lying, but like you're good at it. Kind of like a little bit. Like mm-hmm. you're like te- like oh yeah. Well you know we'll circle back to that and find out. But you said you would find out last week. Well. Todd, we didn't have that meeting yet, so when we have the meeting, then we'll circle back again. Okay, on to the next thing. And you're like, you're full of shit. But the new girl would be like, well, no, we didn't uh, say that because uh, the treaty would have been, you know, well, I'm looking in for my information here, and you know what? I'll have to get back to you. Let me get back to you. Yeah, I'll get, oh, back, I'll to get back to you. I'll get back to you. Oh, you don't know what the fuck you're mm-hmm. talking about, and you can't even look, you can't even read the shit that's written for you in the fucking book. It's all fucking there somewhere. She can't find the pages. She's looking for a carpet to munch on, but she can't find it. So she's just fucking, no, I don't know anything. Yeah, I was hired because I'm a lesbian minority. That is why you were hired. I mean, at least Red you know what? Had... At this point, Hunter Biden would be a better fucking press secretary than her. Actually, that might be hilarious. <laughs> like, thank you. Oh, fucking are... awesome, dude. I fucking love that shit. He'd come out. <laughs> He'd be like, you bitches can't touch me. Now, who's got a, qu- a question for me? I mean, the president. What was that? What do you no, guys? I... What do you guys want to know? I thought he was fucking enjoyable to listen to. <laughs> like, I feel like he should have ran. <laughs> yeah. Well, except I for feel the- like I feel like Andrew Dice Clay can run. It, oh run God! If shit. we could, if yes, we could- dude. He'd be like, "Hey, you, fuck off, fuck you, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. I'm gonna fuck you <laughs> later." Here's my number. Uh, dude, Mr- Andrew Dice Clay for fucking secretary. Let's do this, Mr. Andrew uh, Dice Clay. How are you gonna handle this situation with Russia? Hey, I tell you how I'm gonna handle it. Fuck off. All right. What? <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. No, but Hunter would be great if we could clear if we as long as we can clear him of being a pedo. So if we can clear him of like no underage sex. Right. But it's so that's why you wouldn't you really want to you don't want to be entertained by a guy who had sex with kids. So if you could clarify that he never did and prove it and be like, nope, he really didn't, even though he's got weird no, stuff going on. All of your ones identified as uh, legal adults. And then, like, <laughs> oh, no. Brave and brave and what's the word? Brave and um, oh yeah, they're bra- brave and powerful. Yeah. Or no, no, it's uh, emancipated sex. I don't know. Strong and brave. <laughs> yeah, oh. you know what I'm saying. It's yeah, just, yeah. yeah, dude. It's okay, the, okay, so he's got something to say. Just keep his dick out of kids from here on out. There you go. <laughs> well, as long as I can sniff those kids, then we're all good. See, we <laughs> thought we were in trouble with Clinton, like because oh, he, he came on a dress. Oh my god. <laughs> This is nothing. I mean, dude, I'll take Clinton in a second. Come all over women's dresses oh, everywhere. Like, yeah. Now we got to worry about kid He's pictures. Also rapist. So, I mean, that's well, not yeah, well fuck, dude, at least, I mean, uh, guys yeah, are all right. lines, but they're all fucking assholes and fucking deplorable. Yeah, he's a, he's a murderer. Remember, remember Norm Macdonald on The View and they couldn't deal with him? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> what? He's like, what? Oh, the, it's a murderer. He murdered a nine year old. He's a murderer. <laughs> You can't say that, Norm. What? You don't know this? Everybody knows this. Like, it's like, he murdered that, that, that secretary guy, you know? Oh, my God, dude. Dude, and that. And then the phone rings on the fucking view, and he's like, hold on. Uh, you're going to. This is funny, but your producer put me up to this. And I was like, what the <laughs> yeah. fuck is Bill's this? Bill's not that. Dude? His wife puts their pussies in a blender when they're dead and from the road. That's why she's even oh, alive. God. You know what makes me laugh about Norm McDonald was when somebody else either made a joke, said something funny, or like really came at him on something. He did this like tick where he go like, oh, like he would like laugh like <laughs> like as he was trying not to laugh but he was laughing. Like they were like, Norm, you're gonna get us. Like you can't say that. What? Yeah, he, he killed a guy. And then they're like, you can't say that. I'll slap you in the face if you say that again. Oh, like <laughs> like he did this like laugh. Listen, ready? Here's a little example of it. This is so great. What do you think of this whole? Oh, here it is. Question. Oh. Oh, yeah. we get the, see, I, I don't. I think we should get the homicide out of the White House and get like a 
a, a fresh start, because we don't want any more murderers. I no, think we, we should just go on to the next question. Oh. Who are the murderers? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Clinton, he murdered a guy. Yeah, you know, we're not allowed, no, to, you're not no, allowed um, to put out no, um, accusations without that. That's a little Charlie. too far. That's the way it does let's, let's just go on to the next question. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is yeah. not my week. What can I tell you? <laughs> Ew. Oh, it's not Phone mine off. either, and I'm being very nice, okay? <laughs> Be a good boy. <laughs> now, Norm. Do you ever hear that? No. Uh, Listen, we don't need to want to get into this, this, and I don't want to hear it, and this is not the place to make those accusations. And you're supposed to be funny. Yeah. Let's get on to it. Exactly. You're, you're supposed it to would be, be funny if these bitches want fucking fuck everything. Yeah, that's what he's thinking. Dude. Dude. Whoopi Goldberg and Joy Behar are both still gangster if they weren't worried about getting fired and shit or whatever, ruining their career. Those two, if you catch them in the right moment, like they're still, they, dude, they, I, it's sad. No, they were, you know, they should, would have fucking Royce still like been the worst amazing. one. They're the worst people. Joe, the one you're talking about, not Whoopi. Dude, the other but thing. that's the only one that has respect amongst like the most badass comedians, like George Carr, whoever the, the raunchiest, they got respect for her to this day. Cause they know, She's just trying to keep a job, but she's she could fucking murder these people, tell the truth, and have great jokes. But she well, doesn't because she's keeping a job, and it's a shame. Well, she's keeping a job because she's not funny anymore. I think it's because she's I mean, saying the- she's she's like saying whites are all racists and stuff like that. What are you? No, I, I'm not. I dude, I don't even listen to that shit. Oh, I that was that uh, yeah. girl that did the. Um... What was it at the um, at the committee recently where she was questioning the. Uh... The committee member, oh, where he was asking her about women and yeah, what's no. a woman, and then she was like, "Oh, well, you know, don't you guys remember that?" Don't yeah, yeah, it was like, "What's a woman?" That was the the Supreme Court lady. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, dude, I'm a sucker for people's potential. Doesn't mean they'll ever live up to it. All she should have said was vagina. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, instead, she said, "I'm not a, I'm not." You a had biologist. such a great contribution to this. Gargets. I would love to be talking to Rostafa about you know intellectual things, but no, you know what well, you're. I mean, really I, 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 I cut to so the point. Much. I cut so to the much. point. Hey, next time you fucking talk to me, take off your fucking bitch's glasses, dude. <laughs> Actually, I mean, I, I love you, Gar. No, your gimmick is like never getting okay. Like, and now you what? just got, and then he just got worked. You got worked. You just did oh, a you Hulk got, Hogan. I got that worked? was a fucking that was a, that was a Kevin Nash Hulk uh, Hogan moment. Okay, but oh hold on, God. you're the faggot that asked for it, so here you got it. Okay, oh, still looking better than I don't, you. I don't. Still not a mestizo. Still not a half breed. Still not illegal. I don't what have. You got? What you got? Bro, bro. What you, you got? You're more illegal than I am. You've been kicked out of three. You've been kicked out of two countries. And you're fucking up having great discussions. Hey, well that's right. Because y'all can. Hey, this is the first time you've wow. actually cut to the chase, dude. Damn, finally. Dude, you, damn, this is the first time you've actually cut to the you. chase. Hell yeah. You no, know what, what, no. You know what I've said about you? You know what I said oh about God, you? You know what I said about you? This guy. You know what I said about you? Keep talking, whatever. Nothing. I'm going to read the chat. Nothing. I'm going to ignore you. I'm going to have a smoke. And exactly. I've never said. Well, the thing is, I've never said anything about you. So for you to have this fucking it's much fuck. You're fucking boring as shit. You're ruining this. All right. Awesome. Awesome. That's why you fucking left for three years. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You fucking left for three years. You And Joe asked for that. And Joe asked for back. So how about that? Bro, so, I'm so, blah, blah, champion, blah, blah, and I blah, and I still get blah, beat. Blah, blah, blah. There you go. There you go. There you go. I don't care no, what you have no, to say, bro. I never did. I never did. An illegal who is yeah. low, oh, low, low, okay. So, so, so hey, 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 uh, hey. So, 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 so try and prove it, bro. You're more illegal than I am. You've been kicked out of two other countries. That's why you're fucking in Canada now. How am I? First of all, oh. how am I illegal? And second of all, how am I kicked out of Aren't countries? You? What are you talking well, about? Well, I mean, why'd you move three countries to three? Why? Oh, no, why but you... that's not being kicked out. Are you uh, that yeah, stupid? Yeah, yeah. No, that's you running from the fucking Joe, goddamn God, CIA. Man, this, is, this guy really ATF, really, really, the this guy fucking really goddamn shit. Honestly, if we go back to the, the let, equation that second. made the uh, monetize this great, no, dude, honestly, let, you, guys you would are certainly not have it. Let me tell you something. I will tell you something. Gargut's only said a couple words, and you guys jumped on him. Uh, but everybody else said a whole bunch of stuff. He said a couple words, and you guys jumped he on. He said him. a whole bunch of nothing, and just keeps talking. It's yeah, fucking but, annoying. It's just like dude, you don't like you don't like have to you don't like having conversations or what? Dude? I we, we me and Rostov are having some great conversations. 
Hell and you're yeah. like, uh, it's like, dude, it's fucking <laughs> okay, boring, yeah. man. Yeah. Why did yeah. you? So, so is your fucking, fucking, I don't know. Okay, you know what, dude? Something. So is your life, dude. And then I'm again, you, you go straight to ad hominems. It just goes to show that you can't handle ah, it. Hey. Oh <laughs> I'll yeah, add a hominem in your face. I don't even attend post secretary. I don't even know what you're talking about. I got my GED at the, you know, the the corner store there. I look, will hum and I'm on your face at, if you at, want the, at the El Paso. Hey, I never, I never, I've never I known a fucking debate, guy that's done so many shows nice on me and likes to fun up. suck everything out of everything. But you know, hey, I'm glad I gave you content, bro, really? for about a year. Now you're here. So I you never can shut the you. fuck up, you fucking queer. Uh, no, no, you get Miami Lice, motherfucker. Take off if, your fucking uh, white fucking to be panties, here, well, too. How about that? How about this that? is bullshit. Again, I don't give a fuck I'm what you got to say. So if you want to fucking and keep again, going, you can keep you. going. But if you want to fucking you, be a little bitch like you're doing right now, because I can see your weakness and you're proving what that you're man. weak, then there you go, bro. Fuck you. You're fucking intimidated by me, and that's why you got to talk shit every time I got to say something. Look how disgusting you Oh, there you go. You're disgusting as fuck, dude. Look at your shit, dude. You have no fucking goddamn say right now, dude. Shut the fuck up. You left. You left, bro, and you came back. Yeah, and then I got asked back. I don't give a fuck what you got to say. I got back. So when you ask me to do fucking like a black girl, I don't give a fuck what you got to say. You want to be be annoying? Bro, I can give you a fucking here. real show fucking with real. you being it. There you go. You know, a fucking I, I, sorry, Joe. I know oh, I had to uh, take an effort here. You're going to be amazing together. Just wait. I promise. See, I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm actually done. I really oh, never yeah, said yeah, anything. Yeah. I've never and said anything bad done, about this guy, um, but this guy's got to ever say bad about me. You know, but I will get fucking in trouble. But I will, I will face fucking my, do uh, this shit right now, bro. You want uh, the hood on uh, hood shit right now, bitch? The voiceless yeah. one. But you don't, you don't, you know, you know, you know. I bet you're fucking. You're the white guy that gets robbed every fucking five days from a fucking hood ass motherfucker, huh? so. I bet you don't fucking even carry a knife. You don't carry anything but a fucking egg. Hey, because so you're a white guy that's gonna shoot down the next. You can school. be uh, here. Let me, let me, let me. Uh, there you go. Care. Miami hey, Lights fucking shooting like, down the next school. Just a flag. You know, like, hey, bro, it's like you suck, man. Like, let me drink this uh, fake drunk here. I'm not even drunk. I opened up for Metallica and then they opened up for me. But like, you know, let me drink more. Yeah, I'm so drunk here, dude. Like, I'm so drunk. I'm even drunker than Joe. Like, whoa, dude. Like, 150 proof. Like, whoa. Let me rub my hands together and like just. Touch my face. And yeah. let me shut <laughs> you the fuck up, please. God damn. Actually good tonight. I just was, want to mention that. Well, you good. Want, I enjoyed copy that. Copy those settings down. Draw on your analog thing with a highlighter, whatever. But make sure that you stay with these settings because God damn it. Yeah, uh, your mic like settings are great. It's on seven. I think it sounds seven. perfect right now. This is the perfect <laughs> audio level. <laughs> Oh God man, that was. Dude, you know what? You know what? You know. You know what? The only thing I'm I'm jealous about, well, fucking uh, 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 fucking Dave. You don't fucking have white hair like. So I uh, did. did we unfortunately run thing. out That's of the timer? Thing. You don't That's got white hair. Uh, well, oh, I, no, we got, I, I I had to let that continue, and I knew there was a dono coming, so here it is. You raised a piece of shit. Why did they pull Vince McMahon's documentary? I think they pulled what? Vince uh, Netflix. Yeah, Netflix. Well, we don't know if they really pulled it, but we do know they delayed it. It's not because it's done. The production on Vince McMahon's documentary is done. We just don't know. Netflix? Which means that they might just be waiting for, you know, things to occur where they're just going to like update that. <laughs> yeah. that it's very possible. Yes. Or make true. it like a second parter and like yeah, shoot it. I like, do. again, like the Tiger King. What's as soon as name? shit came out, they're like, we got to get this Luke out. Game. Yes. If only they did that with the Page movie, the ending would have been a cum shot. <laughs> hey, the ghost from the coast. 1999. That's going to add some time to the board. Hey, let's let's add the minutes up a little bit, guys. Let's do everybody a favor. You guys have been donating all night long. Let's make four minutes, five bucks now. So I'll give you that. So uh, 4, 8, 12, 16 plus 6. I'm terrible at school and math, but I'll do 25 minutes and make it 25 even and give you a little extra. Thank you guys for that. Ghost from the Coast, thank you so much, man. You guys have been really nice tonight. I really appreciate that. Obviously, big thanks to today for coming here. And, um, you know, we talked You're earlier, but I also give credit to Garguts because quite honestly, like it's a shock. You know, nobody knew Dave that you were going to be here. Hell, I didn't really know you were going to be here hundred percent, but me and you had spoke, um, and it looked like the right time and the right thing. 
but I give credit to people like you know who are shocked that you're here. You know, you can't. I do. I wasn't want... shocked. Dude, if you were talking, I wasn't, I wasn't shocked. shocked no, I mean, no, I. Why? Listen, I'm shocked. I'm still <laughs> shocked that he's here, even though I knew he was coming. Bro, bro, this you place is a revolving door. You know that. Opened. But uh, yeah, but yeah, knew. but you know what though, what Gargutz, you have Gargutz, you have nothing to be upset about. Like, you should be shocked because it's like, oh, you know what I mean, Allison. Thank you. No, I, I'm, I'm telling thank you, you, I'm fucking ready to adapt at any moment, bro. Gargutz, I know you're a good. I listen. I love you. I, I do. I really do, man. I really do. I'm ready to adapt. <laughs> and I think Dave. Yeah, I Dave, I think that you're, you know, don't. I just don't want you. I want you to realize nobody should get defensive. Because nothing means, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I don't there's plenty of room. Anyway. Dude, you're looking at the six best fucking co-hosts together in chemistry that you're going to find in a long time. So just hold on tight. This is good shit here. Well, Gar listen, El Gargutz, what, I don't know why you sent me this. You don't have to send me clips of what Dave said about me to Gargutz. Wait, wait, oh, wait, thought, wait, wait. Wait, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? I got a eight-hour video on Joe. I'm gonna. So, you know what? I'm gonna. He's got an eight-hour video. On <laughs> I've ever seen you make, and I've never seen ben, you make. It. Hey, hey, how many donations ever. you made on that? Do I get a cut of that? Guess what? Bro, this, don't this worry about it. Just, I'm dude, dude, calm the fuck down, huh? Gargutz, you relax. Stop the sending me these clips to Gargutz, though. I don't care. Okay? Yeah, Look at knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> Look at David. <laughs> Wait, how do, how do I do Joe, Dave Joe, we, uh, <laughs> You know, listen to this. <laughs> how do you do know <laughs> <laughs> the reason we love you is because you're the opposite of those goddamn clips. So don't you start. I'm kidding. Them out. He, he didn't send me any, Jesse. I'm just kidding. I'm joking. Okay, well, fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> I like this bit better. <laughs> yeah, we feel like PMB too. <laughs> I'm actually. Hey, I'm I sending him shit know. right now. You know what, Jesse? I love you. <laughs> Let me suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, dude, you got your, uh, what's his name? Like, uh, Luis Money's got the best Gargut's laugh ever. It doesn't even sound like him, but it's. Yeah, the, Luis Money goes. But there are some people Luis Money are goes. very good out there, so. Luis Money goes. Hats off. Her, 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 her. <laughs> Don't try and do your. No, I could do. I could try to do this. Like, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because Dave, Dave's no, got a fucking it. very unique laugh too. I want to hear Dave's laugh more. He's got a of him. I don't know what does. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love self-deprecating humor so much. I made a video of my 26 different classified uh, laughs. Wow. I, made, I might have wow. more. I don't know. But uh, yeah, yes. you can check love that out. It. And uh, I remember when I was still working with Joe, where um, I enticed him to uh, play that uh, on a video. And he went through every single one. And I even provided a nice description for each. So it was, oh, a, wow. it was a, no. ca a cackle, a chuckle, a laugh. Somebody still got that final it Fearless. was pretty damn funny. Yeah. I got to tell you something. D uh, Sith Negan just sent me a clip of Dave Rose. Let's hear it. Unidentified. So did El Camino. What's that blue liquid in the spray bottle that's unidentified on the far far right area? Like I use that on fluid, the most likely. I, no, he sprays that on the weed that he sells to the local kids. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that's the clip. Is that what it is? <laughs> it only but a goodie. Thank you. No, that was from tonight. I, oh, I said something hey, after, like, uh, I'll uh, sell it to the kids or something like that. I can't remember what, yeah. what it was that I said, but... Uh, yeah, you said he's going to spray he, that on the weed he sells to the kids or something. I said something, hey, like, I said, it. like, oh, well, it's worth it or, you know, something like that, you know. Dude, dude weed dealers <laughs> do that all the time, trust Stop me. Pointed it out. He's like, what? You say you do that to the kids? <laughs> oh, my God. It was right after that. It was right after that point. It's all good. Um, I think um, I, I like every I like everybody here. It's uncomfortable. I like a good fight because it ends and it's over. Right. Me and Dave have had we had a great fight over Jesse once. It I was, tell you, man. I'm really, I'm really fucking deal with the heat with this. Uh, and I'm again staying on camera, which I don't usually do. But again, sometimes uh -oh. you people need to see the beauty that is Dave Rose. But yeah, it is uh, quite hot. Leah, Leah enjoyed your boxers earlier. Dude, you're going to love Gargut, by the way, dude. I know he's annoying right now, and that's not going to change. He's going to get more annoying, but you're going to love him. He's well, one of the great. I never did. And he's, I know, I know. He, I'm going to have to make a stipulation in any contract I make with Joe that uh, any show that I'm on, he won't be on, oh. and vice versa. Oh. So he come. can have whatever show he wants. If I you ever know. steered you wrong, come on. You guys but are again, come on. Come on. Final mm -hmm. Frontier News is where people want to see me. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. I, oh, no, God, yes. Mm -hmm. Shit, yeah. 
Let's do that. Oh, yeah. yeah, we don't oh, want yeah. Gargutz there. So again, he oh, can have oh, wow. he can have Friday nights. He can have Saturday nights. That's fine. Oh, I'm, I'm, I am Rose, literally I am literally here working for Fridays that and is, Saturdays. No, I wasn't even thinking of Front of Frontier. I kind of mean everything else. No, dude, no, dude yeah. you, you, bro, come on. Yeah, Dave can come on the first time. If you want me to do exactly what I did last time and get people pissed off. Sure. Bro, <laughs> of if course you think I'm, that, if you Jesse. think I'm of getting pissed if you think I'm getting pissed with this bullshit, come on. No, you got I'm another not. thing dude, bro, come on. You have nothing I have nothing bad about to say about you. Never, ever. Okay. So but the thing is you have no something bad to say about oh, me. Yeah. yeah, no conversation because you can't round me up, but I could say is hey. Target's talk still talking to, to himself. Me. Of course he is. Dude, get, give it nine years. He'll talk about this shit every night for a week. It's called nostalgia. He'll love it. But, oh, come on. Laugh, yeah. Gargus. Gar he, he doesn't realize he's muted, himself. though, which is the funniest oh. thing. So oh. he's been talking to himself for quite some time now. I am not oh. muted. <laughs> I can see my fucking goddamn thing. No, no and Dave, muted. Dave you muted you, shit. so he he can't hear you. Oh, oh, that's, oh that's fucking funny because oh. I muted him. He's still playing? Okay. Then how can you hear him? I didn't oh, realize I didn't have the power. Hey, to so do that. Dave, how does it feel oh, to be a fucking okay, so goddamn uh, I just a tool? Him. Huh? A tool of fucking YouTube, huh? How does it feel to fucking do that bullshit? How does it feel That's to fucking be always worthless? Okay. Wow. Damn, Dave. Yeah, your really life, close. man. How does it there. feel to fucking have no content to talk about except fucking, you know, when when I take, when I, when I see a sentence, I, I tell you straight up. How I fucking feel. I go, bitch, you're a bitch. Fuck you. But you go, hold on. Let me say this. Mm. Um, the way the context of goes, I have to talk like ninety thousand fucking words before I get to my fucking goddamn point. Gar you mean elaborate? Real. You mean Gar to elaborate awesome, and provide right? context? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. You're a fan. If I can understand a species like yourself, a half breed, uh, wouldn't understand he is such a, fan. a thing. But, He's a fan. Uh, you know. He's a fan of me. <laughs> He fucking watches me oh, every day. Fan just you, like I'm a not lot subscribed of other people to you. Do. I'm but, not uh, interested you know, in Miami you. Miami Lice over here. Da, 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 da. It oh, sounds like you might be a fan of him. Fought like this, nobody get divorced. It's great. Yeah. Good shit. This is how me and Leah fight, and we fuck after it. That's why you're still around, goddamn. Yeah, but, that's, but, that's but, right. but come on, Joe. You understand, I like, what I offered to you when it came to monetize this in its golden age compared to what this guy is trying to offer right now. There's no comparison. And on top but, uh, of that, you know, like, I'd rather fucking he just, fuck you with he my wants knife. To talk to my dick. And Bleed on my knife, not on my dick, Meanwhile, bitch. You want to bring me back onto Final Frontier News. And what That's is he good me. for? Just his fucking little random shows and his little Don't fucking you? appearances here. But again, Aquí estoy, pinche you know, pocho. Final Frontier News. You fucking you illegal. Know, have the, intellect, the fucking wetness of wetbacks right here. Again, Aquí estoy. <laughs> It's you're inside, dude. You yeah, because he fucking voice. went through three countries sweating his fucking wet back over, and he's fucking still sweating but, right but now. You're the, but you're the illegal. <laughs> you're the illegal. My families did wow. it legally, wow. but you're illegal. So again, and you're a half breed. As simple as that. You're a half breed. I didn't even hear what he said, but he looked like he's he looks like he's fucking hey, he looks like that, he's, uh, he looks like that gonna fucking dude is gonna some of the worst coke, coke in my life. But um again, Joe, obviously if we're gonna be doing front oh and frontier God. news, this hey, faggot doesn't belong there. The best if you want to do actually a good show a like way. we used to do back in the day when it comes the to only like this, ones um you know, obviously this fuck is not gonna be there. But it's you know, again, I don't have a problem with him being on your show, you know, at any point, but I certainly won't be uh Volunteering to be there. There will be two there's things. No there, the there's Final two. Frontier. There's two things going on. There's Final Frontier, which will yes, that will be. You know, I want different people on different things because <laughs> we need that. And I also believe Jesse that Leah, Leah has agreed to a podcast with me, you, and her. So, oh my gosh, that'd be great. Yes. I told her you wanted to jerk off to her for the last like two uh, weeks. Who doesn't? I want to fucking do more than that. I want to have a good time on a show. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. thank you. What? Well, she what? no. Leah didn't want to be there if Dave was there, though. Oh, that's I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just said that, yeah. made that up, dude. Hey, it's okay. She has felt the same way about me a thousand times. It's no, she does. I don't think she really has a problem. No, with no. That. Whenever I've heard her say, I've heard her say to Jesse, like, "How could you let him back in?" Same thing about me, actually. Yeah. 
Probably, but you oh, know what? Dude, she's I got a, said that about a lot of people. Yeah, but she's got a That's point. Okay. You know what I mean? She's a. <laughs> Oh, man, and I'll I'll always be on. The you side can't of that. hate on That's someone. Your, you wife, can't... your wife's more paranoid than I you mean, are. No, she's, she's not. She's are you seriously just said that? What are you talking about? No, she honestly probably. Come on, man. She thought Trump was gonna like come out from underneath the bed and rape her. I mean, like, come on. No, she, was, like, she didn't. You know, that, uh, Liberal. No, I think that. my wife protects me just like Garguts protects. Got a poster of AOC on your wall. Come on, man. Dude, when the minute no. she realized that. I care about her just as much as she does. She just, yes. she does, I don't even think she'd get uh, upset if him and I fucking got pissed at each other now because she'd be like, you fucking queers will get over it. Yeah. Yeah, she don't care. I told her to come on the show. Crazy, I told her to come know? on the show tonight. I said, why don't you come on the show tonight? I said to her. Oh. She's probably. Yeah. Then, I said, why don't you get off the that? video games with, with fucking whoever and get the fuck over here? That'd be dope. Wait, what kind of show? Do you have a name? Like, are we doing a whole different kind of. What are we doing? What do you mean? Oh, me, you, and oh, Leah. The show, like, do you guys have an idea or what we're? I want Leah. I want Leah to come on like a sort of like an after dark type of thing or something, you know? Or are okay. you? Well, okay. So what happened was I put a poll out on Patreon, and I said, "What would you mm -hmm. like?" And I put like five shows out there, and one of them was me and Leah's podcast. So, would you want that, or you want me mm -hmm. and Jesse after dark? And me and Leah's one, and Jesse and me after dark was like close second. So I said, "All right." Sure, well, yeah. I said, "Hey." I said, Leah, so everybody wants me, you, and me, you, and then also me and Jesse. I don't know which one to do. And she goes, well, why don't me, you, and Jesse just do a podcast then? And I went, well, okay. Yeah. I do that. So, so. so this is me fucking stepping up, bitch. I'm down to do one of these motherfuckers. And I don't want to fucking do the same old shit that we fucking do here where we're just fucking trying to do jokes and shit. Hey, hey, hey. I want to do something. I yeah, want to know. Yeah, yeah. The thing, the thing, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, you want me to fucking step up, motherfucker? I'm down. Yeah, I meant. To, yeah, you could start by plugging your channel. Start with that. What no, the fuck? See that what? Shit, fuck my channel. Wait a fuck wait a my second. Second. channel. Fuck Hold my on. channel. Dude. Garguts. Wait, Garguts. I don't. I'm not computing. doing that shit. Let me tell you something, Jesse. Jesse, what? So wait a minute. I gotta call you out, Jesse, because this is horseshit. Love you, man. You guys weren't even here for the show the other day. You said the show was shitty yesterday, and you said no, Garguts. Wait a minute. 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 You wait a minute. I want you to be quiet. No, no. You shut up. You said you wanted Garguts to to step up, but all you ever do when you come on my show now is go plug your show, plug your. That's all you ever do. You come on, you walk around the room for three hours, and then you go, let's plug the show. But you're not actually on this show. But you want him to step up. He's fine. Garguts does great on this show. He doesn't need to step up. You need to step up. I've already stepped up. Oh, I think I think, uh -huh. I think, I think uh -huh. Dave, you Dave need to connection. fucking step up. No, you're all you're all you Joe, you are fucking adorable. From here on out, I'm still waiting for him to do anything. I don't give a fuck Look, what he what he does. He's well, great on the don't, show. Don't, bro. Piss away another good friend. I don't care. You're I'm the good. one bringing this up and acting weird and being like, Garbage, um, you need to yeah, step up. What do you mean he needs to step up? It's all for betterment. What are you talking about? Like, upset. what do you mean he needs to step up? He doesn't need to step oh up. Oh, my God. If you were asked for $1,000 in the last fucking six months by the guy, you'd want him to get his shit together, too. Oh, that's what Damn. you mean. Damn. You mean step up in his, uh, step up in his own life. You yeah, no, he wants me to. He wants me to step up in the in fucking owning this shit over here. Oh so my god, it's so vague and weird. You guys are weird. This is weird. Last night was normal. This is weird. Other than Dave being here, that's that's kind of weird yeah. too. But hey, what's up, guys? Uh -huh. What are you doing? Jesus I, I kind of like it though. I don't know. Like I, you got to understand, from my perspective, he's like, you need to step up, to Garguts, and like I'm like, what is he? What's he no, talking no, no, about? No, no, no. That, that, no, I think what he is, he's being he's being big brother right now. So he's like. Hey, bro, I see potential. You need to do something. And I try to do it. But the thing is that, you know, and, you know, look, Dave's looking at me like I'm a jackass. But, no, I'm I'm telling you, uh, literally, what it is, is, you know, I fucking, I get the, the spillover. So the spillover, everybody's already fucking trashed. Everybody's already fucking being weird and shit. So it's like I never can fucking pull the, pull the show together. So you know what I need to step up doing? I need to step up and fucking getting people out. And out, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want a fucking conversation, yeah, and I don't want to. I, I can't. Right? I can't have a conversation if, if like, every three seconds I'm getting interrupted mm. by something new. So I just want to throw this. I want to throw this out here from what I've heard. So he's, he is right. He what is I've right heard tonight right. is, every time you say something, somebody here tells you that you suck. Then. Last night was you guys came on the show, but you came on like halfway through or two hours into the show, yeah, was, which is okay because you're working. It's not a big deal. 
But yeah. my point is like, and then it's like, get your stuff together about your show and then letting people on and whatever. That's it's just, it's I was just like, I don't, that's over. why I don't. That's why I don't do that shit. That's why I'm just like, dude. I just, I just got here. I'm but not gonna fucking all, if, but if all that ever, know, but people but know half of the half of what Jesse's half of what Jesse says on my show now is just yelling at you about do about something about you. It's so weird, like, and it's been going on for weeks now. Other people have mentioned it. They're like, "What's up with?" And I'm like, "I don't know." And now tonight, he really went in on it. Like, it was very strange. Like, I just found that bizarre. Anyway. I don't care. None of this is interesting to me. I want to go back to doing a show where we're talking not, like normal people. Me either. All, all I, know I don't blame I know you, though. I, I think you were dragged into it by everybody. Yeah. So, damn. But yes. I just want, I just want to continue doing something. Please. Can we go? Move okay, on. Dave. Uh, say, thank uh, God. Next question. Next question. What do, and then Sorry. Jesse left, too. Like, fucking, what is wrong with everybody? Uh, Dave, you have uh, destroyed everybody tonight. Is I blaming this on you somehow? Uh, it's easy to do, so you know, might as well. Might as well just blame yeah, Dave. What, Dave was blaming me on everything too, so. Well, <laughs> you you good. always make it about you, so of course, let's do that. <laughs> yes, blame it on me. Blame it on me, Dave. I'm just, uh, you Gargut, you're a sweetheart. you not always. Sometimes you Gargut, you're wonderful. Sometimes you're horrific, but you're a sweetheart nonetheless, uh, Dave. Um, yeah. no, what I meant earlier, going back to the not, to, I don't want to bore people with Star Trek real quick, but Strange New Worlds, pretty, it's it's the best of the new Star Trek. That's all I'll tell you. That's all I wanted to tell you earlier. I never got to tell you. Isn't it uh, second season now of nope. that series? There will be a second season. And oh, it, so it's still, so it just completed its first. It just, I thought there was a second already out. Yes, it just completed yeah. its first, and so Leah found it tolerable. She was like doesn't love it but she's like she watched one to ten she tapped out on picard after three episodes about of each season season one season by, one or two season two she tapped out like season episode three four or three she was like i'm done fuck Can't this is her. awful Clamp, I, I forced myself to have to watch that entire fucking series and it wasn't pleasant to be quite honest I thought, and I, I don't know, man. I'm telling you, I told people this because I was like, dude, if my wife does not oh like this. God, strange, world world? <laughs> strange World. Strange World. Strange New World. Thanks for coming Strange New out. World, Zach um, Guts. Are you watching the cartoon ones like Lower Decks or there's, um, mm -hmm. I think there's another one that's also animated. All right, so the Lower, lo lower Decks is funny. And if you just take it as a cartoon, it is a funny cartoon. My kids like it. But I, it's not really for kids, so like I, I was like, oh, I don't know if we can watch this. But it is kind of funny, and it's like Rick and Morty, I guess. It's like Rick and Morty, Star Trek, TNG era. It's kind of funny. Uh, the other one, though, is more like for littler kids. It's like Janeway is a computer. Smaller kids, yeah, it's not a word, really. Uh, it's not the right way to say it. But uh, it, uh, Janeway's like a computer hologram. For little kids, as per uh, Joe Biden. Yes. Sniffable. Yeah. Hey, I like little kids, pal. He would mm -hmm. he would say something like that. That creepy kid toucher, uh, Joe Biden, who I don't think will make it. Do you think he's going to make it to that next election? Uh, if they keep pumping him through full of cortisone, maybe. <laughs> there was a guy back in twenty. Oh, just imagine he, he's just going through the, like fucking people. Like I'm the next fucking motherfucker. Just start <laughs> sniffing ice cream next. Yeah. Well, they're making ice creams out of the billionaires. Have you seen that? So they should make a Joe Biden ice cream or something where you piss on it. Wait, wait, Actually, uh, it's funny that you say making stuff about it, uh, Joe Biden. Uh, Snoop Dogg made a strain called Sleepy Joe OG. <laughs> check it up. Pull it up. Pull but, it up. But he so likes But he voted no, for Biden. Him. Yeah, and now he's gotten the the regrets, but he's still cashing in on the fact that motherfucker is Sleepy Joe. So it says, like, I think that the tagline of the weed is like, you'll forget who the fuck you are or some shit like that. <laughs> so, no, like, yo, pull that shit up, dude. Show your right, audience. I'm, I'm going to find that. Literally, Snoop Dogg is offering this strain, and it's literally called Sleepy Joe Sleepy Dog. OG. And oh Snoop Dogg <laughs> is the one that's fucking putting this together. See, Snoop Dogg, I love Snoop Dogg, but he's so full of shit, bro. He's like, he's killing Trump. He used to be friends with him. He votes for Biden, but now he's making fun of him by making weed out of him. Like, what the fuck is Snoop Dogg? Dude. Hey, he's, um, 
always looking, I guess, for a good deal. Sleepy but, Joe uh, OG, where am I? <laughs> there you go. That's what it is. Where am I? That's the, I guess, the motto. <laughs> where am I, pal? <laughs> Where's my son? In a kid? In a kid? Oh, something wrong with those people. Uh, here, here's the other ice cream bars that I was talking about. Um, eat the rich. Elon Musk, Bill, mm -hmm. Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, and Jack Ma. I don't even know who that is. He's a uh, he's a Chinese billionaire who owns um, high. Oh. Fuck, it's it's their Google equivalent. I can't remember what it's well, called. Well, for a billion dollars, can he, he get the re can he get the rest of his face filled out? Because <laughs> this is something wrong here. Where's this guy's jaw? <laughs> That's to go with that head, bro. Dude, you paint this guy white, he looks like one of those fucking gray aliens. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, bro? His eyes are too close. They're going inside his head. His head's coming out like a pumpkin. He's got a chin of a baby, the teeth of a, of a midget, and the fucking the, the dimples of a used whore. Like, what That's the called a mongoloid. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I work in McDonald's. Mm. Uh, welcome you, to Costco. I love you. I love you. Why does I just realized Mark Zuckerberg looks like a female deer kinda and we all know how I feel about those things. Oh, you fucking doe. Yeah, but I'm not a, I don't find him attractive though. Dude, he looks creepy. Dude, Mark, Zucker Mark Zuckerberg He's looks like he ran into a fucking wall and that's how his face became. The guy is a fucking... He's an android. He is a literal android. Hmm. Yeah, look at his this fucking lips. Not human. He has no... He has no... Look, even, even fucking Dave's got lips. Look at the fucking Mark Zuckerberg. He has no lips. There's look a, at that this shit. Guy, this guy oh, makes Data look human. Yeah. Look, look at his oh, eyes. my God. Look, in look a, at his eyes, and you can tell there's something wrong with him. <laughs> well, I can show you even you, worse tweets. Do he was on Epstein's the... island, and he yeah. was like, his tweet was literally, J Joe, you can pull this up, mm. but he's like, watching the um, uh, removal of uh, adrenochrome from uh, young humans is an interesting thing, although it's not necessarily something that I enjoy, but the results are very fascinating. Like, the weirdest fucking shit that this Dude, guy he, fucking tweeted. He sounds and looks like he's a fucking test tube baby. Like he was born. No, he in said lab. tweets. There's like, I I love the consumption of meat. I can understand how humans can enjoy this too. He, this guy yeah. is not fucking human. <laughs> well, he's a yeah. he's an android. He is a you little know, you know, android. You know, and and it, I, I feel like that. yeah, and I feel like they did that because of um, what Facebook was before. Then, do you remember Facebook back in the day? Yeah. I mean, he, and he remember yeah, he's, he's married. He's married to a girl. Well, and, he, oh. and he stole it from his partners. That yes. That Facebook? Okay. So yes, that Facebook, the real Facebook. The, the it was just a book that was. It was uh, a, a college sign-in book, and, and it had a profile. Yeah. Yeah. In the nineties. Now, and so if you ever, if, if you ever, if you ever, they're willing watched, to tell me their own password. They yeah, uh, he watched, watched that movie. That. Dave, you remember movie, I went uh, to uh, I went to school with his wife, right? Yeah, with his wife. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, you did! Oh. Wow. So yeah. uh, you know you have an insect, uh, basically governing the uh, human android. So that makes yeah, sense. You, you know that's oh, that's yeah. the that's the start of a of a science fiction story. Uh, He's the reason why your channel doesn't get big. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> I was nice no. to her in high school, so she shouldn't hate me. She should help me, actually, probably. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Come on. We're yeah, Pr boy. Priscilla. Priscilla, it's me. Don't you remember the dumb kid in fucking social studies? I, I sat behind you in class. We never really I talked. I masturbated constantly. Oh, I rarely talked to you ever. You were nice, though. You were nice. Dave, I think you're uh, echoing. She was well. I'm yelling. He was uh, could be Dave though, but I, no, she was so nice that she married a robot. It's okay, dude. He really does. I don't know, man. These people look like in another reality. He's like a shooter or something. That's what he looks like. Let me go to this, uh, dude. You know the, I can't. Okay, so when they did that Facebook movie, I fucking hated that shit. You won't even remember what country you were in or what country is supposed to run. Oh, dude. What was it called? This the so social 
the social, social network. Yeah. network. Yes, I love that. that. Very, right? or, okay, so the director was very, really good, but the fucking everything around that whole thing was just bullshit. It's but, like it's too early to find this shit out right now. I enjoyed it. Like yeah, years. I want to try that uh, sleepy OG. Sleepy Joe. Who's Gargut's, Gargut's, Trent Reznor, remember yeah. he did the soundtrack, so I did. I like that too. You know what? You're right. Soundtrack, soundtrack of that and uh, Whiplash. Two good soundtracks. All right, Dave. Uh, here is the real clip that I was supposed to play right, earlier. Right I guess we clipped the wrong thing. Sith Negan, thank you. Let's check it out. He was smart. He would fill that uh, bottle, the, those spray bottles, with um, water, LSD, and just some food coloring, and then and some sugar. And then basically, some kids come by. They give you five bucks, and you just squirt in their mouth. And then you know, oh. just like get the entire neighborhood high that way, and uh, squirt in their mouth. Save some we're, money. We're just and then and some sugar. And then basically, some kids come by. They give you five bucks, and you just squirt in their mouth. You can hear me in the background. You can hear me in the background. Hey guys, you, you, cry, you guys, again, I, I'm the I'm the old guy here. I'm just talking about things that were normal back in my time. Maybe it was a little different. Well, obviously, it was a lot different in your time. But back yeah. in my day, that was perfectly normal. A stranger offering you LSD in a spray bottle? Of course right. you're going to fucking take that huh? shit. The next, again, you, you have to go home when the lights go on. On the street, so you know, obviously you're gonna need something to fucking keep you going. So yeah, let's all trip. Yeah, well, I mean, let's, let's, let's all get some mushrooms. Understand? The lights went off. The squares. <laughs> hey, honestly, honestly though, you were talking about psychedelics. What what was your um, um, stance on that? Because I really love psychedelics. Stats? Yeah, no, your 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 stance, your stance, like where you my stance you... on psychedelics. Yeah. Um, pro like I mean, <laughs> what would you like me to say about that no i heard i heard what you said about it earlier and i was like yes that's what i'm talking about like dmt fucking um i'd like to do DMT the at some point can you no you know what we really you've you never know, done it you've you know, never done it you never done it yet no what would be oh, really dude. good is if all of us you know, we could like create a show or or if we were too bad, if it's not like the 2017 JCS days where we could fund a show where we all for a week literally went and did DMT and documented it. And we did a whole filming and created like a two hour movie no, out no, of it. No, 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 no. Fuck that. Fuck that. It's called investing. And then you do a fucking we, we all film our fucking trips and then we edit it all together. That's what we do. I'd rather be live on a on a stream tripping. That's what I'm As saying. I've done in the past, oh. actually. I've uh, I've microdosed on streams, and yeah. I've had uh, were, were uh, they mushrooms? Gummies as well. Let's What's do that. that? Yeah. Were they mushrooms? It was like, it was uh, psilocybin in gummy form. No. Oh. <laughs> it was microdoses. It was okay. I mean, like, bro, you might as well handle. Be, I can might handle well my my mushrooms. You but, might as well um, be doing peyote. Because if you ever done peyote, God no, damn. I haven't. But I apparently would need to have somebody watch over me because I'll be yes. puking a lot, as well yes. as ayahuasca. Now I'd love to try ayahuasca just for the fact that uh, I want to see those elves that everyone keeps talking about. I mean, surprised that Jesse's left, but uh, he talked about that. Uh, Tyson talked about that, but apparently you do ayahuasca and you start or dmt and you see these oh, elves that i saw a just, group of people do ayahuasca and they were tripping the fuck out and i was like they were they were like you want one i was like no 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 i'm gonna do peyote but i but so this I is this is one of those things though when you do certain drugs like these which is great because you so a lot of times it helps you put your ego aside and you become a whole you know what i mean a, a better person yeah but because that's the good it. drugs i've done the dirty Oh, so you that's know, why, you that's know. why I've done DMT, dude. I, I wish you could do DMT, dude. I wish I ecstasy, could like coke. I mean, like MDMA, proper ecstasy, not the fucking MDMA. Bullshit. Oh, dude, best coke. Oh. Um, did you, did you speed. Take it in pill form, or did you but it that's pill? no. It's a, I fucking snorted that shit. Um, yeah, yeah, but same again, here. like you know, I did the dirty. Uh, shit, I, I never got access. Whoops. Keep this show going. No. Oh. Uh, Jersey oh. City boys. Oh my God, dude! I didn't even. Oh, oh my God! One Double second. Double time. Am I gonna have to time. sweat Double even more time. now? Yes, you're gonna have to sweat yeah. more, Dave. Four minutes. Uh. Wow. Wow. I haven't even put. I, I didn't really put the the 
the thing up, but we'll do it maybe next time. I don't know, next week. I'll do something where people will see if they want Final Frontier. Well, we're going to do Final Frontier, but people will see if people want the race debate, but that's a whole separate thing. People, are, I mean, I see it won in the poll, but people are going to have to pay to play on that one, I think. Yeah, most people don't even know a, what, a, where that even started, so it's right. just like, what's yeah. the point, you know? People would have to pay to play on say, that one. I'm going to say this. Uh, I'd like Final Frontier to come back. Well, we're going to do it. We're yeah. going to do it. Oh, yeah. That's going to happen. Good. But uh, the other thing will have to be uh, pay to play. Uh, thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, like, you know, come on. Oh, Drew Bar. Well, because you became a member, Drew Bar, I'll make it five minutes. Five minutes back on the clock. Guys, you want to keep this show going tonight? It's almost three in the morning, for Christ's sake, though. I will say I that. Damn, I look like it could be a months. fucking walking down the street in fucking Miami, Florida, you know? Mm -hmm. Miami Lights. Hey, Chiquita, come <laughs> here. <laughs> Someone, someone said you're keeping. You're like the Miami Bob Saget. <laughs> it's nothing, Holy officer. Shit. It's just uh, it's a little shit. cake on my nose. It's nothing big. All he's Here's, gotta uh, do fifty dollars. You know, have fun all, tonight. All, all he's got to do is fucking die mysteriously, and there you go. Oh, <laughs> you mean fake my death? Yeah. Oh, you know what? You're right on that shit because I fucking said the same goddamn thing. So this motherfucker had what against him? Mm -hmm. I can't believe Jesse left. I can't. I don't even know what happened. Like he, he flipped out. Believable, Kane. Kane, Kane. Jesse, King. Jesse will leave uh, all day, every day. But uh, it's true. Get ready for that fucking. Get ready for that fucking message coming back. Oh, message I, from I, him. Yeah, and he's gonna be like, I don't want your belt, Joe. Here. Fuck yeah, all no. the audience. You know, yeah, we'll no, get a we'll, we'll get a big message like you know like. Fuck this! I'm done with it, or something like that. Yeah. Are you kidding me? You haven't checked, checked it, check it right now. Oh no! Yeah, I don't look like fucking Steve Buscemi. The only thing that makes me look like Steve Buscemi is my fucking lazy eye. But other than that, come on, man, I look much better than him. You know what, Steve Buscemi? You know what? You, you just might have put fucking lipstick on your fucking lips, and then scratch off. And then every scratch somebody's head. name off a fucking list. No, no, scratch my name off your list. No, I'll I'll, no, I'll put no, like no. Times two my my name my name is my name is still on the list. There you go. <laughs> no, I'll just put times two next to it or something. <laughs> you know, I I like I I'd, I'd really like that. That'd be awesome. But you gotta put fucking lipstick on your lips, way. I'm gonna fucking do this. No, but I, I certainly do look like an extra in fucking Carlito's way or fucking yeah. Scarface. Damn sure. You look like okay. Edward Norton about to shoot up a school. Mm -hmm. You look like Donnie Brasco. <laughs> Edward Norton doesn't have anywhere close to my beautiful head of hair. Although his, his forehead is as large as mine, though. I'll tell you Although, what. He, that's what you know, there's a handsome forehead, to be quite know, honest. Hold on, hold on. If you want to compare foreheads, dude, we got five heads. Both of us. You put your hand on there. You got a big got forehead, five. yeah. Well, I guess the competition would be to get a person, uh, a portable projector, and see if you can actually you portray a, a movie on our forehead. Oh, Allison oh, is keeping it going again. Allison is ready to go. Eight minutes back on the board. Look at that. I think Thank she you. She just Allison. wants me to sweat. Hell yeah, she yeah. wants to I'll see your sweaty you, body. At least I'm wearing my underwears. I don't have underwears though. Are you like five, uh, eleven, twelve? Six five, ten. Five, ten, five ten. Okay, so he's my height. Yeah, so I me and I have, I, I, have a, I have a bigger forehead than you. Gargots is huge. Gargots, tell. Do you know how tall Gargots is, Dave? I'm surprised. This guy's always trying to one up somebody. Oh, I got, I got a bigger forehead than you do, Dave. I'm a bigger freak than you are. Yeah, all no, I am. If all conversations, you're gonna get used to this. Like if you're like. Yeah, I met. It was weird, man. That night was crazy because I met Pantera. Then Gargots will be like, "Oh, that's so funny you say it because I met the Queen of England." What's that, Dave? Your eyebrows look like caterpillars. Well, mine look like fucking squirrels. <laughs> I fucked the Queen of England. No, I'm just trying to have a goddamn conversation with you, motherfucker. You yeah, talk I, like that. I, I'm gonna say this. Hey, I'm fucking bigger than you in my dick size and my ball size. My damn. dirt has more well, circumference than yours. I'm the one who cur uh, currently has to deal with uh, small size toilets because every time I do sit down, my package somehow touches the side and it's disgusting. So uh, I think I'm well endowed enough to know uh, that uh, average toilets aren't made for someone of my. Dave, 
Dave, you're you're as old as me, dude. Come on, you know that you have to fucking put the oh, how old are you? paper. How old are you? Thirty-seven. You're thirty-seven. Yes. And you think I'm thirty-seven? No, I think. God I'm bless 37. your heart. Adorable. I, I, think, I, I think you're uh, way, way younger than me. But hey, I know hey, you're not. Now you're, you're not. what are you? Okay, <laughs> what, what's the, what's the, what's the trick not. here? Like, what are you trying to sell me? Like oranges or something, or like corn? I mean, wait a minute. I mean, just, how old do you think Dave is, Garguts? How old do you think? I'll be good. <laughs> how old? Do you, how old do you think Dave is? Dave is forty-three. Wow. Wow. So. Come on, man. Why do you? Mm. Why were you? Act, well, I'm confused. Yeah, why you, why, Cause Dave's no, at least forty three in the hood. God damn it! You ever been to the hood before? Or no? You you only go to white places. Oh no! I certainly. Uh, you 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 dabble in the hood, so gar I guarantee. Dabble. Uh, you saw I, I guarantee you nonchalantly. Dave. He's the dealer. <laughs> oh, so I guarantee you, they when you go to the fucking hood, they don't fucking they stop carding you at sixteen. Well, it depends on where you go, but I mean, like, exactly. you know, I if know. you know somebody, you can easily get it done. But then again, if you know somebody, they'll just go to the liquor store oh. for you and just bring you whatever you want. Just right. pay, a little, pay them a little bit and then boom. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't matter how old you are. Does it, does it really matter when you go to a store and get beer? It doesn't matter. What does that have to do, have to do with this? Gargutz is all high and drunk. You have to you ask, dial it no, back. You asked me how so old am I, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not digging no, it. I'm not you, asked me, you asked me. You asked me how old I am. Well, I gotta say one thing too. Jesse really threw you under the bus, Gargutz. He just fucking like you're. Wow. What did you do to Jesse to piss him off yesterday? I didn't step up. Talked over him, maybe. Actually, no. Actually, <laughs> what I did was—I actually what I did was I fucking started the show and I said, "Hey, I'm gonna go get laid. I'll be back." Oh, and he was mad about that. No, I in the show because I noticed you guys had a fight like before any of us were fighting. You and him had a little argument. I noticed that. Hmm. That right there is just brothers. Okay, okay. That's brothers. Nothing. That's nothing. I think he'll be okay later. I knew we no, were. I knew you know. He's gonna be all, he's gonna be all right. He's I knew there was gonna be a problem tonight when I when it start the show started and Jesse was like so happy. Did you notice that? Like he started like talking right away and was like, "Let's go!" And I'm like, "Oh, what what's going on here? Something's not right." Usually we start with him like banging things around and running around his room. You know, it was weird. But uh, I, I felt like, yeah, I felt like it was the same thing. Like, like we mm -hmm. fucking um had a good shit and then. He just starts mentioning shit. And I was like, "Oh no, yeah, what are we yeah. doing now? It, what are we doing?" Is it one of his moods? Look, some things you can't control. You just have to let it be, and then wait for the, hope for the best after. Let it be, let it yeah. be. Dave, we're gonna take well, a fun. trip through the that's cosmos on Final Frontier. Oh yeah, by the way, Dave, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you too. Do you know who that is, cool. Dave? I do not. It's Creeper Hostage. We finally meet. Yeah, face to face. These, well, not we raise these guys. Screen, he, he, he said, is, "You finally meet," and then he's like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" He's gonna go back to Creeper. Fucking... Creeper hostage is now eighteen. Okay. Asher is uh, about to be nineteen. We've uh, they listened to the original monetize this stuff, so we raised them well. And Creeper hostage can't fucking stop masturbating. When he left us, he was just a learner. Now he is a master. Now he is a fucker. <laughs> now his balls have dropped. I will say that last oh, night, Asher was pretty masterful last night. He was pretty damn good. That was pretty good. Yo, um, that uh, pension to be able to sound like um, a pedophile yes. uh, makes me a little bit more concerned about... Uh, the possibility that your channel might get struck. So just like with that other one that you know of, uh, maybe try to uh, disassociate because uh, he seems to be very interested in the kids, you know, Asher. Well, he is. Uh, a I mean, he's still kind of, you know, he's 19. You know. Well, we, well mean, we, we found out last no, night. No, no reason to rub it out uh, outside your uh, pants uh, to a bunch of 11, 12-year-olds in a gym in Florida. But Well, that's uh, well, that's, yeah. that's what I did. 
Yeah. I don't I don't I don't know why you said that cuz I don't do that anymore. I I haven't done that in a long time. But oh my God. if I had a chance to, yeah. Show me that smile again. Yeah. <laughs> like, did you see, Dave, you probably didn't see that but oh I did not God. but um still that sounds funny. <laughs> Dude, I <laughs> Oh my was god. Was it uh Seavers, right? Uh <laughs> Family Ties? <laughs> no, not Family Ties. Getty Lee fucking somebody I think it was Getty Lee. Getty Lee fucking he put a picture of like to catch a predator and the guy turns around or whatever and then he put Keith's face over the guy <laughs> and like uh, and then froze it. I didn't see that. And then I, I <laughs> and then I took that and I started playing the fucking music to that show. I never, I'll never forget this one time. Keith tried to talk to me before. <laughs> he tried to fuck you. <laughs> show me that so, uh, again. Oh, Dave, here you go. Yeah. As long as, as long as she's under eighteen, I can get hard and rough in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'm so hard, I leave a shot of my gun right on the floor now. She's on me. All right, this is. I can't even. Do Wait, it. so 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 who 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 who? <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny? Was that you, Dave? Was that you, Dave? That fucking wanted that to see that? <laughs> Uh, no, I was just wanted to hear the song again and remember who it was that like what show it was. But it was the Seavers. Or... Yes. No, I'm 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 gonna I'm I'm say this, dude. It, it kind of was it was me, dude. I fucking literally told him. I thought, was watching, I thought we were watching on Growing Pains, and Some, he fucking he, he played pain. the song. Yeah. yeah, and he played the song, and he fucking went off on that shit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, but, but yo, that on Growing Pains shit, dude. That fucking that song <laughs> lives in my mind. Lives in my Go oh, shit, shit bomb. I oh. forgot about this video. Do it. All right. He just says do it. I'll put four minutes on the board for that. Four more minutes on the board. It's, it's do it. Jersey. Do it. Do it. it Rose is melting. Melting with the heat. Melt is but hot. Do it. Melt the hot of Dave Rose's dick. I'm sorry. It's ready to. This is so creepy. Oh, here's the part. This is the best part when he turns. <laughs> oh, yeah, we killed Nikki J. And then fucking Gina J was on the call, too. And she's like, what am I? What is going on? <laughs> oh, my God. As long as she doesn't have a father. That is so creepy, bro. That guy's like jerking off to a picture or something. I don't know what's going on there. Dude, he's naked, waiting for her. Wait, Dude, who says? Remember, naked? remember, remember. Uh, she was like twenty-one. She's like, "Oh, I'm here. Here you go. Hey, uh, get ready." And she, they're like egging him on. Yeah. And then he fucking gets naked, and I was like, "Oh my fucking God. like what? Why the fuck would you? Is that like a?" Can you get rid of that in court? I mean, for entrapment is what you're trying to say? I mean, not if they yeah, do things... Yeah, entrapment. That was definitely entrapment. Not if they do things the right do. way. Like, if they they should know... Like, like it, you know what was entrapment was like in that Minnesota case recently where um, they basically wanted to abduct the mayor or the governor or whatever it was, and they, they oh, were yeah, like... the governor of uh, Minnesota... In Minnesota, I believe. Yeah, yeah. And, they, uh, the, it was it was basically proven that the FBI set that up, right? And uh, oh. try to make a big deal about it, but uh, yeah, the people who got charged were FBI informants that were ordered by the FBI to set that whole thing up. So, oh, yep, good job, FBI. Another oh, fail. Oh, oh, My favorite part oh, was oh. I told I told people about that, and they said that I was like crazy or something. I'm like, no, it's I'm telling you. And then the court thing happened, and I was like, fucking see. It's like, like it's like it, moving. It's and what what great. happened when you told them about that? Did they be like, "Oh, uh, of course I knew about that"? 
No, or they, were they like, "Fuck you for even mentioning that"? No, they were like, "Yeah, show me where that is. That that's real." And then yeah, I did. What happens when you do that? I, I, you, you know, you've no that response. Before. No response. It's like nobody wants to talk anymore. Of course Huge they don't. It's like so now will you say that like you know? Yeah, can we say that you just pretend these things aren't real because you don't have to deal with it? Because ignorance is bliss to you, I guess. Hey, Joe, we we're, we're, we're honest. It's some of the best conversation that Joe Cronin has probably had uh, since I left. So why would you want uh, the show to end? So there you go. There you go. There you go. It's uh, one minute left. One minute left. There is one minute left, guys. One minute left, or uh, Dave Rose is going into space. We're all going into space, really. Well, look at that. I don't wear my sunglasses at night, although obviously during a gimmick. But if you take a look at my eyes, properly, properly boxed in here. They're not centered in around here <laughs> like uh, a bowl would. But uh, yeah, properly centered eyes. You know, white people well don't. Centered, well, no, you're, you're right. You're right. Because white people don't tan. They fucking burn. So I don't see any burn. No, 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 no. I'm talking about positioning of eyes. Again, if, uh, for example, if I uh, was, uh, you know, um, if I had my eyes closer together, I'd look like a mole, you know, like one of those little things that scurries <laughs> into the ground and has no ability to see and wear sunglasses uh, in neon rooms. Um, yeah, that, uh, you if know, that case, COVID, I, you would fucking be a mole. I, yeah, I got you. <laughs> you know, and also again, if, and again, if my eyes were closer together, Garguts, I'd be again in a neon room, uh, pretending like I know how to drive a truck and criticizing you, for example, for some strange reason. Now, l let me tell you, how, how many how many windshields would you go through? Uh, well, um, not enough apparently, because I'm still alive. You want to see somebody whose eyes are too close together? Take a look at those. Is he? From Boston or no? That's uh no, that's uh Sean Ross right there. But yeah, uh, there might be some other people with eyes too close together. Maybe it seems to be a thing like a sociopathic uh, sort of uh like look at the, logical. Mm. That's you know, what you, you know what you know what, what it is. What it, what is it? It's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a pattern. It's a mm. revolving door pattern. Yeah, it sucked. Yeah. Well, the genetics uh, sort of prove it. So, yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. this is what this is what it looks like when you. Oh my God! What is? That's called Cyclops the retard. <laughs> this is what that what is. What the fuck is that? That's an SJW who uh, probably harasses women in DMs. Can I punch him? God damn it! <laughs> Dude, that's yeah, Tommy that... without the fucking hat. Yeah. If Tommy had white teeth and wasn't a giant lard of shit, this would be him. That's insulting. You know what? I'm going to take offense for Tommy that you called him Tommy. So that's six. Six seconds left. And six, six, six. No, I'm saying six, six, six. And the show has finally concluded, ladies and gentlemen, at... What time is it? I can tell that I'm getting tired because uh, it's, we've been going live for four hours and 50 minutes. Four hours and 50 minutes. The time is 3.16 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Is it really 3.16 you know where your children are. 3.16 Eastern Standard Time. Oh, my God, dude. 3.16? What? Uh, hit the music. That's like fucking Stone Cold. That yeah. actually yeah. is uh, very synchronistic. You are a piece of shit. Mentioned. We ain't going to go all damn night because i seen what Dave Rose can do. That's the that wrong song. It's a cover, yeah. So Whatever. It's, it's, a fucking, it's, it's, a, good it's a It is good enough, yeah. It's a damn disturbed one. Man. It's because I don't want to get a copyright. God damn it, he doesn't want to get a copyright. Don't you understand, Gargots, you fucking idiot? Now, I know where you're from. They just copy the videos illegally and put them on a DVD in a blank case and sell them at the fucking it, poker It's a VHS. Guy. It's a VHS, first of all. And yes, we don't sell Dragon Ball Z down here. We sell Dragon Balls. Yeah, down there, you no, know, down there you have the poster of you have the poster of the movie and then someone points to it and the guy comes out with like a, a fake, like a fucking custom dvd and hands it to you for like two dollars you've been there you've been there yes you know exactly how it done 
Oh, oh yeah. my god! So I would have to go to a fucking goddamn um, to get um, bootleg fucking DVDs. Yeah, I would have to go to a fucking goddamn a line, do eight steps to the left, and then lean in. Mm. And that's how they knew that I wanted the fucking. That was the weirdest thing in the fucking world. And Ooh. I remember that the first time I ever did that, it was like 2005, and I was like, "Holy shit!" I just got like. Star that's when Wars. I created the internet. Oh, I mean, oh, shit! If you, you you were the white supremacy of everything. What? <laughs> Jesus you created Christ. the internet. How many missiles did you launch? And what did you do to Gargutz tonight? You guys have made Gargutz more retarded than usual tonight. By freak, you got in his head at this point to where he just says the worst shit tonight. What have you done to Gargutz? I believe Jesse for this. You were normal last night. Go listen to the show. I swear to God, Gargutz. These people have made you doubt yourself and made you fucking go completely ape shit retarded. Dude, I'm blaming Jesse. You know what? You know what? I'll you, know bring what? Back you know what? You know what? I'll bring him back. You. Bring what, him back. He, put refresh. your fucking refresh. spell on him to refresh. fix this. Refresh. What is it? Refresh. Gargut's. Hey, dude, Gargut's. I jerked off like seven times today. Oh, oh my god. All right, he brought me back. This motherfucker. Should have stayed no, dead, no, boy. Let me tell you something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what happened. And now Je you're by, you're Jesse you're just sent me a message. Jesse said, "Tell Gargut's." I said, "Die." <laughs> Why would he say that about you? What's why? What's going on here? Look, here's what's going on. Okay, the thing is, Jesse sees a lot of opportunity in Gargut's right. He sees a lot of the a lot of uh, potential. There we go, potential. Mm, I don't. And, and <laughs> you know, Gargut's has. You don't got to. Bro. You don't got to, bro. I I don't. I don't need your fucking approval. No, I'm just. I, no, I'm kidding, oh, Gargut's. I'm kidding. Come on. No, but the you're thing is, kidding. I know you're bro. kidding, motherfucker. Oh, okay. But I'm saying I don't need mm -hmm. anybody's approval. So it's uh, like I do, I do my shit. I do, I, I just do my shit the way I would do my shit. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's it. So I, I, I know where it fucking, you know, Asher's or uh, refresh clothes is gonna go, but he's gonna take ten minutes to get there. I already know what you're saying. He don't know where. Look, he's just gonna talk about jerking off on a wall. That's all he ever says. That's bro, what, all he's gonna say is he's got dead children next to him. Whoa. What? Dude, I only saw that one time. And that was Let it. me just clarify. Asher is also on this call, right? He was. Yeah. He left earlier, yeah. Okay, so who's all also on this call? I just can't remember your name. Sorry. Hello. We it. got Creeper Hostage. No, but you. Creeper. You, not Rostafa. You. Huh? Creeper. Yeah. That's Creeper. Creeper. There we go. Creeper Hostage. Thank you. Um, Thank you. You're making good points here. And um, I think that... Uh, you know, they're sort of being ignored, to be quite honest. I know, and you know, I, I stay quiet, but I'm always. What what are, what are the good points for anything? But well, you talked to well, him. basically every single one he said about you there. So, mm. Mm. all right, that's fine. Damn, I've never seen somebody fucking get so butthurt about me. Damn, bro, like you're lovely. You're dude, so dude. sexy. It's Look at you, like, man. Look at you, you know man. What? You're just like you're just like, dude. I'm so fucking jealous. Let's do this. Um, yeah, right, let me let me talk so let me let me let me talk smart for ten minutes before I get to my fucking point. Ah, uh, damn! You get to a fucking point already, bro. This is a fucking this is fucking uh, beat the clock, not fucking beat my cock. Hmm. Get to the fucking point. That's what, what I do you want to say? Say it. Say it one in one word. Say it. Say it. Can you say it in one word? Because I can say it in one word. Well, if you can think that you can actually define a complicated you say topic. anything in one word. Stop saying it in a fucking sentence, you fucking dumbass. Are you not allowed. God me damn it. To How are you so it? smart and still a Why jackass you, at the same time? How are you so, so smart hey, and still a jackass? Your voice. Okay. Your so, voice. How are you so smart and still a jackass? <laughs> How are you smart and a jackass? How the fuck do you not have to get to the point? Get to the point. I'm not here for your fucking bitch. I'm here for the fucking point. Get to the point. Can one word. One word. One word. One word. Yes, you can answer right now. One word. I just want one word. I want a fucking sentence. One word. Getting... One word or one sentence? Which one? One word. One word. You know the difference between the two? 
Yes, I do. Do you know? Well, then why do you fucking do you know? Did you know you're still going? Did you know you're still going on? Did you know you're still going on? Okay, you're still going on. You're still going on. You're still going on. You're still going on. Nope. Not listening. Not listening. One word. One word. One word. One word. One word. You cannot explain a situation with a word. How do you expect to? Elaborate on a complicated topic with a simple word. What are you going to say? You elaborate too oh, fucking oh, much. Oh, I want you to stop elaborating. But stop how do you elaborating. Expect to even explain stop something in one stop. word. No. That, no, that's no, no, how you no, connect. No, no. You want to connect? You've never attended you actually post secondary education. You cannot explain anything from my You, can, you, you actually fucking, have to make okay, an explanation so, 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 when it comes to your fucking actual. So, Jesus, you. Exactly. You have to explain exactly. so much shit because, because you have less of a dick than I do. So there you go. <laughs> Fucking be a big dick right now. Motherfucker, swing that big dick right now. If you can't, in one word, then you're a little bitch pussy. Do it. Right now. Responsibility. You're getting very emotional there. Well, right, uh, now. Get, uh, right, now. Okay, okay, okay. Your, right now. Right now. Okay, okay, okay. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. You're, 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 you you can you have your own brain, bro, right? You just said respond to me word. in one word. word. You have your own brain. Respond to me in I'm one word. Me. Why do you have to have a fucking I'm sentence? Me. Respond to me in one word. Why do you have to have a sentence? I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking squeeze my nipples <laughs> until you do. Dude, how do you expect to have a conversation if you don't have at least a sentence? One word? Like what a one grunt? Word. One word, one word. I need you to respond to me in one word on how the fuck you feel about me. That's what I want. Okay. Uh, I guess. I'm not fucking savage. I mean, I can't just grunt at you and say, bad, me, me. It's just like, if you want me to explain why. Get on his level, Dave. Like Come on, get human, on, get on his level. I know what, he know small word. One word, and he said savage. Okay. I got you. I don't understand. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Salvaje. Salvaje in español. You're, uh, you know, uh, you're espanol, a espanol, Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, I'm going to say this. Do sabes, way. I'm going to say this. Samesies. You are a fucking motherfucker that fucking gets it. And at least you fucking get it. Cause all these motherfuckers will fucking talk shit like a motherfucker. Hey, but if you if you if you if I do ten shows on you, <laughs> I won't. Not like you. What do you mean? If you do, but you won't. I don't I don't get it. I don't even know why. I don't I don't get it either. I don't, I don't know what's going oh, I'm, on. Okay, oh, I'm saying I'm saying I'm saying, dude, bro. Look, I got nothing against you, but if you do ten shows on me, that's fine. I don't give a fuck. But I'm he's never giving a fuck. Not saying he's right. even gonna do that. I like, I like the fact, I like the fact that you fucking do solve this way. You know where exactly I was going with that shit. You fucking got it. You I fucking, I, did. You take the same drugs Jesse took tonight? No, no. Because if Jesse, if oh, you know the drugs that Jesse takes, God. No, I don't. I, I mean, I gotta get some of them because then I go off the fucking goddamn earth on my own show. I'd be like. Ah, ah! Ah! All right, take your time out, Gargots, for a minute. Let it, let the, you know, calm down. Let, let the. I got you. I got you. Hold on, hold on. Relax. I'll be right back. Let me get the, Dave. Let me try to get this out of him. Describe Gargots in a sentence. Uh, that is a challenge. Uh, <laughs> much better challenge than using one word, but I'd say uh, not worth my time. There you go. There you go. <laughs> And uh, Dave, bro, you're not even on my radar. Nobody asked so, you. I didn't. Hey, hey, let it go. No, it's okay. It's the, thing, right. the thing is that nobody let, asked me, but let you want to know where. Okay, you want to know. know. You still want to know, bro. Nobody asked no, me. But you still want to know. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, that's great. That's great. But that, that's why you still do. That's why you still do uh, shit on me. That's like, hey, bro. Hey, you can be the fun sucker all you want, bro. I don't give a fuck. 
Hey, I'm never giving a fuck. Just say that. I'm not going to give a shit. Well, you and Jesse sure got into it. I mean, like, you know. Hey, do you think I give a shit? Do you think I give a shit? Of course you do. Do you, you think I do you think I get, no 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 you think this is where you fucking this is where you're fucking this is where you're fucking you're, 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 you're getting emotional this is where you're this is where you're, this is where you're a fucked up individual because you think that you're gonna relax you can relax relajate señor está bien está bien señor puro pinche hey estoy pinche pocho I see you fucking I will fucking work back your ass out no, bro, I fucking goddamn fucking sweat more than you can in your fucking job. You want to be a fucking wood beaten culture? It's just a yeah, problem. you want you want that shit? Ah, oh, bro, I got that shit. And I, yo, estoy bien. Y no solamente eso. Como buen. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're talking Spanish with the red. Mira oh my god, tu, uh, tu pelo. you are such a white person mm. talking Spanish. Yeah. Right now. Oh my god. Holy oh shit, God. that's Target. awesome. I love Target. it. I Spanish, love it. as in from Hispania, Spain, or white. So, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, damn, bro. I've never. You're, I, I, no, my, you're a half breed. You're a half breed. Just accept it. Why, why is my half breed? Your ancestors were raised why? Spanish, no. <laughs> and so uh, you are the, uh, <laughs> the, the result of it. So, why does my half breed doesn't speak like a fucking white bitch fucking talking Spanish, you fucking bitch? You fucking white motherfucker. Hey, you know what? You want to go back to your Aryan race and I'll blow up the goddamn country? I'll blow up Says eso ahora con nosotros. Hay mucha gente aquí que puede entender. Honestly, 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 I'm going to hear this fucking poser. Poser, 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 poser. Oh my God, dude. I cannot understand any fucking white shit you say. Because you're too white when you fucking speak Spanish. So, 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 I yeah, this is wrong. 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 This is Real fucking Spanish, so he's doing some purpose. It's awesome. Hey, it's it's awesome. No. Oh my god, listen, 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 listen. It's awesome. And I nobody to, just cares me. To, hold on, I want, you to, I want you to. I want you to say. I want you to say Barracoa. Shit, can you do that? Oh, you can you say Barracoa? Can you say Barracoa? Maximum male models. Robert Heller says, "Good to see Dave on the show again." And Dave looks like Max Dupree. Maximum male hey, models, but I no, I I, I live on here. Varracoa. I think we can all say it. Varracoa. Can we say it? Varracoa. You, no, 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 no. Okay, Varracoa. You can't talk with me in Spanish here. Look at this. You sound like you can solve this. Can I solve this? You sound like you can solve this. Español o el castellano, cualquier cosa, pero sé que hay gente ahí en el chat que me entienden. Es, es no, 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 I think I can explain no, this. Gargots, no, 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 I want to explain no, why no, Dave sounds this way. So, Gargots, you have more of a street accent and, and dialect. Dave is no, 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 no. I, I'm straight from the yeah, goddamn fucking shit. It. But I'm saying no, Dave, Gargots, Dave has more wrong. of a, you're you're wrong. Wrong. Dave has a broadcast type of voice. <laughs> You know what? You might be right. I think. That. I mean, I'm not sure, but I think. No, Dave, okay, okay. No, I've been I've, I've been you, broadcasting for 22, 22 it. years. So well, it's like, yeah, I might I might have that now. But you know what, dude? When I fucking go to the fucking goddamn, uh, you know, when I when I go get tacos pesitos and shit like that, I'm just like, dude, uh, es pitec. You know what I'm saying? Like, I fucking I know what the fuck I'm saying. Yeah. But the thing okay. is that I don't fucking talk like that shit because I don't fucking want to talk like this shit. But hey, could you hate your race? No, it's not that I hate my race. It's I more like I fucking I I hate how things are run down here. Gargots, uh, mm. let me tell you something. And, then, you, and then, you, you know what? You know what? You know what? Though, but Dave, Dave, you know what? Even though I'm giving you shit, you're pretty close, bro. You're pretty mm. close. That's all I'm saying. Well, you know, 
It's okay. Calm down. Okay. It's gonna be. All, everything's gonna be okay. Oh, I'm not. I'm. 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 I'm calm. Calm as fuck. Try to I'm calm down. Try to take, fucking, try to take a breath. Take okay. a breath. It's gonna be okay. But, hold on. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, he's lactating, guys. These female hormones. That's why he's so emotional, screaming at Dave over all this stuff. Um, beautiful. Look at that. He's lactating his mammary glands on everybody. Um, but anyway, let's wrap up here. Because it's been a been a late night, and uh, you know it's great. It's a shock to see Dave tonight, but um, Dave, is there anything? Like what 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 do you really want to get into? What do you think uh, going forward on Final Frontier News? What are you looking forward to talking about that we haven't really been talking about, or haven't talked about before, or is there any new info? What are you into right now? I'm into everything, and um, I clip that. I can <laughs> good. I could talk about anything. It does it you bring me a topic and I'll discuss it. And there's everything for example, what's been going on, you know, even with the James Webb telescope, which I've covered. Um mm -hmm. there's tons of topics to discuss. The fact that uh the K two uh uh asteroid is gonna be close to Earth in the next few days or you know That's one. like two weeks away, right? I think it actually is just about to happen. If it not, oh my not. god! Yeah, I think oh, Leo, Leo, Leo is watching that tonight, so that might already be. There's, dude, there, hey. I mean, you've got three different space uh, X uh, spaceships. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and they're called spaceships um, that are did, basically did. ready for tests and such. You've got the Constellation uh, uh, craft that uh, still fails after 20 years, and uh, it looks like uh, SpaceX is going to beat them to the moon. Damn it. Again, remember, hey, did, you see, did, you see, did you see the fucking the 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 missile running into the moon in March? And it fucking Dude, ran. The, 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 the they they fucking like put it on like Inside Edition, all that shit. News fucking covered it. It was a uh, SpaceX fucking. Apparently, it was a SpaceX, and it fucking ran into the moon. And I was like, I don't think it was a SpaceX. So they fucking uh, three weeks ago they found out. It was an old fucking um, satellite from like the eighty or nineteen ninety eight. I was like, "That's fucking weird." I was like, if that shit ran into the moon, that shit will fucking fuck it up. But I guess I don't know, I guess it ran into the right side of the moon. But uh, was that fake? Did you did you hear about that? No. You have to send me the article because there's multiple. Uh, I'll send uh, you the article. I'll send you the article. Yeah. Items that have supposedly crashed to the boot, but um, you know what Joe was asking uh, initially is that uh, yes, sir. there's there's so much that we could talk about. There's literally so much. I mean, you've got the fact that uh, only now, oh, the government says, yeah, there's something called uh, unidentified aerial phenomenon. Forget oh, about shit. the last 60, 70 years where we ridiculed anyone that discussed it. No, 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 no. Blue Book, no, 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 nothing like that. Forget about what happened. Now, it's legitimate. Now, these things are out there. But we knew they were out there. And if you calculate it, you realize these are just human-made devices in 99% of the time. That 1% yeah. it looks like aliens are getting to Earth. But most of the time, it's just human-made uh, uh, material which is competing against uh, the military that has no idea that they're fucking running these experiments. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, yeah. When you when you when you work at Air Fifty One shit, you have to sign so much shit that I've heard, and and that's not Air, that's just Air Fifty One. I guarantee you, every fucking goddamn Air Force base across the goddamn nation. You have to sign off on some shit. What's what's crazier? Know. What they, what what you're kind of getting into is that, dude. There's so many government groups doing these things. The other groups don't know what right. they are, and they're not going to tell you. So the, the, the NSO, for example, has uh, run their own sort of spy plane operations, but so is the CIA. You have two different groups deeply embedded in the deep state that are uh, part of um, you know the military industrial complex oh. and although they work together normally they still operate their own vessels separate from each other so for example the aurora seems to fall under the operation of the national security uh, office um, 
or sorry, the National Reconnaissance Office, the NRO, and uh, the CIA, they have their own planes that uh, accomplish something very mm-hmm. similar, mm-hmm. just like oh, the yeah. United States uh, Air Force. Yeah, so the, the, there's so much of that to break down, and they could be one hand doesn't know what the other hand's doing, and that's I'm I'm see I fear that because I feel like that's probably could be the answer to a lot of this stuff. Like for instance, like the UFO stuff. It's that like, explains why they, they you've got the Navy the chasing after this Tic Tac uh, UFO, wondering what it is. Meanwhile, whoever's offering that, you know, mm-hmm. uh, is American and stuff. But you know, they don't want their stuff to be caught by, uh, you know, by the Navy, for example. So the one side's not talking to the other. Yeah, so they don't know exactly, and the other side's like, "Oh fuck!" It's the same thing. What's a good? Um, I'm trying to think of a good example of this, and I think the example is kind of like when, say, for instance, there's some kind of drug operation in New York somewhere, right? And there, there's police who start investigating it, but they don't realize there's undercover agents in the group, and these people could blow their cover, or they could arra- yeah. arrest a police officer who's undercover. They don't fucking know that. It's the same sort of kind of situation, you know? Well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> creeper, you fucking like. <laughs> yeah, I just like. Uh, oh, oh, I'm gonna come on my. Oh yeah, ball. yeah, the fuck. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, bro. I hope that doesn't mute me. No, you're good. Again. No, you're alive. No, you're okay. But you are speaking softly, like Garguts used to have to do, which drove me no, nuts. No, but you. Know, I'll tell you why. The reason why is because you know there's people around the house that are sleeping. I don't want to, you know, be yeah. loud. You know what happens but, when that happens? You get off the show. Yeah. That's what happens. Oh shit. Yeah, you're right. But. <laughs> but no, it's okay. There's not a lot of people on right now. It's all right. But yeah, when Gargut, dude, there was like eight months where Gargut's was like, you know, I'm going to do and I'd be like, dude, and then people would talk over him because they wouldn't hear him talking, and then it would just fucking, dude, oh my god, that was the worst time. That that. Yeah, and the it, thing is, I I hate whispering lights. like that. You know, it gets annoying. Yeah, and I can it does. Tell that, it's really know? it's annoying on the show. Let me tell you that. It's yeah, annoying. I know, and I'm trying to. I'll avoid it. You know, so you're not gonna avoid shit, bro. All you can avoid is fucking stop jerking off. (laughs) Damn it. Uh, Pat Carnes in the chat. Oh, Pat Carnes. Uh, uh, Dave gave me a good idea earlier before we started the show tonight. Uh, so hit me up with your link of your old channel that didn't work, and I'll make it work a different way. Because we've been trying to fix Pat Carnes' thing for a while too. That Tic Tac was going twenty three thousand miles per hour and came to a complete stop in less than 10 seconds, tell me that's man-made. Now, that's a good point. Maybe not. I hope it's not. I really do. I hope it's. I hope there's it's something going on. Man-made. You think so, Dave? It's man-made? No, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. This stuff has uh, definitely been developed for, uh, well, for the last 70, 80 years. You Roswell think it's anti-gravity? In fact, that's something that we're going to have to talk uh, about uh, on Final Frontier News because the fact is, Ladies and gentlemen, if you really want to get caught up prior to this, look up 1893, 1886, and the aerial clubs that existed. You had a bunch of supposed clubs that were run by affluent individuals who were able to develop anti-gravity craft even in the late 1800s. And there's stories replete where these um these crafts would land in the middle of farmland and people would come up and and dave, look at them dave do you remember the the picture that they had in like the it was like early 1900s and it looked like a hat that's oh really yeah fucking, yeah do you remember that shit like it looked like it was a hat going across and i was like that's too perfect yeah, remember that? Remember that? Do you guys remember? It was like shapes. Do you remember that? The old yeah. UFOs back in the yeah. day? They almost said like yeah. they looked like different shapes and stuff were flying around everywhere or whatever. They were circular. Too. Well, yeah. even in the um, 1400s, there was one time in, I think it was Germany, um, a city over Germany, there was thousands of UFOs that were seen that were battling across the city. and uh, Yes. That painting that, that, that uh, repped that. that. Yep. Yeah, that's where um, you ever seen that Los Angeles battle fucking movie? Battle of Los crazy. Angeles, yes. but uh, that's based <laughs> off what happened in 1942, yes, they, I believe. They, where they put the fucking, Los they, they even have a picture. They have a picture of all the fucking uh, spotlights on the UFO, and they take a picture of, clearly of a UFO in the air. It, was like, it may have been German. It 
may have been Japanese, but there's a good chance that it was just German. And uh, they couldn't hit it. Yeah, it uh, okay. Shield prevented that. And, uh, you know, it happened for hours if, and everyone was witness to it. If, if I'm going to say this. If Germany is to hold this technology back from us for so long, the, the technology is really old. What the fuck are we doing? Do we have anything, anything in North America or South America that's going to be fucking going to be combative? Because to me, I feel like we do, but we don't, they don't, they don't talk about it. We took their technology, Garga, so I don't think the Germans have that. We have that now. Uh, it depends. Uh, there's some breakaway civilizations located in um, Alaska, Antarctica, and other places that uh, certainly do yeah, have you're access. Right, you're right. You're right. Because the Antarctica, uh, the Antarctica uh, UFO, that was a big giveaway in 2018, 17, 2017. I've always been about the. That's. Uh, I've always been about the the propulsion, man. When they figured that out, when we realized what's going on with that. All you have to have is that anti-gravity shit, dude. Once you figure out anti-gravity, that's what that shit can do. That's all they needed to figure out. Oh. I mean, once you have anti-gravity, you could fucking have anti-life. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Goddamn, Gargot, I can, you're I, wasted. I could I I be like, uh, you know, I'm going to have this anti-baby. Can I kill it? <laughs> well, we're going to have an anti show right now because I'm going to bed. Listen, uh, we're going to, me and Dave will connect with Final Frontier at some point. Uh, we'll let you know about that. Um, so that's really cool. I'm super excited. This came out of nowhere today, literally. Um, and uh, we'll find out if Jesse is going to forgive Garguts and whatever happens at some point later. And you can join uh, me and Dave for that. We'll be putting up a, a sampler on Final Frontier, sampler clips on Final Frontier, sampler clips here on uh, JCS, and then uh, full episodes on Patreon. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Dave is uh, sweated tonight in this suit. Probably lost a couple pounds. Looks <laughs> a wonderful Dude, background. And uh, yeah, man, it was it was great to, great to talk to you again uh, today. Have you here tonight. And... Uh, the Real Wars champion is back. The yeah, champ. Well, nice. Nice to meet you. Man. The champ of like the I world. Said, show I have, is always. I have, like I said, I have nothing against you, but bro. But die. I'm, I, I'm, <laughs> no, no, no. Fuck no. Fuck no. <laughs> you know me, bro. I'm not like that. I'm just kidding. I know. Come on. Are I'm you... just like, yo, I'm ready to work. That's all it is. Well, you but, ready? Uh, hey, 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 uh, uh, you can, you can fake dead face me all you want. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go live with tonight and try to reconcile with Jesse, where he'll probably return? No, fuck no. I'm gonna go fucking go. I'm gonna go get laid, bro. You're gonna get laid tonight? That's pretty cool. I like to hear that. Wait, Gargut, you gonna go? Fast few oh, fucking damn, nights. That sucks. So just like I'm ready to go. All right, Dave. You have any last stuff, words here? Um, they might get get your channel struck, so I won't say them. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, it's about me. <laughs> yeah he's gonna say never be on the show i'll be on your show again but not with gargoth uh all right so good night everybody i am hanging up on the discord i am going to bed right now uh thanks for being here thanks to everybody who helped out tonight thanks to sith negan who really helped out a lot tonight thank you sith you're the best man and everybody else you've been great the mods great to see everybody hit the like button uh stay tuned i'm really tired i i woke up early and I, it's all just hitting me now and I, I might be live tomorrow night because I'll start drinking or something. Because I didn't drink tonight. I thought I would, but I was too enveloped in what was going on here. I just didn't get in the mood to drink. I don't know. But tomorrow night, maybe I will. But I'm also, a, you know, might be busy with the kids. I'll let you know. We'll figure it out. Uh, good night. Same. Good night. Stay tuned for the, 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 Dave, the Dave Rose Returns Final Frontier News. Rock on, baby. Yeah. Too sweet. Too, too sweet. It's coming real soon. Look at that takeoff right there, Dave. Look at that. Look at that big cock take off into space. These are the Look at that. It's beautiful as it goes into space. Very phallic. Mm, yeah, that looks like a dick. Uh, Smile Empty Soul, new song on YouTube, uh, Spotify, and everywhere else. Friends of mine, big hards, big hogs is what I meant to say. Good night.
And Dave Rose is got a big dick. It's Danny MT. Good night, everybody. Yeah, that's a nice song. You want the new Ricky Martin song? You want the new Ricky Martin song? Live in La Vida Pido. Good night. I'm in superstitions Cause I don't bang the first time But if he's my nephew His asshole looks mighty fine I want to eat his anus Yeah, it looks kind of nice to me Bend over, you little prince there I want to insert my pee Into your little sphincter You're underage and my nephew I'll make you take your clothes off And lick you in your taint I'll play a game with your anus That makes you claim Like a cum shot to your brain Banging my nephew's brains out In and out, around I'm banging my nephew's brains out He is underage But it goes inside him anyway I might go to jail For banging my nephew's brains out <laughs> I'm banging my nephew's brains out I'm banging my nephew's brains out fun of me because I'm LGB it's okay I like the little ones so spread those ass cheeks out you got my blood you got my hood once you've had a taste of it you're coming all and out and it's going in and out you're upside inside out I'm bringing my nephew's brains out inside
weird Al asshole. I don't know what I'm doing either. Hey, I don't have a father, you idiot. Oh, no, you, I know you had. Well, a we, 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 we knew we, that. We knew that. We knew that. Yeah, yeah. we didn't. You That's didn't have to say me. that. You, you would just have to look at your skin color. Oh Jesus Christ, <laughs> Wow. That was yeah, funny. We, <laughs> that was well, funny. I mean, he's also technically white too. Mm. Yeah, I'm, oh, yeah, I'm oh, half white. I mean, uh, you know how many fucking white dads went for cigarettes and never came back to? Oh. <laughs> yeah, they were killed by a black guy at the store. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, he just blew my fucking mind. Hey, Jeff, how many, hey, how many Mexican dads went to the store and they come back because they got deported at the store? Oh. <laughs> You want to have a look at my plasma dong? Plasma dong. I have officially killed Joe. <laughs> my plasma <Yeah>. dong. <laughs> <laughs> Feeding you. Shut the fuck up. We are coming to your cat. Feeding you guys. It sounds like <laughs> five. <laughs> I'm not, you know what? I'm not letting you guys out. I'm not letting you guys out. Are we eating your cat? No, I'm not letting you guys out. Stay there, and I'm not feeding you either. I'm not gonna feed you. I'm not fucking feeding you. Shut the fuck up. I'm not fucking feeding you guys. You can cry all day, all night, whatever. I'm not you feeding you. Good. Keep crying. I'm not fucking feeding you. <laughs> fucking dog. <point. laughs> <laughs> so you should have yelled at him. The Chinese are coming to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was, it was just over the fence and started running. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm going to make that a donut like the e I'm not going to fucking feed you. <laughs> to some Chinese people. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, I, was, I was dying this morning. <laughs> That was hilarious. The fact, the fact that I was dying, I was at a, I was at a chick's house, and I was, and she just hears me getting ready. And she's like, "What the fuck is happening?" And she's like, "What's that noise?" I was like, "Apparently, it's a bunch of dogs." This gringo. I'll take Vince because he'll probably just pay me off. I'll be a billionaire. You know what? I'm not letting you guys out. I'm not letting you guys out. No, I'm not letting you guys out. Stay there, and, and I'm not feeding you either. I'm not gonna feed you. I'm not fucking feeding you. Shut the fuck up. I'm not fucking feeding you guys. You can cry all day, all night, whatever. I'm not feeding you. Keep crying. I'm not fucking feeding you. <laughs> These fucking dogs won't shut up. I'm not feeding you. <laughs> hey, you know what that sounds like? Drink from the cup in the car, so that mug. Hey, Joe, you know what that sounds like? A bunch of kids at Biden's house yelling. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Hey, no, Joe, that's when they're getting raped. Hey, Joe, are you oh, doing this on fire? I didn't say that. <laughs> what is that? I didn't say that. <laughs> what, what, is, I didn't say that one. what is that, Mr. Dan Kennedy? What did you say? Jesse Supplier. Am I Jesse Supplier? <laughs> no, that's the devil. Are you, I don't know what happened yeah, to Joe's him. Joe's like Gus. No. 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 No.